and 99 pence. So join in with the birthday celebration and get your hands on these fab... Anything could happen today. Anything could happen today. It's one of those days. Uh, anyway, shall we start? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's birthday Sunday. Birthday Sunday. Just Monday, Tuesday to go now, I have to say. Fabulous show lined up. But before we start the show, we've got our early bird. Now, what's our early bird here, you're saying? Well, it's something that we sell perfectly well, especially today. Especially today, right? Something we sell perfectly well at its normal price. But for some reason, uh, we take it down in price for the early bird, available while stocks last or until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you come in at uh, 1 minute past 8 tomorrow morning, it'll be a different early bird. This will have gone back to its normal price. Now, I need to warn you, this one, we've got hundreds of these, but every time we bring you this, it sells out, whether it's normal price or early bird price. Three, two, one, look. It's Visaline H640. Now, you're going to need this. If you're going to make Lisa's bag in the 10 o'clock show, you will need some of this. Get it now, get it now, get it now, because normally the metre piece will cost you 9 99 Today, you're paying £6.99, pounds, saving £3. Pounds. £3 pounds off. It's a metre piece. It's very boring to look at. Have a look. It's incredibly useful. It is a fusible fleece uh, for all bag making, all bag making. Every time Lisa does a bag, it's got it. Well, I say that, she hasn't got it in her eight o'clock hour. But you know what I mean? It's one of those things that um, when, uh... oh, I've forgotten her name. Becky Frost, Alexander, Alexander Frost. Uh, she's got another name, Rebecca Jane. Rebecca Jane, Alexander Frost, Frost, Alexander. She uses it all the time. 6 99 you're saving three pounds. Multiply, 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 get it in your stash. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Now, if you buy it, if you buy 10 of them, you'll receive 10 of these. That's how it comes. It doesn't come on a roll. It's already cut in bags like this. So however many you buy, if you buy one, this is what you'll get. If you buy 10, you'll get 10 of these. If you buy 30, you'll get 30 of these. It's as simple as that. It's a metre skirt. Like I said, Lisa's second show at 10 o'clock, you'll need this for. Uh, okay, 200 have gone already. 200 have gone already. It's that. <laughs> you see what I mean? I told you. I told you. Uh, I've got the birthday bus. It won't last all day, so I'm too old. Yeah, can we get one of those little dolls that, that play, you know, like plays the symbols, a seal that plays the symbols or something like that? Oh, no, no, hang on. I had a monkey that played the symbols and it was a seal that had a ball spinning on its nose. Uh, you're saving three pounds. I know it's boring to look at, but it's a must-have. You need it, you need it, you need it. Okay, 300 have gone now. 300 have gone now. And what time is it? Three minutes. We're three minutes into the show. Uh, now, it is a bank... It's not bank holiday. It's birthday. Birthday madness. Birthday madness. Birthday buzz. Uh, you do what? Oh, could have it as bank holiday? Well, yes, it's not a real birthday. Is it really? Anyway, keep going through, keep going through. How are the phone lines? Oh, OK. What we'll do is I'll have to stay with you. What I might do is when, when I close the auction, don't worry, we'll keep talking. I'll tell you all about everything that's coming up during the day so you won't miss out on any of the sales or anything like that. But hold the line, hold the line, hold the line. Well done, call centre. Oh, I bet they've come wandering in on a Sunday morning, haven't they? Thinking, oh, it's a nice Sunday morning. It's not oh, no, it's wet, isn't it? I can't tell you. My village was flooded. The water on the bridge, I went through water on top of the bridge. The water was that high. It means if it carries on raining today, I won't be able to get home tonight. So I'll be stopping at Hannah's. I would say it was, but I've not brought my antibacterial wipe, you know. Uh, see, <laughs> I was going to say my pyjamas, but I changed my mind. Uh, oh, no, I can't. 
I can't stay at yours though, Hannah, because you're not into mine. I wouldn't want to wake you up tomorrow morning as I left at half past five. Oh no, it's 20 to six as Hannah comes out the door normally. But anyway, quick as you can, go through, go through, go through. Yes, or loads coming up today. New guest that I've, or not, it's not, maybe not a new guest to you, new guest to me, Susan Briscoe's in today. Lisa Lamb is back in the building. You can hear her cackling somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, she's over there. She's already put about 10 pictures on Instagram, is not she? Okay, now look, keep going through. We're going to take the graphics out. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through, because I've got lots and lots and lots to tell you about. Keep going through for that. Now, I'll keep that in my trolley for later. Right, now, the, now, you know every day we do a so special. During these birthday weeks, we do a so special. This is today's so special. This is today. Now, it's at 12 o'clock. We're doing this at 12 o'clock today. Oh, I'll take that label off before 12 o'clock. Is that the price tag? There we go. Uh, it's a beautiful, oh now, am I gonna show you now or not? Am I gonna show you now? I might give, I might give you, a, I might give you a, a little glimpse, right? I'm gonna show, that is a llama. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I'm just giving you little glimpses. It's, oh now. Premier, premier, premier. Ready? You ready? I'll do it again. Three, two, one. Premier. That's in there. Uh, hang on. Oh, I've got these. Mm -hmm. All this comes in. Right. Another premier. Ready for another? Oh, here we go. Ready for another premier? Two, two. Right. I've got another. Pre I've got a couple more premiers in here, haven't I? Um, Yeah, you're only getting quick glimpses because this is 12 o'clock, but you get a free present in this. Um, this is free. Watch it, love it, eat it. Happy second birthday, so and quarter chocolates. So and quarter chocolates in there. <clears throat> Handmade by Hayley. They're not really. They're not really. But anyway, that, all that, all that, all that. I'm so sure it's something else I missed out. Anyway. One, two, three premieres, chocolates for free, all those goodies and your basket, that's coming up at 12. Don't miss that at 12 o'clock. Now, I've also got to tell you, can I pass that to Chris? Do you mind, Chris? Thank you. Now, uh, everybody who buys today, now look, yesterday there was a bit of an issue about this because people were being told that they'd run out. They have not run out. They have not run out. They might do by the end of the birthday, the way we're going, but every single person that comes in to buy today will get one of these. Now, if you've already got one on Thursday, Friday or Saturday, you don't get another one. It's only one per customer. That is completely free. Whatever you buy, new customers, old customers, whatever customers, you get that, right? You get that. Now, what I've also got to tell you is on the back, a, I'm not showing you. There's a five pound voucher off your next purchase. There's a five pound voucher on the back of there for your next purchase, right? So that's if you buy anything, but only one per person, only one per person. Then if you spend 30 pounds or more, you get the badge. You get this lovely calico bag, little tote bag. And inside you get these templates. That's just the cover. That's, just, that's not the template. That's just the cover for the second birthday. Look, that's the one off the badge. And that one's because Jesse's looking for love. Oh, now Jesse could have found love yesterday. We found an admirer of Jesse's yesterday. Yeah. Didn't we, Hannah? Oh, Hannah's miles away. She doesn't understand. Right. So that's that one. That's that one. That's that one. Oh, you could do worse, Jesse. Let's put it that way. Right. OK, so that's the bag. The badge, the bag, the um, so special at 12 o'clock. <coughs> now at 11 o'clock, ooh, <coughs> excuse me, it's the aircon again, isn't it? The 11 o'clock, we announced today's, or well, yesterday's winner, right? All you have to do to be entered into the prize draw is buy something. It's as simple as that. Every time you check out, uh, you could win a prize a day. So it's a different prize every single day. Um, now, yesterday's prize, oh, yesterday's prize. Well, I say it's yesterday's prize. I'll be announcing it at 11. Uh, 11 o'clock today. That was 200 pounds worth of Liberty Fat Quarters in a box. Some Alice Caroline uh, charm packs. Um, hang on, there's something else there. Oh, Alice's book. 
And then that beautiful, beautiful um, draw with the drawers with th threads in, I think. So at 11 o'clock today, I will be announcing that winner. So today's present, day four's present, is this. Oh, oh my word, look at all of that. I've not seen some of those before. Hang on, I'm just coming to the telly to have a quick look. So somebody at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning will win all of this. Oh, I like that mandala's in embroidery. I've not seen that. Martha Stewart's, it's like, I've not seen half of these. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, and that's a lamp over there. You don't get the number two in the corner. You don't get that number two in the corner. So at 11 o'clock today, I will be announcing yesterday's winner. And at 11 o'clock tomorrow, I'll be announcing from today who's won that. All you have to do is check out your basket. Buy something, check out your basket. Your name goes into the virtual hat. Shall we do... Is that it? I've got more. Menu. Let's do the menu for today. It's a fantastic day today. Here's the menu. So coming up today, uh, Lisa Lamb's Happy Holly Bob's Bag. Uh, then at nine... That's a brand new bag exclusive to us. Uh, then at nine o'clock, we've got new Susan Briscoe Sashko panels. And then at uh, 10 o'clock, I've got the cross body bag with a difference, uh, with that cork fabric you've been waiting for. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got Japanese quilting with Susan Briscoe. So exciting. And she's brought Glenn with her. Glenn's here with her as her trusty, whatever it's, sidekick. And then at uh, 12 o'clock, <coughs> I've got tools. I've got fat quarters. I've got oh, loads of goodies in 12 o'clock. So have a look at this. Have a look at this. This is the, the Holly Bob one. This is the Holly Bob one with Lisa Lamb. It's big, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? So that, oh dear me, listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me, that's right now. That's coming up straight after I finish doing all my wittering on now. But if you want to see the other one, look at this one. Look at this one. Now, this is a crossbody bag. Now, I said it's a crossbody bag with a difference. If you get an extra strap, you can make this. Look, isn't that fantastic? So that's that. Now, uh, very quickly, we would love you to get in touch and this is how you can do it. You go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. I had too many W's in my life. Uh, click on Watch the Show Live. <clears throat> and then what you do is you scroll down the page and you'll see a square there that says Message Studio. What you do is you can write your message in there. It's producer Hannah today. So she will read your messages and she will send them through to me at the desk. Make sure you get lots of messages. Lisa is expecting a lot of messages today. Uh, hello, it's me, Hannah. Has she got the birthday buzz? Oh, she got to spell it first. Birthday buzz, there we go. Right, now if you scroll down the page, you see products from today's show. There's the... Um, uh, H640 fusible things from the early birds. Not sold out yet, but hundreds of you got it in your basket, so it will do. Oh, Chris, could you just get something from my desk for me? Sorry. Uh, as we introduce items during today's show, so Lisa's kits and everything like that, uh, you, you will see them there. If you've missed the show, you're watching later, you can click on them, pop them in your basket. Talk about popping them in the basket. You see at the top right hand corner there. You can click on there and put things in your basket. Uh, remember, you can check out as many times as you like during the day. Uh, there's only one PMP of two pounds and ninety-five pence. No matter how many times you check out, and if you buy a sewing machine, even if you buy a sewing machine, it's two pound ninety-five. Four to six working days do not include Saturdays or Sundays or bank holidays. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com is our email. If you'd like to send us an email, now very quickly, talking to sewing machines. You know the um, six eighties that we had ten delivered for the birthday. There's one left. There's only one left, but I'll tell you about that later because it comes with a bundle and everything. I'll tell you about that later. Uh, so I've got to tell you something else. Uh, new, uh, no, no, uh, uh, app. I've got, was it app I've got to do next? There's so many things. Oh, was that it? We're, we're, okay. We're, oh, we'll get on, we'll get on. But I'll do the app very quickly. We now have an app. I thought there was something else I had to do there. Uh, we now have an app and you get it from the app store. Download it at the app store. Get it on Google Play. It's completely for free. Um, and what you can do is you can watch and you can shop. But you can't interact. You can't interact on it just yet. Right, this, uh, uh, this has been designed by Lisa Lamb, especially for the birthday. Now, the pattern is exclusive to us for six months. So you will not be able to get this pattern anywhere else. Even if you plead with her, you will not be able to get this pattern for six months, right? 
Isn't it lovely? How big is that? Can I just bring it into shot, Jesse, like this, just so you can see? Look, if you go and look, you look. Oh, you could be the best wag in Brighton, couldn't you? Do they have wags in Brighton? Is there a football team in Brighton? Is there a football team in Brighton? And it's nice, isn't it? Uh, and also, the inside is complete. Oh, look at this. I love this because it's got one of the, look, it's got one of those proper, I don't know what the, the name for it is, like a shark's mouth, isn't it? Like that or look inside. Now, all fully lined. We've got two options for you. Let me do, let me, if you want to make the bag just the outside of the bag with the lining, then I've got perfect bundles for you here. So this one is called Shopper. This one's called Shopper. What you get is you get half, half a metre, you get half a metre of your Shopper bag uh, fabric. Oh, now... So it's extra wide, that fabric. You get half a metre and you will have some left over. Then you also get half a metre of your PU and you get, I think it's a metre, is it? of uh, uh, No, one and a half metres. One and a half metres of your red for your, for your lining there. But you also now get, now these are leather handles. Lisa Lamb's leather handles, these are. Specially brought in for us. These are the ones I do the impression of, aren't they, with the little legs up. We'll do that later. And then, and then you get this. Doom, doom. That's a big frame, isn't it? That's a lovely big frame. That comes in it. And this, the clasp, look, comes in it. The clasp comes in it, look. It's called a lock flap, apparently, a lock flap. Uh, that's leather as well. That is leather. I have to tell you this because if you don't like leather, it's leather. And then you also get this. Hello. You get this, right? Uh, um, it's going in the bottom of your bag. You do a double layer and it goes in the bottom of your bag. <coughs> so that makes, if you just want to make the whole of that bag outside and lined like that. Oh, where's the, where's the flap, Jesse? You've taken it without the flap. That's all right. No, don't worry. Um, it's got a flap on it as well. If you want to make the whole of that bag, it's fully lined, fully lined, fully lined, then that's £64. However, inside, there you go, that's a better picture. Inside, you can, uh, inside the bag, maybe I should have shown you, I've given it back now. Inside, as well as all the pockets and everything, you've got this extra strap and all these stud pockets and everything like that. We've done a little bundle of all of the bag furniture that you would need to do the strap inside. I'll show you when we go over to Lisa in a second. So what you need is you need two swivel clips. Two, say this again. Oh, do you not want me to? Oh, I was supposed to go through all the fabrics, wasn't I? Yeah, sorry, I'll do that first then. Sorry, my bad. It's because you mentioned the inside. That was all. That's all. I've kept, my brain just took me onto that. So the shopper is there. Which one would you like to do next? The, the, the peacocks. Okay, then. So this, these are all new fabrics, these. The peacock fabric is new. Half a metre of... Oh, that's nice. Half a metre of peacock, half a metre of black PU, one and a half metres of the teal cotton for your lining, your leather straps, your clasp... Not your clasp, your uh, frame... Your big sheet of plastic stuff, which I don't know the proper name for on the bottom. Uh, and that's everything you get there for your 64.99. 64.99. Next is... Paisley one, which is this one here. Half a metre, brand new fabric again. Half a metre of your Paisley, it's extra wide. It's, it's like a tapestry fabric. You get half a metre of your black PU. A metre and a half of your red uh, cotton to line it with, your leather straps, your leather flap with lock, and your frame, and your instructions, and your big sheet of... Um, what's this called, Lisa? It's got a name, this. Plastic canvas. Plastic canvas. It's called plastic canvas. You get that as well. Plastic canvas. You get that as well. And that's that one there still. Have we seen the still of that, Jesse? Sorry, I didn't say. And then last but not least is the floral, which is the one that Lisa's going to be making. So again, you get the frame, the leather straps, the leather clasp. Then you've got the floral tapestry fabric, half a metre of the PU, and this one's lined in black. And that is the still, and that's £64.99. Now, sorry, I jumped ahead. If you want to do all the extras inside... 
You've got enough fabric there to lie in it to make pockets, everything like that. But inside that one, you've got press studs, you've got another strap to make it into a shoulder bag and things like that. You will need this. Now, we've put them all together for you. So there's two of the bigger swivel clips, one of the smaller swivel clips. You've got the pack of one inch, 25 millimeter. Oh, now I'm sure they said 25 earlier. They're 30, 30 millimeter D rings. And then this one here, the, the snaps that you need for the inside. So if you want, I'll show you the inside in a second. If you want to do all the inside uh, malarkey that goes on, then that's what you'll need to do, that's $16.99. You will also need some um, sew-in foam, which I'll show you about later when I go over later. Okay, is that everything? So you want to see it, the bag's just fallen over. As, as I was doing all that, the bag just keeled over. You have a look at this picture. Oh, I've just got to bring the instructions with me as well. Sorry, there you go. I do. Hello, Lisa Lam. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Have you missed me? <laughs> I think she's no, missed me. No, not at all. No, no, not at all. Who are you, by the way? Um, this is gorgeous. Thank you, my darling. Now, when I saw you putting all the pictures on Instagram with you designing it, I thought it was going to be like a little dinky little doctor's no, bag. No, I, I wanted something that was big enough to take on the plane. Yes. Because it's such a bummer having to check it all in, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It? Or, you know, like exactly. for a dirty weekend away. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, a we romantic those, break. Right? A romantic city break. Did I say. Uh, let me show you the inside. Let me show you the inside. Because obviously, you could fully line it. If you, have, if you, don't want, if you just want it lined on the inside, you can do a plain pocket, line it. There's enough yeah. fabric to do all that, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, sure you could, yeah. But if you want to do this and create a kind of shoulder strap with these... Oh, what's this here? Sorry. With the tags, <coughs> there's where your swivel clips come in. Where's the other swivel clip then? This is for your key keeper, so oh, you don't need to look. rummage around for your keys when you get home. Hang on, bring it down a little bit. There you go, there you go, there you go. That's nice. And then you also got in here... Some super snazzy pockets. Some, uh, like a zip pocket and then a Lisa Lam... Oh, hang on, can you see? Then you've got your Lisa Lam snap pocket in there. You've got a zip pocket in there. Everything going on. Now, obviously, in this hour, there's no time to make the whole Don't, bag. No, so you're going to no. concentrate on but, the... But actually, the outside is reasonably straightforward. Yes. It's the snazzy pockets inside that we're going to focus okay, on today. Okay, then. Uh, just, uh, now you're in on August the... 22nd. 22nd. August yes. 22nd, where you've done a bag with a yeah, frame yes. and a thing like yeah, that. Yeah, so it, can... it was pretty much similar. It had a casing like that as well. So you can yes. refer to that programme to do this August. bit and do this bit and even do this bit as well. Okay, then. So the outside... Oh, okay. Um, okay, then. Uh, 16 .99. That's the haberdashery bundle that's there. There's the accessories that we just spoke about. There you go. Uh, they have to make all the inside bits, if you want to make all the inside bits. Uh, anyway, anyway, that, so that's uh, 16 99 So you're going to show us now all the inside yes. bits, aren't you? Especially so if I just show you the... Um, I, need to put, I need to put a cushion or something in that bag, I think, don't I? Here's the instructions. So now everything, so the whole of the outside of the bag is yes. all covered there, isn't yes. it? Yes. And then all of this is all to do with how to finish off, how to do the pockets, yep. how to do everything yep. like that. So you're going to, oh, what's this here then? That's the templates that you do need to enlarge. Okay, then. Are they, so they're for the... They're for the, the top bit, for which the is the tapestry, bag, and, and for the PU. Okay then. So you could actually, you might, if you well. don't want to me, um, photocopy them, you could just, you've got the measurements on there, you could just draw that, could you? Is there measurements there? Oh no, it's no, not a measurement there. No, Look, looks like you're going to have to visit the photocopy. What's this one here then? 28 and a half by 24. That'll be the measurements. That'll be the measurements then, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't even got my glasses on. <laughs> I didn't sleep much. Yes, because this one's 28 and a half by 30, that one. <laughs> so, here we so, go. And then what's this one here? That's the lining. The lining's bigger because it's... Oh, those, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've just been told something. There's going to be full-size templates coming with it, apparently. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. That's you will good. get full-size templates. You will get the full-size templates. Because it's such a massive bag. Yes. Yeah. So where are we going to start, then? What are we going to do? Right, well, we're going to start with the zip 
partition pocket. Okay, thank which you. Which is actually, um, which is actually in my bag. So if you've not quite had enough sleep like me, and yes. you can't follow through because I'm giggling too much. It's in the first book, the bag making bible. This particular pocket. Oh, okay. But that said, there's something different about it in this bag because it's got snaps in it too. But Perfect. we will get to that shortly. All right, lovely. So. I have two pieces of lining fabric here, and I'll show you what I've done up to now. Yes. And all the measurements. And so you've got enough fabric in the bundle to do all of this. Plenty, yeah, plenty. Yeah. So I've got, I've basically got two rectangles of fabric. The measurements are inside. Yes. I've interfaced them. Right. And I've taken, and I've taken off um, one and a half centimetre seam off the interfacing. And is that written in the instructions it as well? Is, it yes. is, yes. Okay. And um, I don't know if you can see clearly, I've, I've made five centimetre um, marks from the outer edge to the centre on the centre line. Right. And I've sewed them as well. So you've only gone from there Two five centimeters yes, down. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then, and and I, and I and I did it, and I and I did it when the layers were both wrong sides out. Yes. It's not quite as clear because it's all black. Yes. And then when you flip the layers all to the right side, what you are left with is a letterbox. A letterbox. Yeah. And the zip is just going to sit inside here. Oh, okay. After a bit of wrangling. I said yes, just, yeah, but there's yeah. a little bit of wrangling. I've, I've cut the zipper. Um, right. Did, is that from one of these? Yeah, oh, you, you, gave, you gave me a roll. And, and I, I confess I've never used the roll before. But you know what? It's so, it's so handy. Right. I'm not giving it back, <coughs> by the way. No, no, no. That's <laughs> fine. You keep it. You keep it. And it turns out it's a great size for bag making and to have all of the... There's 20 pulls on there. Yeah, so you get 10 metres of zip and 20 pulls it's on so there. It's so useful. A bit boring to look at. This is the black one. And I'll tell you, matter. one other thing that's really useful about that is when you get a normal zip, you usually have to hand sew the edges together, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah. But with that, <coughs> you don't need to oh. when you're working with it. That, oh, how that's fantastic. That's a bonus as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, brilliant. So what I've gotten done is I've put um, some of this... Wonder tape or yeah, sewing yeah. tape. I, I don't think we've got that available. We just have to check the website for that. And so if you see see the, the zipper hole is so long, yes. I've cut the zip so it's probably about uh, three centimetres right. in and around longer than the zip hole itself. Okay. And then I put tape to the outer edges and the, and the tape matches the outer edges of the zip. Yeah. And I am. Um, so imagine that this is this is the right side. This is the wrong side. Doesn't matter at this point. No, though, not does it? not really because it's all black. But you know, in case you were using a different colour yeah. fabric for both. So we're going just going to try and put the hole, and sit it on top of the zip. Now I will say that because the hole when it's shut is flush it's a tiny bit awkward because you know when we usually do our zips it's a little bit it's more a, it's rectangular little, yes yes yeah well it you you just try and get the teeth to sit in the middle as best as you can if you're used to doing the letterbox Zip. design can you do that where you draw the square and cut into the corners would that not no work? it wouldn't work for this particular okay kind no of no because i was just thinking people at home might be going oh i can do that with the letterbox but don't no, do it you, like you that you couldn't way. it okay. wouldn't work for this particular kind okay. of i can see why you'd ask that though yeah, thank you <laughs> <laughs> just get on with it we are good friends really honestly. okay <laughs> <laughs> so the trick to getting this guy in right. is to fold everything in half. Yes. And it makes the zip sort of stand proud. Yep. And what I should have done is I should have um, marked the halfway line here on, right. the, on the zip and, the and on, the zip, zip, on yeah. the zip as well. But as everything's a little bit too long, it's not that big a deal. Right. And what you're aiming for is to get the folds of the fabric just sitting on top of the edge of the tape, the tape if that yeah. makes sense. Because obviously the tape is going to stay there. You don't want to see it on your finished no, zipper. No, of course not. And uh, yeah, be, be a bit patient. It's, um, it's a little bit of a fiddle to get it sitting in nice. But it will work. Is that going to be? Is that going to be then flush at the top of your pocket? Is that why you can't use the letterbox version because it would be sticking out? Uh, is this the top? Is this the this complete is the top, top of the yeah, pocket? Yeah, yeah. So if you if you look at that, if you look inside the bag, yeah, the zip the zip itself does 
stand proud. Oh yeah, you better see this one because it's a, a red lining. So there you go. So this is, oh sorry, that's, that, that's, that's the zip. Yeah, that's we're putting what we're in at the moment on now. there. So it runs along the top. Oh, hang on, come on, come on, John. One job, John. Yeah, one, one job. One job, John. It just runs along the top of the pocket in there. Okay. Right. That that looks pretty satisfactory to me. Obviously, at home, take you'll spend time. a little bit longer zhuzhing. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, take it to the machine. I'll open it up. Now, obviously, when you when you fold it flat, it'll still want to stand proud. Yes. And if you press it flat again, then you'll just make the zip come away from the hole. It's a bit okay. annoying. So try and let it be as proud as it as you can, but also flat enough to sew. Right. And what I'll do is I'll sew it sew it in a rectangle the rectangle it won't necessarily be square it might be a little bit pointy, pointy yeah. and there's a picture in the instructions to show you what the sewing will look like at the shorter oh, edge okay, of the rectangle uh, now you've got a walking foot on yes. not a zipper foot on so i thought no. you had to do a zipper foot for this i use i use a walking foot for pretty much the whole bag making oh, process okay. and um it, it it takes it takes place of a zipper perfectly well okay brilliant she says no 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 because <laughs> i was thinking we've now got a sewing machine yeah which oh, i can't remember which one it is now that's got a walking foot on it that's got a zipper foot on it oh i wouldn't mind one of those yeah, there, yeah I, I i haven't I got one because i didn't know they existed but i really wouldn't mind one um but that said i've, I've used a walking foot yeah, as, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. a zipper foot perfectly happy for that way you asking while. hannah sorry oh sorry it's a question from here sandy oh sandy you mean morning to you both please say you've inspired me to make so many bags thank you fabulous show that's sandy oh Cornwall. thanks sandy lynn says morning john and lisa Love the bag. What's the finished size, please? I'll get a tape measure. Is Come it? on, you designed okay. it. Sorry. Right, so <clears throat> this is how I'm going to have to measure it. That the widest part... It will be at the base. Yeah, okay. Widest part, the widest part is 20 and a half... Oh, no, no. 21 inches across the body. Just across there. Right, back to Lisa's sorry. And then 18, it was 17 inches, it stands up 17 inches height. That's all you really need to know. Oh, no, across the bottom. And the ba bottom base is five and a half by 16. She's a big girl. She is. So what's she called? Happy Holly Bob. Ha Happy Holly Bob. Now you're saying in white, uh, if you made this at home, you'd be stitching this in yeah, black, I presume. Yeah, yeah. Though, if you, if you like a bit of top stitching, because you're perverse. <laughs> yes. And I am. Sometimes a contrast colour can look oh, really yes, nice. Oh yes, yes, yes. But you have to be confident. Uh, yeah, 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 you do, yeah. Lay off the wine and have a good night's sleep. Did you not sleep well in your hotel last night then? <laughs> or was it just the lack of hours? <laughs> lack of hours! And the train was delayed as well. There was, there was some yobbos on the train making loads of noise, so I couldn't sleep. Oh. Then you've got your really bright lights. And yeah. My uh, next door neighbours, to be back from there, they went on a cruise. Yeah. And they text me, emailed me last night going, there's no flights home, we're stuck in Dubai. They'd been at the airport 11 hours oh. to be told there was no flights, so they were going to have to find them a hotel. Nasty. Room. <clears throat> Though hotels in Dubai can be quite nice. Oh, no, no, they've been on a luxury cruise. Oh, they've, fantastic. Time, yeah. oh, it's not so bad. OK. And then, yes, it will largely look like that. And okay. yes, and it does want to stay proud because anyway... You're going to fold it, It spends you? its life like that. Brilliant. And you see. OK, well, that's... Um, the next step is to put poppers in it. Right. And why do we want to put poppers in it? Why do you want it? to put poppers in it, Lisa? Because it's a super snazz... Super snazz pocket, which honestly I've not seen on another bag before. So I think I might, I might have invented a pocket. Oh, okay. I don't I know how you can, can you see in there? So there's a pocket. This is the pocket that Lisa's just made. And yes. I don't know the best way to show it because I can't put it out. There, then. There's the pocket that Lisa just made. But, but sewing, then, sewing it onto the bag forms another pocket. Which oh, you can hold better. in place with the poppers. Yes. So it's actually two, two pockets in one. So those poppers come in the deluxe bundle, don't yes. they? Yes. Because all, like all these, all this furniture here, that all comes in the deluxe. They call it the deluxe bundle. It was sixty. Was it sixteen ninety nine or something like that? Go across the bottom of the screen. The second then. Just add extras. You could just make it with the normal pocket, 
with the lining and not have to get that for 64 pounds. But if you buy 16 99 time, you get all the furniture. <coughs> Anne-Marie Anna Maria says that. Good morning, John Lisa. Can't wait for the fun and learning to start. <laughs> 22nd of August, remember, because you'll see the construction of the same sort of style of bag. That one was called the uh, Handy Is crafty. it? Was it the Glam Totes? Well, it's one of yours, isn't it? So... Like I said, I've not had much sleep. Oh, I remember it. you. I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember Fine. anything. Uh, but just check the 22nd, so in both hours on the 22nd, or just one of the hours on the 22nd? Uh, it, it's, it's the bag specifically with the same frame as that. Oh, OK. So, so it uses 20... exactly yeah. the same okay. frame, but just, just a smaller version. Right, so what have we got now? So then? I've got a lining piece here, right. which I have sewed some foam onto. This? Yes. There you go. That comes in a metre piece. Now, uh, if you don't want to make the pockets inside, you still need to put the foam inside. I, I would. I yes. mean, the, the foam is not obligatory, but I would put the foam inside because it makes the bag more durable would the, would the bag, and it gives it body. If you didn't put the foam in, would the bag be a slouchy bag it would then? Be it wouldn't a, have it that would lovely... It would be a slouchy, yeah. yes. And these pockets are quite, they're quite sturdy. I don't usually interface pockets, but because right. these pockets will get a lot of use, they might be hurled around a bit. You need something with a bit of gumption that's going to be, um, that's going to take the weight and the tear of the pockets, which is why I used the phone. Okay, perfect. I'm just asking because people want to know if they really need it or something. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend it. It's yeah. not obligatory, but, but also, I'd recommend it. But also, I think a bag it. like this needs that, st not strength, what's the word, uh, you know, kind of structure. The, the body, yes. yes I mean, yeah. if you're putting things like um, gadgets in, like your Kindle or uh, I don't know what the gadgetry that you take, yes. you want some sort of protection or even shoes. You don't want that sort of hard stuff to be wearing through the fabric yes, exactly. and traveling's kind of hard. You know? Yeah. Also, it's, yes, exactly. Right. OK, so this is the lining. Yes. You've cut the Visaline um, sewing uh, foam lightweight fabric. You've sewn that in. Yes. But you've... I've cut some away. Does it say that in the instructions? Now, I, I've, I've a confession to make. Oh, uh, here we go. Not enough, be a while. <laughs> <laughs> not enough sleep again. When I, when I wrote the instructions, I assumed that I had asked everybody to cut um, one and a half centimetres away from all around the foam. So you start off by cutting the foam to the lining pattern. Yeah. But you need to cut one and a half centimetres away. Now, for anyone who doesn't see this show or anyone who needs to ask, please, please tag me on the Sewing Quarter fans page and I'm more than happy to answer any questions. If you don't tag me, I might not see your question and therefore I won't be able to answer you. I, I always try to, but if either yourself or someone else tags me, so why is the phone not the right size? Ask me and I will let you know. Also, some, sometimes people either can't tag or forget, because for some reason I'm not, I can't tag at Neil or Hayley and people like that, something's happened to yeah, Facebook. And, but then other people, so if somebody writes a question for you, yes. sometimes somebody else will yes, tag you. So if you true. see somebody's asked a question for Lisa and it's not tagged, just tag Lisa. The group is nice like that. Sometimes yeah. you do get other people tagging on other people's I just think behalf, it's, a, it's a lovely really group. Nice. It's so supportive. Yeah, I, love it. Supportive I love it. Okay, so we've cut that one and a half centimetre smaller than our lining Yes, piece, we have. Right? And then we've sewed it all around with a, about an eighth of an inch um, seam. Just to hold it in place. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you might want to use some spray glue to hold it in place while you're sewing yeah, it in. Okay. And on the other side, I've put some of these, um, those dimple, those, the, you know, like those anorak snaps. Oh, they, came in, in your, they came in your, um, in your luxury pat hamper. Yes. And um, I've put the measurements as to where they're Bundle. supposed to be, um, the, wh where they're supposed to be on the lining in yes. the instructions. In the instructions, brilliant. And then I've also put in the instructions where the other half should go on this pocket. But for speed, what I'm just going to do today is do that. To show you how to do it. Yeah, yeah. It, it is cheating, but ordinarily you should measure it. Okay, really. now how do you put those in? They come. There's a thing inside yes. them. Yes. Inside now, the packet is there. What I used, and these are exactly the same. Yeah, this, yeah, this yeah. Is just This is just my industrial packet that I have at home. Right. But John's pack, the, 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 the snaps are exactly the same. And it has, actually has, in, instead of using these, it actually has a, 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 an implement to put them in with. Yes, it does. Though I will say, yes. um, I, I never use those lit because I don't really like using a hammer. If I'm crafting at night, it's noisy. So I much prefer to use... 
um, a Vario punch. Yeah. Which is by the same company. Yours is just a different colour to Yeah, mine. because Oh, I know, because it, yours is prim yeah. and ours is the prim love yeah, range. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's just so a newer version yeah. of the same thing. Yeah. That's pretty, actually. I yeah. might, I might well, they've done, all their, they've done all their love collection in that colour. I you might take it home. Not this one, because it's not been opened. Sorry. Can I just get some And also, don't cross Chris today. He's not in the mood for being crossed, Chris. No. Next month again. Next month, yeah. 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 There's one of these open somewhere if you look around the office. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so, <laughs> so if you know, if you get this, not only you get all the different implements in here for all different jobs. So yes. one for cutting holes, one for putting in the... They're all on here. All the instructions of how to use it are all on here. And it's what is handy is it's got a hole punch as well. Yes, yes. So no banging, no hammers, no, no wrecking your yeah. fingertips. It's really, really Mind useful. Mind you, if her, your house is anything like the dressing room this morning, our dressing rooms are next door to each other. There's no, the wall doesn't go right to the ceiling. I walked in and it was like a bloody nightclub in there. Like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. It's true. It's true, folks. Right. So, you've got those already on. Yes. So, you know, th those tools in there match what, what this gadget does. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, if you just want the gadget and you don't mind hammers, then just get this. You don't yeah, need yeah, to get the pliers. Fine. Don't buy anything you don't need. That's what. Uh, John and Lisa, what a fabulous tonic you two are. A great bag, love the new pockets. I tried to bankrupt me this weekend. And Lynn, it's been not, one of those weekends, not, not hasn't it? Not trying. Right. <laughs> go, 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 go. Right, okay, Where okay, the time okay. Are we at? Oh, blimey, the time. Okay, yeah, yeah, move on. There's something you really need to say as well. I remember that was the last thing on your list, so we have to check your list something in a minute. Something I need to say. Ooh, you said, fun. I want to get to number nine. You remember when you uh, brought your computer out in prep and you yeah. said, I need to get to number nine. Mm, no guarantees. We'll, we'll try our best. Right. Now, um, I will say that when, when you have the option to punch fabric or use an awl, if you can use an awl, try and use the awl instead. Because when you punch fabric, you break fibres. And whenever you break fibres, you weaken the fabric. Right. If you have a tapered awl, obviously... Which is what we have. Get you one, keep, get one, get talking. one. They're so useful. Oh. It's not in here. It's not in my trolley. I mean, you, in my, in my, in my, um, in, in my deck, sample, is slightly different to that one. in my sample, I did, I did punch a hole actually. And then after a few rippings and openings, the hole weakened. Yes. So I learned my lesson and I've decided that an awl is a better way to go. So I've made, I've made markings yep. inside the zipper pocket that I've made that match these two thingamabobs there. Yeah. I'm just going to make hole. And why is it better doing it with an awl than a, a because hole punch? Because what an awl does is it, it pushes the, the fibres apart and it doesn't break the oh, fibres. Oh, and a hole punch actually cuts a little yes, hole in it. Yes, and then you yeah. weaken the hole and got then it. with all of the opening and closing, yeah, you, you risk eventually the, the metal wear coming away from the fabric. Yeah. Oh, shit, here he is. I told you, I told you not to cross him today, look. He doesn't seem to be in a bad mood. He's been very nice to me. He loves you, that's why. Of course he does. I love him too. I love you both. I've he got doesn't... a lot of love for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> We'd need to get round Chris's tummy, wouldn't you? Oh! oh! That one didn't go down. Well, come on, go on. I've got to do the recap. Okay, all right. Well, this is just a case of putting this... I don't necessarily need to show because it's in the instructions. Oh, okay, okay, so that's fine. Do you want fine. to do the recap while I... Yeah, do you mind? Yeah, go do for it, go Brilliant. for it. All right, then. Bag bundles, shopper one here, most popular. So you get brand new fabric, half a metre of this. Now, this is like one of the tapestry fabric, look. So, and Lisa says there'll be some of this left over. She's, talk, she's busy flirting with Chris now, so I can't talk to her. There's some of this left over, isn't there, Mrs Lamb? Hmm? There's some of this oh, left over. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely, she you says. Could, you could make a matching toiletry bag. Make a matching toiletry bag if you wanted to. Oh, and enough PU to even put a bottom on it. Right, so you get half metre of that, half metre of the PU, one and a half metres of the red. It's, I'm calling it lining, it's not lining, so and lovely 100% cotton. Uh, you get the leather straps, you get the leather um, flap with the snap fastener on it, and you get the frame, and you get the instructions, and you get your plastic sheeting, which is this, for your base of your bag. All of that. 22nd of August, I know we haven't covered the making of the outside of the bag, but if you watch the 22nd of August on YouTube, it's the same, it's the same um, principle as putting a frame in with the, with the binding around the top of the bag. So watch that. So that's it, the shopper one. 
Uh, shall I go to the one that Lisa's doing? We oh, haven't seen the fabric that Lisa's doing, but it's the floral one. Now, this one, you get half a metre of your floral tapestry, half a metre of your black PU, one and a half metres of your black fabric for your lining, your black... Now, these are leather straps, and the flap with the clasp on is leather. You also get the frame, and you also get the instructions, and you get your plastic sheet. Now, the instructions will have full-size templates in them, remember? And everything is explained in there. Yeah, oh yeah, the whole bag, the whole bag is explained in, in the instructions. It's just that Lisa didn't want to repeat making the outside of the bag and not get to the pocket. Uh, then I've got two more. I've got a peacock one. We're in sync now, me and Hannah. I was already opening it and she's like, can you open the fabric? Oh, now this one feels like a different fabric. This one's not the tapestry. This is not tapestry. This is like a cotton canvas, this one. Is it 100% cotton or is it a mix, do you know? We'll just double check. Oh, it's beautiful though. So that's not the tapestry, that's a canvas. 80-20, 80-20. Now, now what I need to tell you, you will need, remember Lisa was saying, oh, you might need the sewing and you might not. You'll definitely need it in this because this is a much, much um, a finer fabric than the tapestry ones. So there's the bundle, you get everything else. The, the half metre of the peacock, the um, half metre of black PU, uh, you get the teal fabric, one and a half metres, you get the leather straps, the leather flap, and the frame, and the instructions. 64.99, oh, it's not a very nice picture, but 64.99. And last but not least, the paisley, which I love. And if little Paul was here, he'd like this, because he loves paisley. He'd be like, oh, could I make that into a notch pocket? Look, yeah, Andrew's getting over not having a date from the speed dating yet. We'll find out he's in tomorrow, we'll ask him tomorrow. Yeah, but could have, would have, you know, he says he could have had a date. If he'd really wanted a date, he could have had a date. Jesse's been, we'll find out tomorrow. Anyway, half a metre of the Paisley uh, tapestry, half a metre of the black PU, uh, one half metre of the red, the leather strap, the leather flap, the frame and the instructions. Whoop. $64.99. Now, if there's the bundle, if you want to create the very fancy inside with the strap and with the fasteners, we've done a little bundle for all the furniture that you'll need. So you'll get the snaps with the actual thing to put them in with, so you don't need to buy the pliers. You get the, the two bigger swivel clips. You get the what that's to make to, to, for your straps, for your, for your shoulder strap. You make the shoulder strap out of the PU. There's enough PU there to make the shoulder strap out. It's all in the instructions. You get the smaller um, swivel clip, which is the one to put your key chain on or your key strap on. And then you get your D rings, which are for the end of your, uh, to, to attach the, the strap to. And there's the bundle of one, two, three, four. That's what I'm missing. It, Oh, okay. So the... Pfft, right. You do get two of the larger swivel clips in there. Sixteen ninety-nine. Right. So what are you doing now? I'm then, just finishing off the pocket. I'll explain what I've done okay. in a second. -y. Right. Um, I decided not to fiddle around putting in the other snap parts uh, just to save time. Okay. So pretend I have. Yeah. And I'm now finishing off the pocket. So when you finished off the pocket, there will be. Um, oh, do you know what? Is that it wrong? Ah, yes. All right. If <laughs> what I should have done was I should have sewn the short edges together, and then turned them right side out. Maybe I should explain how to do that. Okay. So it is in the instructions. So just go. Oh, just go through the bit that you've just done wrong. Then hang on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. No, no, sorry. So you've... All right. That was, no. This is the pocket that we made earlier. I think I, I think I can kind of just get away with it. Okay. Okay, okay. Pre pretend, pretend that I haven't bound this edge. I haven't actually, okay. I haven't actually done that yet. Yeah. I, I've, um, and I haven't even put the snaps in. I'm so sorry. It's all right, don't worry. Okay, what? So Before you've put the snaps yeah, in, you so do let, this. Let's, pre let's pretend the zip is sewn in. Yes. And that's all I've done. Yes. That's okay, all I've okay, done. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the short edges together by doing this. Oh, yes, so taking the two top short edges. Yes. So and sewing sew them, them together at the short edge only, not the side. And the same for this side. So not down here? No, 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 no. So no, along. No. Yes. Right. 
and then so this side and this side and then you reach inside the zip and then pull everything the right side True. out yes and then pretend i've done that then i add the snaps yes and then the last thing that i would do is to, to bind the edges do you know what because i feel so guilty about not demonstrating it properly i think what i'll probably do is i'll take photographs from the bag making bible of me doing the steps that i missed and then i'll post them on the sewing quarter fans page all right but you mustn't feel you mustn't feel guilty you mustn't feel guilty uh, so what have you done at the end what had you done at the edge here once you so to finish off the pocket after i've turned everything the right side out because i can't turn do the inside out thing no no at that's, this fine, stage, that's fine you have to bind the edges okay so i've uh, instructions on how to make the binding is it bias there. or straight uh, it's straight and i've just made it from the, the same lining fabric yeah. and all i've got on is I've matched it to the same length as the side edges yeah. and then another half, one and a half centimetre either side. Yeah. And then fold in the short edges and then pop the raw edges in the binding and then stitch. Right. And then pretend that I've done so, that. So that your side. whole pocket, before it even gets attached to anything in the bag, is a finished... Yes, is a it needs to finishing. be made like that. And yeah. then it is ready. So pretend that I've put the poppers in there. <laughs> pretend it's the right way There's out with <laughs> the poppers in, without the binding and the seams done. Yeah. Pretend this is a bag. Yeah. It's right, OK, <laughs> so basically, when before you start... Sit and read all the instructions please, and see if there's anything you don't quite do. understand. Yeah. And, I, and I will I will post pictures from my book on how to do this. And you'll put those page. on the Facebook, I am Facebook going to fan put, page? I'm going to put that on the fan page, okay, yes. Brilliant. And then to sew it together, it's an easy case of popping the, popping the pop snaps together. Which you've done, yeah. Yes, and then adding a couple of pins and then sewing on the short side edges and the bottom edge. Yeah. And then what you'll be left with is a, a pocket that does that. Okay. And does that. Brilliant. So it's a Lisa Lamb pocket yeah, if you do it, it, it properly. It won't look like this. It'll look a lot better yes, than exactly. this. Yes, exactly. But then were the, were the poppers on the other side as well? Yes, yes. And I'm not going to demonstrate those because no, 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 actually no, we can they're just, quite straightforward. Let me take this out first of all. So this is... Out. Oh, he says... There we go. So there are instructions on how to make the strap and the key keeper okay. at the beginning so the of... Strap and, so the strap is made of the PU. There's enough yes, PU that is. you've got for the base of the bag yep. to make the strap with. Yep. And then there's instructions on that in the instructions. There's instructions how to make the tabs Yes. in the instructions there. Yep. There's instructions how to make the key, key keeper. tab, the key keeper. Yep. And then what I was looking at was... So this is what Lisa... Are you going upstairs, Jesse? Right. So this is what uh, Lisa's just tried to do. So that's the pocket there. And then inside the, uh, there are the studs. But then I noticed there's some other studs on yes. this side here. Yes. So that's a flap pocket. Yes. And the instructions for that... Yes. Are um, in there. Now, you could do, if you wanted to... Without buying all of the um, the deluxe package bundle, you could make this pocket, but not have the snaps on it. You could have a flat of pocket course, inside. Yeah, you could. And if you've got a zip at home, yeah, you could just put a zip you in totally there. You totally could. Yeah, you could just use a normal button or a magnetic snap. Yeah, or, 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 the thing yeah. is, if, if people do bag making, when you buy a packet of the, well, it's not here, you know the packet of snaps, you've only used one, two, three, four, yeah. and yet there's ten in the packet, Absolutely, aren't there? So you've yeah. got, you'll have them in your stash, maybe. Yes. And you say, well, I can use that. It's just to give you, it's basically, it's Lisa's idea of a bag, and then you can customise it yeah. as much as you want, and you can't can, you? Yeah, you can have two of those pockets, or just one of those pockets. Yes, yeah. or if that one feels a bit too complicated, yeah. then just do a normal zip pocket in Absolutely. there without the snap And fasteners. this one's got two compartments, but if you wanted, you could have three. Yeah. Yes. Completely up to you. Perfect. So that's that. I'll just put the cushion back in there. Oh. Right. Do you want to check your list on your thing? Because yes, I do. I know and you I were saying. That, so that bundle at the. Stitch the. Say this again. Part. I was pointing at the tape there. Um. How are we doing for time? Okay. We've got about one minute. Right. <laughs> But was, I, wasn't there something you wanted to yes, say? Yes, I, I did. So the, the rest, the rest, the rest of making the bag, including how to sew on the um, handles and how to sew on the lock flap. Um, if you refer to August twenty two show, yes, you'll see me doing something very, very similar. And the measurements as to where everything should go are in the instructions. Now I can't remember if I emphasised this in August the twenty second, but before I sew the tabs on what I like to do is mind your face I like to get the I like to put the tab on the pattern marking and I like to get an awl 
and punch the actual holes through the fabric. Oh, hang on, through, through, the, through the leather and through the fabric yes, fabric? Yes, because that way, when you're sewing, hand sewing the handles on, you can see where, where you're supposed to sew out of from the lining. It keeps, and it makes sure that the positioning is on point as well. Perfect. It's worth doing. Excellent. So the thing I did want to emphasise yeah. before I go, yeah. Is can I can I grab one of those plastic canvas things? Yes, quickly. Yep. So um, I I never give patterns for the the stiffener because whenever you make your bag, everyone's is slightly different. It's a bit like when you wash socks, you only get one sock coming out of the machine. I don't know what happens. So what I prefer to do is I always prefer to measure the um, width seam. Yeah. And then the depth seam yeah. and of the of the finished bag. And that gives you your perfect fitting base. And what I do is I, I minus one eighth from both measurements and then I and then I use that to cut the canvas with. Um, and and did you say you do a double layer? We that? do a double layer. So you know I would I'd like you to cut to because it's such a hefty bag that's gonna carry a lot of things, a double layer is really what you need. Yeah. And I also um, I use I use this tape now. This it, it says Nito on it. N, right. N I T T O. Right. I think we it's, don't sell this. No, you don't. It's a it's a specialist tape. It's double sided and it's particularly strong. I just get it from a well known auction website. Okay. And I get um um I get an inch width. And, it's brilliant. And what, do you stick it, is that where you stick the two yeah, layers together? Yeah, I use with? it to stick the layers together, and often I'll I'll use it to stick the um, stick the bag bottom to the fabric itself. Okay, now is this in between the lining and the bag, or is it at the bottom of it's the, at the bottom It's at the bottom of the outer fabric, yes. so it's sitting, it's sitting so on it's the PU. It's so you can't see that when you look inside the no, bag, the lining no. covers all that. And you, if, you, if, this, if this was fabric as opposed to PU, then you could make little stitches to hold to yes, hold it yeah. in. But with its PU, I don't think it's nice. And also, it then makes it not waterproof anymore. Exactly. All right, brilliant. Um, now, you're back in an hour. Yes, I she am. She promises to make the next one properly. <laughs> no, um, I'm not, no, I don't. Go and get an hour's <laughs> sleep. I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> right. Uh, shopper kit. Uh, half a metre of your tapestry, half a metre of your back black PU, metre and a half of your red lining. It's not lining, it's just 100% cotton. You get your leather straps, your leather uh, tab, your frame and your instructions and your sheet of um, uh, plastic canvas. All of that for £64.99. And then that would make this finished bag. There you go. Nicely styled, Thomas, that one. Uh, moving on to floral, which is the one that Lisa was making down, so you didn't see it, so I'll open this one up for you. Oh, I've got ages, I'm fine. There's your floral. Oh, it's nice. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? So you get half a metre of the tapestry, half a metre of the PU, one and a half of black cotton, your leather straps, your leather flap, your frame, your plastic... Uh, Canvas for your box. What's it called? Plastic what? Canvas? Plastic canvas. Plastic canvas for the boys. Oh, look. There you go. That's very quickly. It's really good together. Just, just this floral one. Look, this is what um, Lisa would show. Look, how gorgeous is that going to look? Just to prove that she did do a bit of prep. That's what it is. Just, 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 just. Right. Uh, so that's the floral. Peacock. Now, the peacock is much finer. This is a different fabric. This is, it's beautiful. But it's not the tapestry. You'll be able to tell, look, because look, it's got it's much, much softer. So you will definitely, definitely need your Visaline uh, sewing inside this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous print. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. So you get half a metre of that, half a metre of your black PU, one and a half metres of your teal, uh, your leather straps, your leather flap, and your frame, and your instructions, and your uh, ca plastic canvas for the base. 64 99 there's everything there. And last but not least, the Paisley. This is nice as well. Which is the most popular to say, Hannah? The bag one. Bag one's most popular so far. Uh, so you get half a metre of the Paisley, half a metre of the PU, one and a half of the red. You get the leather straps, the leather flap, the frame, the instructions, and the plastic canvas. There it all is. £64.99. Now, 
Uh, do we, uh, this is going to be, be, this is me being naughty now. Do we sell that plastic canvas on its own? I think we should, shouldn't we? Now, I haven't got it today, but Ian's in today. Ian's coming in today. I know, on a Sunday. The buying department on a Sunday. Uh, I'm going to ask him to get that. Then we've got the uh, bundle. So you get two uh, large swivel clips. This is if you want to do the insides. The two large swivel clips, the smaller swivel clip, the D-rings and the uh, snaps. $16.99. The still is there, but you do get two of the bigger, of the larger ones, the one with the, the D shape at the bottom. That's, in fact, isn't that funny? Because it looks smaller there, but in real life, it's much bigger. Anyway, that's by the way. $16.99. Right, do not go anywhere. Susan Briscoe's up next. We, I've never worked with Susan Briscoe. She's, a, she's oh, I was going to say she's a doll. That's the wrong word, isn't it? Uh, she's a, she knows so much. She's so passionate about her creative, her creative art and everything like that. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic hour. She's in, she's in now doing Sashiko, and then she'll be back in later in Japanese quilting. But in three minutes' time, Susan Briscoe. We've turned two, and to celebrate, we're giving you the chance to win an array of fabulous prizes every single day during our huge second birthday event, taking place from the 7th to the 12th of February. We've got fantastic bundles for sewers and quilters of all abilities, with hampers from June Taylor and thread boxes from the like of Madeira and Mettler, as well as all the storage and books you need for 2019. To enter our daily competitions, all you have to do is make a purchase at Sewing Quarter via our TV auction or online. You can also enter for free. Simply head over to our website and click on the web banner to find out more info. We've also got daily sew specials that include the brand new Sewing Quarter Aurifil thread box. So make sure you tune in every day from Thursday the 7th to Tuesday the 12th of February, only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687 or watch online at www.sewingquarter.com Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Happy birthday to the Sewing Quarter from me, Cindy Cloward, and everyone at Riley Blake Designs. Here's to many more years of happy sewing. Birthdays are better when they're full of surprises and gifts. So we decided to make our second birthday extra special with a free gift for new and existing customers who purchase any web or auction product during our second birthday event. Shop between 8am on Thursday the 7th of February and midnight on Tuesday the 12th of February and you will automatically receive a free brand new sewing quarter pin badge. This new exclusive pin badge worth $4.99 is the second sewing quarter badge in circulation and is the perfect gift for any sewing quarter fan. You even get a £5 off code on the back of the badge for your next purchase. Plus, if you spend over £30 in one transaction during our six-day event, you can also get your hands on a brand new Sewing Quarter Shopper tote bag worth £6.99, which includes not only one, but two beautiful patterns worth £7.99. So join in with the birthday celebration and get your hands on these fabulous free gifts. Each offer is available while stocks last. See the website for full details. I'm so excited about this hour because everyone's been talking about oh, Susan Briscoe, Queen of Sashko, Susan Briscoe, and I'd never met her. I'd never met her. And then every time we do a Sashko, we sell a book, we talk about her, we say she's the Queen. Never met her. Well, today, she's here and she's lovely. She's got blue hair, mind you, but she's lovely. And she knows everything, everything you need to know about Sashko and Japanese quilting. I bet there's a question you couldn't answer. She, you could ask her. She wouldn't be able to answer the question to her. She knows everything. She brought Glenn with her. Glenn, has, where is he actually? I thought he'd be in here. Sidey, trusty sidekick. He's in the other room having coffee, apparently. Uh, co there's a, do you know what? We don't get donuts and cakes normally on a Sunday. Uh, donuts, both jam and custard, and pano chocolat, fresh ones. 
Hannah, did you know there was Hannah chocolate in the green room? She's not had one yet. She's only eaten Alistair's four from yesterday. That's all. Oh, two, sorry. But t didn't you have two yesterday as well? Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Susan's book, The Ultimate Sashko Sauce Book. This is, where, this is where we all know from. This is where everybody knows it from. This, now, I need to tell you that every time we bring this book, it flies out by the hundred and hundred and hundred. Uh, I can't, do you know who will be beside herself today? Marcia. Marcia, who loves Sashko and she loves Japanese quilting. She's going to be in her element today. If anyone rings Marcia now, you'll, you'll get a mouthful when she rings her. Anyway, this is a gorgeous book. Beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, now, um, have a look at everything you need to know. It's getting started. It's everything you need to know about Sashko, Sashko, the way you do the stitches, what they all mean, showing you how to do long samplers. It is just exquisite, isn't it? Look, and what I love is lovely little ideas, right, of, like coasters, but being able to, how you can practice doing your little Sashko patterns and things like that. It is an art form. And Susan, I'll tell you all about it. I'm not even going to go into the fact that it was started off as like f posh darning, wasn't it, originally, and when uh, clothes were being worn out and everything. And now people just look at the joy of it. It's absolutely stunning. And it's such a simple thing to do. People think it's complicated, but actually... It's a really, really lovely, it's very therapeutic, I'd say. Look, it's all about those lovely lines, isn't it? Following the lines. Little projects. Oh, now don't ask me to say these words. Kinchaku bag. Oh, thumbs up, thumbs up. Blue bag, I can do that one. Red bag, I can do that. Za Zabuton. Oh, I've got it perfect. Uh, now, this, you see, this is where you might know from, because we've done all shapes like that. Oh, actually, that's like a cushion she's brought with her, actually, today. So all of that, 15 99 it's a beautiful... Look at all the different stitches. All the different stitches you need to know there. I'm going to talk a little bit less today, because we need um, uh, Susan to, to use or soak up in all of her expertise in this. I've got a... Now, if you've never done Sashko before, and you're thinking, oh, what to do, do? We've got a starter bundle. We've got a starter bundle here for you. What you get is, you get uh, a metre of fabric, you get uh, a half metre of the blue, half metre of the cream, you get three threads, you get some chart copy paper, you get your trio pen. Now this one here has the, got the, 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 the black lead, the white lead, and the just the... the it's like a song, you might have got it yesterday in the, in the um, So Special. And then you get two packs of Sashko needles. Now, and, and you get the book, and you get the book. Don't forget, you get the book as well. Get the book as well. Um, now, the needles, you're going to be wondering why you need some long ones and some short ones. Uh, Susan will tell you all about that in a second, though. But please be careful. They are very, very sharp. Loads of you love Sashko. Now, now, uh, loads of you love Sashko for ages. That's for people who are just about to start off. These, these are gorgeous. Now what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll come in the middle and I'll hold one out. Now these are suits. I'm not going to talk about them in detail because Susan will do that, but I'm just going to show you them. They are, they, they, I'll show you, well let me show you the, the selvage as it were first of all. Look. Designed by Susan Briscoe. Look. For Olympia Thread MFG. Right now you can see there's Japanese writing next to it. That's because um, they you know sometimes when you people bring something over to the West and it's like the, the, the people where it comes from, like, oh, we have nothing to do with that. These are so fabulous that the Japanese market want them. Do you know what I mean? That's why the instructions are in Japanese. Right, now, this is something important I want to point out here. Here. So, once you've done your sashiko, you wash it and all of the marks will disappear. Right, let me just hold one up for you because it's a panel. It's a panel, right? I've got them in several colours. This is the TV, TV exclusive, not even yet launched in Japan. Oh, other way up, other way up, other way up, other way up, I'm being told now. Other way up, there you go. Oh yes, I've got it now, I've got it now. So it's a panel, but look, you get eight of the bigger designs and eight of the smaller designs. Oh, they're flying into baskets. Now, be careful, because I've got them in six different colours. I've got them in six different colours. Oh, now, the other size, what's the other size, Hannah? 110 by... Because I haven't got it on the screen. 60. 60 centimetres. 60 centimetres by 110 centimetres. Go down again very quickly, because I'm not going to stand with all of them. I'll just show you the other colours in a minute. But they're all the same, they're all the same patterns on them. 
Now the fabric, you're going to love the fabric. It's called? Samugi. 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 Which means woven in Japanese. Oh. Right? Right, I was listening, you see. Well, I might have looked dreadful, but I was listening. Right, and you can get samugi in cotton, you can get it in silk, you can get it in anything that would be woven, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. This is the most beautiful shot cotton. I'll, I'll talk about that when we go. I don't, want to, I don't want to take up too much of Susan's time. So, that's the indigo one. We've also got it. Oh, look at these beautiful colours. I'll wait. I'm not going to say just red, because it might not be called red. It'll be called as something special. It's red. Deep red. Deep red, exactly the same panel, $24.99, but in the deep red. I don't know how you're going to choose which one you want, because wait till you see this next colour. $24.99 for the deep red. Keep going through, keep going through. Then look at that. That's the most delicious sort of olive khaki green, isn't it? Now, in that one, you can really, really see the shot. It's black going one way, green going the other way, isn't it? Dark green, that one's called. $24.99. Oh, now. The dark green is more limited than the other colours. So if you like it, there's still a lot of them, but we know what Sashiko hours are like. So please be careful. The green one's more limited. Nice. So you can see the, the, the shot in the red and the dark green there. Now this one is black. So this will be black on black. Um, it looks very similar to... The, well, I'll put the dark navy next to it. Look. There you go. You see, that's your dark navy. That's your black. So you can see the difference there. That's lovely, isn't it? The, the fabric feels like it's got a little bit of a slob in it, you know, like a, like, um, a what's it silk. Um, oh, I'm trying to think now. When I did the clothes for Around the World in 80 Days, we used this really beautiful silk. It had a lovely little slob in it. It's very like that. $24.99 for the black one. Oh, wait till you see this next one. Are you ready? Just wait for the graphics, that's all. I'm not, I'm not trying to tease you. Look at this one. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? That colour. Now, I'll have to ask a question because I normally think of Sashiko being done in a cream. I wonder if you can do it in a. That would look lovely in a rusty red on there, wouldn't it? Really beautiful in a rusty red. Graphics are coming in. I do apologise. Grey, that one is. Oh, okay. That, just grey, that one's called. But it's not grey at all. It's like a beautiful taupe, mushroom. Oh, um, oat mealy, that kind of colour. They've called that one grey. Oh, yes, she's nodding. Okay, and then this one, which is grey. Mind you, I say that. It feels like it's, it's grey, but it's got a bit of Air Force Blue in there as well, hasn't it? That one's called mid grey. So that one's grey. The topi one is called grey. This one's called mid grey. Well, they've all got the same uh, d d uh, designs on them, so that's why I haven't opened them all out. They're all the same designs as the blue one. We'll go, we'll go through it all with Susan, because they'll all, all have meanings and things, won't they? £24.99. Now, they're the panels. They're the panels that you can get. Now, you're thinking, that's all very well, John, but I'd quite like to make something out of them. I've got the matching fabric. So the fabric that isn't... It's exactly the same fabric, but it hasn't got any of the designs on. So maybe you're thinking, yeah, that's lovely. I want to do my own. I want to do my own design from Susan's book or something like that. I've got all of those fabrics by the half metre, just plain, just plain. No, no pattern on them or anything like that. Shall I go through them all now? Very quickly. So I've got the, the blue. Now, this is by the half metre. Remember? Oh, now, how wide are they? Let me show you how wide it is. Oh, it'd be 110, I suppose. There you go. That's your half a metre. That's your half a metre there. It's 100% cotton. Sumugi. Oh, it's beautiful. The slug. Do you know what? Do you know what it looks like? It looks like a really, um, if you made a suit, I mean, if you made the wool version, there's that beautiful, like, um, what were they called? The, the boys on the mod bikes, you know, the kind of really lovely suit, the zoot suits. That's what it looks like but in cotton. So that's the, blue, that's the uh, indigo, indigo blue, that one. Then I've got the dark red one. Oh, look, you can really see it there. So imagine if you bought that panel, right, and then you think, oh, I want to make 
coat, not coat, but you know, like a bag or, or, or a wall hanging and I need some more for the background, then this all matches beautifully, doesn't it? Is that steep red? It's 9 99 for half a metre, remember? Obviously, I've got a half metre piece here. When you buy yours, if you buy a metre or two metres, it comes as one piece. Obviously, if you buy the panels, they come separately. But if you buy the, the, the fabric, it comes however much you want. It comes in that size piece. OK. The, the, the graphics, we're just trying to wait for the graphics to catch up because I don't want you to miss anything because I, I want you know, Susan to do all the talking. Keep going through. We'll keep you updated on um, stock warnings and things like that. The web is running behind, and I do apologise profusely. So you, what you're seeing there won't be what I'm showing here. That's the problem. Just one behind. You're seeing the dark red at the moment, but it's now onto the dark green. It's, oh, yeah, it's stressing, Hannah. Oh, OK. Uh, the web people can't see the green one yet. That's why there's an issue. If you want to, uh, you know what? Ring up. Ring up, I would. I would. It'll appear in about 10 seconds, it'll appear on the web. I do apologise. Has it appeared yet? No, OK. Right. Uh, next one is the black. Nine, 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 half a minute. Now, the black is limited, I'm being told. The black on its own is limited. There's, see, so if you bought the black, there's the black panel, and there's your black fabric to go with. 9 99 for half a metre. Beautiful. Made a gorgeous quality. Really, really lovely quality. Just two more. Right? Great. Oh, that's lovely. I had, now, that one's reminding me of a linen, because when Ken and Barbie got married and I went to their wedding, I had a suit a bit like that, out of that colour, a linen. Graphics will come in. There we go. That's just called plain grey. There's nothing plain about it, there's nothing grey about it, is there? We love that one. I like that one, and I like the green one. Love the green one. So that one is just called plain grey. And then the last one is the mid grey. It's lovely, isn't it? You can see it's got a bit of blue in it, that one, hasn't it? A bit of Air Force C blue. Oh, love it. So that, is this one your favourite then, Hannah? Yeah, mid grey. That's Hannah's favourite. Okay, she thinks it's the same colour as her hair. We think we'd better buy Hannah a mirror for. Christmas. Right. I've covered everything now. So let's go and see Susan Briscoe, the Queen of Sashko. Hello, Mrs. Blue Hair. <laughs> Hello. Is it always blue? Do I get it is hug? usually. Yes, it is. Oh, how to are you? They've, or ever since, I've never heard of Sashko because my mm -hmm. background is costumes and dressmaking, yes. things like that. Funnily enough, that used to be mine. Oh, did it? Yes. <laughs> Oh no, if our paths cross, we're not going <laughs> to... No, we haven't. <laughs> but do you know what, everyone, everyone, I because I, 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 I was saying it wrong, so I kept saying Sashiko, and everyone yes. kept going, no, it's Sashiko. And then I did one show, everyone kept saying how brilliant it was in this book and everything like that, and then Jennifer Taylor came on and did yes. a show with me. Oh yeah, she's done quite a few. Yes, and she is like this for you. Oh, Susan Briscoe, she's Briscoe <laughs> like this. So I'm honoured and, and delighted right. to meet you today. Um, uh, now, let's talk about how these panels came about in the first place. Right, how these panels came about. Let, which colour, which, colour, which is your favourite colour? <laughs> I don't have you one. I, I love them all, actually. Okay, I really, let's go I really Hannah's favourite then. So um, we okay, we'll, we'll, we'll actually work with Hannah's favourite. Yeah. Um, and I'll explain She's a little producer, bit about how it all came about. Right. Because, um, there we oh go. gosh, there we go. I'll, I'll just very briefly flash a book that we haven't actually got today, but we have, okay. had, it, we have had it on Sewing Quarter before. Oh, okay, perfect. So viewers may already have this. And will we be getting it again? You will be getting okay, it again, perfect. definitely, definitely. Um, it was called Japanese Quilts Blocks to Mix and Match. Right. And the lovely quilt that's up behind us here, yes. let's give you a little show of it, that was made with blocks for that book, which were all, um, they're all nine and a half inch blocks 
Is that, and is that traditional nine, nine size. and a half inch block? It's not especially, but when, when I designed all the blocks of the book, we found that nine inches, because we were working imperial rather than metric. Oh, no, so in Japan, imperial, in, in, in yeah. Japan, they work metric, you yeah. see. Oh, um, do they? They do, oh, yes, they okay. do, they do. So that's why we had to be very careful about the size for yeah. these. Um, I just found that nearly all the traditional designs that I was using, they, they split, they divided out better, starting out with nine inches as the block right. size. So that was what set it up for the book. And I made this piece for the book. The, um, they're all different Camon crests, they're Japanese family crests. Oh, are? Uh, That's well, where the designs now we're come only, from. At the moment, yes. we're only talking about the Sashiko squares We're in talking about the, the blocks, Sashiko squares, we, yeah. yes. I mean, obviously, the patchwork ones are in the book as well. Yes, yes. But the, the ones that are actually done with the Sashiko, those are all different Japanese family crests. So in the book, of course, you have to you actually have to enlarge them up because we couldn't fit them all in the book otherwise. Well, no, it would be a big they, book, they, they would, it? Yeah, they would, they would have been too big for the pages. Yeah. Um, and but then you had to transfer them yes, onto the fabric. Yes, you had to transfer them onto you? fabric. Yeah. This is it. I mean, you, you, can, you can still do that, obviously. But we wanted a really easy version. And when Olympus approached me about doing some panels for them, I said, why don't we take the most popular designs? And I, I, I know these are the ones that everybody loves because these are the ones that my Sashiko students always go for. So we picked those. And uh, we, we arranged them like this with the idea that you could stitch the whole thing as a panel if you right, want to. Yes. So you've got that option. Yeah. You can stitch the whole thing as a panel and leave out the, um, the cutting lines if you like. Right. Um, oh, yes. Or, or you could stitch those as well as outlines uh, oh, if yes. you so, want. So if you made a panel, you could stitch that, stitch that, stitch that, wash yeah. it, wash and then it, all and of these, these will all would disappear. disappear if you them yeah. To, yeah. For goodness sake, don't wash it before you start. That, <laughs> you, no. must, you must remember that because all the lines would go. Um, so we had that idea, and then we thought, well, also people can make other things out of it as well. Um, I've just shown yeah, you this no, one. Yeah, no, you go, you go for it. You I, go I for must it. admit, I don't think we've actually got this design on the panel, but well, it was, no, no, it but was it in the book. Well, no, no, it gives an idea, doesn't it? But just taking it and making something like a cushion or a bag. And the other thing I liked about having the, the eight different um, designs, yes. I thought this would be great for um, a really nice set of um, table mats, using the, the big pieces, the oh, table mats. Oh, the two posh, the two posh yep. for table oh, mats. That'd be great, it'd be wonderful. You, you've not been to Hannah's <laughs> for dinner, they'd be covered in gravy within minutes at Hannah's house. It wouldn't matter. Sashiko's no. Sashiko so tough, you can just stick this in the washing machine. Uh, <laughs> you'd, the thing you'd is, be though, fine. the history of it is, it was a, it was yeah, a mend, it was it a was, mending, it was a mending thing, technique. It? So you can actually treat it quite badly. Well, no, and we don't want you to treat it. <laughs> And it, that's okay. So if you were going to make these up, uh, you know, as um, table mats, what I would do is put a narrow border at the top and the bottom of each square, yes. wide border at the side. Then you've got a matching set of coasters as well. So now, if you do that, would you mm. do all the sashiko first before you before you mount it or anything? You'd literally sit and do the sashiko sashiko stitching mm, first. You oh. could you could do it either way. I think if I was actually going to cut them up. What I would do is I would cut them along the dotted lines, yes. take them to my sewing machine, and I would zigzag or overlock stitch the edge. Because, because, it, yeah, because this kind of fabric, because it's a little bit more loosely woven than yes. the normal patchwork fabric, it does fray a bit. But then, but then we, you expect that mm, with a loosely do, woven fabric. You do, you do. But it's, it's that quality that makes it easy to do the sashiko stitching with it. You can get the needle through it very oh, easily. Oh, okay. I was going to say to mm -hmm. you, why, why did you choose this fabric to do it on? Well, Olympus actually do quite a few different fabrics, for, especially for sashiko. But this one, I, I really loved. It's exactly the same fabric, well, in the blue version, that I used on the quilt behind me. Oh, and okay. the thing that I like about it is it's... It's a suitable weave for stitching a sashiko, so you can yes. stitch the sashiko very, very easily. But it's also not so thick that you can't patchwork with it. You can actually do some quite detailed patchwork with this fabric. Oh. So if people want to do patchwork blocks with the plain fabrics, you see, I mean, coordinate between oh, the and two. Then, but then they, they, they could do, if they did a medallion quilt, they could have this in the centre. Of course they could. And then and make then a bigger border, block with things going yeah, around the outside. Yeah. But you see, some of the sashiko fabrics are a little bit too thick to do that. So we chose this one because it wasn't. It was but just the perfect you wouldn't, fabric. You wouldn't then mi would you then mix this with a different weight of fabric, or would you keep them the same weight? I've mixed it with patchwork fabrics as well. In fact, in the quilt behind me, yeah. <laughs> the, the cream and the... Um, the pale blue and the sort of mid blue, those are just ordinary patchwork cottons. Oh, oh, so you can, oh, yeah, sometimes you can you don't, people don't want to mix mm. it, because it's not lawn weight, but it's, it's not, not your normal weight of a, a, no, of a patchwork no. it's, fabric. No, it's, it's a it? little bit heavier than a patchwork fabric, but not very much. Yes. And I mix it with other fabrics all the time, and it's absolutely uh, it is, fine. And, and it, it obviously washes up well then, if it, it does. Uh, if it's a sound. Oh, yes, I've got yes. a quick question here. Oh, yes. no, oh. I have, nothing's come through, Hannah. I've got a question from Marcia. All right. <laughs> can you please tell me if this, 
Is it similar to yarn dyed? This is Marcia who adores similar Japanese to a yarn quilting. dyed fabric. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's, it's actually similar to some of the Japanese top fabrics. Okay, which we're going to be yeah. covering which in we are going to be covering the next hour. In the next hour. We? Well, the next hour, but one. Okay, right. Uh, Debbie says, "Morning, John and Susan. Loving all things Japanese. After a visit to Kyoto last year, I oh. fear my bank card may cry. <laughs> it's worth it. It's so worth it. So, um, these are all printed up to yes. different people's." Family houses, did you say? Yeah, they're, they're different family crests. Family crests. Yeah, different crest designs. And you're allowed to use the different family crests. Yes, then, it's not a problem. The only one you should be a bit careful about using is the imperial crest, which is the 16 petaled chrysanthemum. It's the what? It's 16 petaled chrysanthemum <gasps> design. Oh. And you, you shouldn't really use exactly the same one as the imperial crest. Oh, OK. But apart from that, you can use any of these. Which is lovely. Mm -hmm. And you, you often see them actually decorating things in Japan. So Yes. So, so going back, going back, going mm. back. So the history of it is, is mm -hmm. it was started off as people fixing their clothes, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Sashka really came out of darning and making work clothes, making stuff that was really, really tough. In fact, I, I noticed one of, the, you know, one of the viewers there saying that she'd been to Kyoto. Yes. I came back from Japan on Tuesday, and Sunday and Saturday last week, we, we were up in Shonai, which is the district where I used to live, in Yamagata Prefecture. Oh, you still live? So is this how... Because I don't even know how, how you're so involved in it. You used oh, to live there. Oh, right, I used to live there. I was an English teacher. It, oh. goes back, it goes back, goodness me, to the early 90s. And I've always stayed in touch with my friends, my neighbours, and they're the people who... They've got a group going called Use a Sashko Guild, so we went to see them. And at the moment, they've got a big exhibition on of old Sashko and new Sashko. So we went to see that too. It's absolutely great. I, um, I work with a cameraman at another place. Mm -hmm. I work and the only place he'll go on holiday is mm, Japan really and they go three he and his brother go yeah. three times a year it's and lovely they, and I said do you do something different every time he said no I just love the <laughs> culture and he doesn't like to be in the big cities just yeah. like to go out and live yeah like kind of real Japan as I, yes. I call it sort yeah. of thing and he has the best time ever mm. and he just comes back and he's so and we're not going to go, <laughs> go, go and then two weeks later he's booked another one out there yeah. he just says the cut and ha producer Hannah's going for a weekend I know I, I, I came back on Tuesday and on Wednesday I was looking at flights for October <laughs> oh, but then if you love it, why, why not? So it's uh, great. Uh, nothing to do with this. As, mm. So, as a, so can you speak? Chotto, a little bit. Oh, because yeah. so you taught I, English I, as a foreign I, language. I taught English there. at uh, junior high school level, actually, twelve to fifteen year olds, on a thing called the Jet Program. That's how it all started out. And people who I met, like my next door neighbour, she she now runs the local Sashko group. So I met people. Oh. It was all coincidence. Yeah, I didn't no, go there. Thing is coincidence. It all happens for a reason. <laughs> it does. But then, it does. But then, now this is a bit frightening because I changed as an English teacher as well. Did you? So I went to Wimbledon oh. School of Art to do the, the costume course there. I oh goodness to be an English me! English we've we've sort of yeah, we've got so many things similar. Mm. We'll have to have a chat afterwards anyway. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look. Now this is gorgeous. Hannah's asked me to get the red one out. It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? We will it be is. doing some stitching. Don't worry, we'll be doing some stitching. I will do a bit of stitching for you. Yes, because I want to show you how easy it is to start off with these. Okay, oh. now Hannah's a bit concerned about washing it. So you can't pre-wash it because obviously everything no, will disappear. No, the colour Once doesn't you, run. The colour wouldn't run, no, no. but that this will disappear. This is a the marks sort of, will go, yes. Yeah. yes. And, okay, so it is just like marking up your fabric with a chalk or something like that. So yeah. now the practicality of making something, mm -hmm. because th there's a special way of stitching. Of doing Sashko, stitching, there is, yes, yes. And is, it, is there a reason why they do it like that? Well, pleating the fabric onto the tip of the needle, it, first of all, it means you can go pretty quickly with, with your stitching. But the other thing that's good about it, um, you're going to be stitching with a doubled thread. You'll see what I mean in a moment. OK. Um, I mean, it's, it's one thread, goes up to the eye of the needle, comes back again. You can start with a small knot on the back. Oh, good. Um, but in order to stop the two threads sort of twisting around each other all the time in the stitches, you need to do this pleating and easing out thing because it makes the two, stitch, the two threads and the stitches lie parallel. Oh. And that's what makes the Sashko stitches look very, very bold. So the piece behind us was stitched like that. This little cushion here, that was done the same way. Yes, when you saw it earlier, you said, oh, goodness, they're really thick. Well, no, no, because they mm. look much thicker than I remember yeah. seeing Sashko, yeah. that was yeah. all. Yeah. And I suppose it was done like that because it wasn't an art form to begin with. It was people fixing their clothes. It was, people, they wanted to fix it was, it. It was repair, yeah. But, but it also, very quickly evolved into an art form. It was, it was quickly <laughs> an art form. But yes. aren't, there, aren't there also different... I know these are family crests, but yes. aren't there things like... like the, I call it the clamshells, but they're waves, aren't they? They've really got different there are meaning. hundreds of different geometric patterns which is what's in the ultimate sashko source book really yes. if you want to learn more about it this book yeah, is fantastic that, the ultimate the sashko <laughs> source book because this has got all the, the history about the stitches has, and everything it has like that in, but it, it also shows you how to draw the geometric patterns from scratch most oh, of them are based, yeah most of them are based on grids right and so you, you draw a grid on your fabric and 
then you, you continue from that. The one you just mentioned, where you're saying about the clamshell type design, yes. can I just borrow that? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like this one here? Yeah. That's called Nawaki, it's grasses. It's, it's called Nawaki, it means grasses. It means what? <laughs> grasses. Oh, okay. Well, it's usually translated as grasses. It actually means icy autumn wind blowing oh. through the grasses, but um, yeah, it's usually translated as oh, grasses. it's so poetic, isn't it, really? They've all got wonderful names. Um, I'm just finding it in here. Yeah. There we go, that's... Oh, you've done this before, I, I don't have, need to be yeah, here. Yeah, I have done the, I have done a little bit of this before. I'm sorry, it's a bit shiny. That's the, the grasses pattern right. down there. And to do that, you see, you would start with your grid. So even then, the curvy ones, you start with yeah, a straight grid? Yeah, you start with a, a grid. So you, you then um, you take a circle template and you basically draw the clamshell part of the design, and then you draw the two little bits of the grass. Right, it, so take, that, it takes through so everything in here. that's different to that one, then, is it, it even is though they're both yeah. clamshells? Yeah, yeah, that's Sagaiha, means ocean wave. That's the yeah. one I like. You, that's the one you like, yeah. and and that's another version of. Oh, sorry. Yes, it is. That's the other version of Sagai Hat over here. You can have one where it's got like sort of consecutive yes. um, circles going on in it, and then this one. Um, by, by the time you get to your third circle, you, you sort of pull the template down a little bit, and you get this sort of shallow arc oh, at the bottom. Oh, different, different so arc. It's two it. different variations in the same pattern. Fantastic. Yeah, there's loads you can do. Right. Absolutely so loads. If you can do the drawing, get the starter bundle. Get the starter yes. bundle if you can start drawing. I'm going to move on to these because these fascinate the me. Threads. <laughs> the threads. They're wonderful, aren't they? I'm going to get my scissors. Now, it's Can all right I... to use other colour. Oh, oh, yes, it is. Other yeah. colour. Are you going to cut mine, then? Is that all right? Yeah, of course yeah. it is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, these <laughs> have got no in. English writing on them at all. No, they haven't. I'm going to put my specs on and tell you what it does say on them. On the front, um, I don't know if you can see that little bit there. That says Sashka Ito, which is Sashka Thread. It does actually say Sashka Thread in English underneath, you know. Oh, I haven't got my gloves And on. cotton, 100%. You wouldn't, you wouldn't need your specs on for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's quite small. I'll here somewhere. Um, uh, now, and these it's, it's were 100 metres. You get They're three. Super. You get all three of these. But yeah. how much is on there then? 100 metres. Uh, on each? On so each. you got 300 on metres. Each. Yes, it keeps you going for a very long time. And now, is it like embroidery thread? Do you split it? No, you don't split it. You use it as it comes off the okay. scale. Open is that, that right? one's yours. Yeah. I play about with this one. Yeah. This is fun. So you've got the little paper band around it, and on the back you've got a number which says 102. That's actually the shade number. Oh, thread. okay. So I always hang on to this. Because I think if I want to order some more, I want to know which brand of thread it was. Because yes. there's a few different brands. Oh, okay. Olympus, oh, so it's, it's, like, it's like embroidery threads. People yeah. use all different embroidery yeah, threads. exactly. And once you start getting into Sashka, you might find you end up with a few different brands as well. But the Olympus thread, it's, it's a really beautiful quality. Yes. And this one... Now, hang on. That's just mm. unravelled into oh, yes. like a... Like my nan used to do her wool like that when I was yes, little. Yeah. Yes. If you want to drive yourself crazy... <laughs> okay. Try and wind it off like wool. If you don't want to drive yourself crazy, you want to do this. You right, see it okay. up here. Right, Alexa, um, are we on this yet? See yes, that yes. little bit there? Yeah. yeah. It's all tied together in one place. Yeah. So this is the bit. <laughs> when I show people this, they usually go, oh! <gasps> no, just cut you're through. not. Cut through like that. Okay, I'll take the little knot bit off there. That's crazy. Well, how, do you store, how would you store this at home once you've done that then? Oh. I'm going to put it into a loose plait. Oh, okay. So I'm going to thread this through. So you, all you've done is cut through every single I cut through every single Oh, strand. I suppose it's because you don't need longer the, than... Right. This is the right length to stitch with. with oh, it how fantastic. And I put the little band back onto it. Yeah. So later on, you know what you've got. Yeah. Can I borrow your finger? Which yeah. one? It <laughs> doesn't matter. Any, any finger. There you go. It's, it's handy if you've got a friend to do this yes. with. Yes. Oh. Whoops. Sorry. That's right. Um, and I'm literally putting it into a very, very loose plait. Really uh, now, quite you've, loose. Got, you've got more than three, though, have you? No, I haven't. I've oh, only got, got three. three. I, I took... Um, when I divided it out, I sort of took a little bit of one side, a little bit of the other side, and that was my middle bit. Right. And oh, I see. I thought that's why I thought you were doing more into three. It doesn't have to be. So is that what Glenn does done. normally? What Glenn? Glenn? Yeah, Glenn. Why Glenn, do you keep Glenn? calling him Glenn? Oh, I don't I've been know. Calling him Glenn well, I think morning. most people get mixed up. You see, we actually live in Scotland, but he's got a Welsh name, and he tends people often call him Glenn because that's the Scottish version. Okay, of Glenn. but he's not Scottish, is he? No, he's, he's Welsh. Well, he's not actually. He's from the Wirral, but there you go. Oh, oh <laughs> no, we've got another thing. I'm from oh, the Wirral. Oh no, not again. I'm from the Wirral. <laughs> All these I'm links. From Chester, and my family oh, live on Oh, I don't believe it. He's from Osmia Port. That's where my Kajuli lives. My brother, my brother lives in uh, Tilda Thornton. Oh, goodness me. It's a small, as we say, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very small, small world. world. How old is he? Do I go to school with him? Uh, I don't know. He's, he's a 963 er Oh, he's younger than me. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to be subtle there. <laughs> anyway, you, you've got your, your fabric. You've got your people, you know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go, um, on, go, on, go, on, go on. So I've got this all plaited up yeah. now. And then I'm going to pull my thread out. From like the loopy end, like that, and it all stays in the plait. It's funny that loopy end. The loopy end. So it, it, it hang just on, I'm stays try really it so tidy. Hang on, let me get my gloves on. I'm yeah. just going to see, because you might go. make it look simple. It is simple. <laughs> just pull. Okay, so you, you just can, you take can pull one. Out, you can pull out one at a time. Yeah, I am. You can pull out two at a time. I've got two, that's But good. if you go for three, for some reason, it just, you just can't do it. 
but you can pull out one at a time. Oh, okay. Oh, you've got two. You've I've got, got two. two. Well, you're, actually only, you're going to need one. Yeah, oh, I only need yeah. one. Okay, right. And uh, I look. just need Oops. to tell you how, what did you say, Hannah, about the... Uh, these are absolutely flying out. I have to show you the steel because we've it's opened fantastic it. fantastic all three, all three for 15, like 300 metres. We've not, we haven't had this before. That's a lot we? of thread. I don't think you have, no. 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 Um, now, we're going to use 102, which is a lovely creamy mm -hmm. ecru colour. Yeah. We've had, this is the only one we've got, but does it come in other colours? It does come in other colours. It comes in white, it comes in a red, there's a dark blue. Does it matter? The what shaded it, ones. Are there rules about what colour you can use stitching, Sashko? Traditionally, people tend to go for cream or white. Okay, perfect. Which but you, you also see old pieces which are stitched in blue, but usually those, um, you can't really see the pattern very clearly because right. it, you know, it's quite dark. Oh, yes, of course. But the exciting thing is, and I'll let you in on the secret uh -oh. now, um, Olympus are actually bringing this thread out in a whole new load of colours oh. in a couple of months' time. I haven't quite so got the release back. date yet. Um, well, when I'm back in June, we should be able to get no, them. No, when you're back here. When I'm back here. Oh, in June, yeah. Well, hopefully it'll be the end of June. Well, you could bring them with you. Possibly could do. We're yep. buying yep. the yep. today. Yep. So because we'll they, they also do, um, they do another thread, which is also classed as a medium thread, in a 20 metre skein. I like the big ones because, let's face it, you are going to lose a lot of thread yes, when you're doing sure. Sashko. Um, and I suggested a while ago, I said, why don't you take the most popular colours out, the 20 metres, and bring them out in 100s? So that's what they're doing. Oh. And they've also uh, got... You get a consultancy fee. Uh, now, <laughs> you said this was medium weight. Are there different yes. weights of threads there, then? There are different weights of Sashko thread. Um, there's fine Sashko thread, which is actually what my friends in Usamachi tend to use. But it's, it's quite difficult to get hold of outside of Japan. OK. This one is classed as a medium thread. Right. But if you compare it with the 20 metre thread that Olympus do, which is also a medium thread, right. This, is actually, it's, this seems very, very slightly finer. And I asked their European rep, Keiko Kawamoto, about it. And she said it's because this one is a mercerized thread. It's what? Mercerized. Oh, okay. Um, I th I'm not quite sure how they do the mercerizing process, but it makes it a little bit smoother. Right, okay. Um, and not quite as fluffy as the 20 meter one. Oh, okay. So and it's is a there a heavy weight as well, then? There is a, you can get a thicker thread, but again, only really in Japan. Okay. This is probably the most versatile okay. one, Okay, because really. yeah. we like the thicker stitches, don't mm -hmm. we? But, okay, oh, yeah, so what well, you, you get that by having the thread doubled. Okay, so what do you do next? So, then? well, we've got, we've got two different packets of needles oh, here. Oh, yes. Oh, look so, at this. Ooh, can you see <laughs> those? Ooh, I really don't yeah. need to be here. So now we've got the short ones and we've got the long ones. Yes. Which ones do you want to put through first, Hannah? Long ones. Why would we buy long Why ones? Why would you do the long ones? Well, you can get a lot of stitches pleated onto the needle with the long needles. They are really fantastic needles. Right. Um, and you'll pleat lots and lots of stitches on, and then you'll pull the... You don't so much sort of push the fabric, um, push the needle through the fabric, you're kind of pulling the fabric off the back end of the needle. Oh, OK. Which is actually easier than it sounds. Oh, OK, right. But, um, but then it's, it's, it's learning a new art, isn't it? It is, it's like, it is. like foundation paper piecing. My yeah. brain won't get round foundation paper piecing because you're sewing on the wrong side. Oh, and I have the same problem. You, you won't. You <laughs> I, have have the exact, I have exactly the same oh, problem. Oh, no, we're the same person. We are, I used to have blue hair as well, <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> Um, but, 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 so, that, so what's the difference between, so that was good for straight stitching? These are good for doing the very straight stitches. When you're going to do one of the patterns where you're changing direction a lot, I would use one of these shorter needles. Right. Um, I'm just looking now, you know, at the top of this, we've, we've got one that's a little moon. Um, also things like this one here where we've got the, the ocean waves and you've got these little circles. Trying to do something like a little circle with the very long needles is actually oh, quite tricky. Yes. But it, it's easy to do with the shorter one. So right. that, that's the, why the I use different in, sizes. Oh, it doesn't say. Oops. The graphics in the, the... Sorry, sorry, Chuck. The <laughs> graphics in the moment of the short ones doesn't say on the pack. Yeah. But you get eight of the short ones in the... Oh, you, you do, yes. You get eight of those. And you get three of those, yeah. Ones. Now, why um, have they got gold on the end? I'm presuming that's gold on the end. I think it's just to tell you which end is the eye, so you can see <laughs> it easily. I don't think there's any other reason for okay, it than that. Right. Um, I no mean, that, traditional thing, then. You have to have a no, gold head. No, no, not really. I mean, I often say that, um, you know, in a class, that... This, this one, if you want to share it with a friend, you're actually getting two of each type of needle. So you could buy one, and if, if you're very generous to your friends, you could yeah. let them have some as well. Okay. Um, and in this one, of course, you get three different ones. You get the real whopper in the middle, which I absolutely love, yeah. and then you get two that are a little bit shorter than that. Should we do some then? Yeah, I'm, I'm itching to get started. Yeah, come on. Come on, we'll the, do hours, this. the hours whizzing by. It always does when I come here, you yeah. know. It goes really, well, really quickly. It's, it's fascinating, that's mm -hmm. why. So now you haven't gone for the extra long, you've gone for one of the. Have you gone for the one? I can go for the extra long if you want. No, I'm just asking. <laughs> I just grabbed the first one that came into my hand, actually. The long um, and I find when, when you thread the needle, it's often a quite good idea. It's sort of Hang squish. On, coming in on you. Hang on. Uh, squish. Oh, quick. There you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid my fingernails look awful at the moment. Yeah, um, I wasn't going to say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've just come back from Japan and a huge amount of unpacking, oh. and I've had no time to do anything with my nails. Um, 
if you just sort of squash the end of the thread a little bit yeah and then just pop it through you'll find it actually goes through the needle eye really quickly yeah. really easily. so did you take the needle to the thread or the thread to the needle did not matter a bit of both really i think <laughs> yeah but whatever way whatever, wh whatever, whatever way works for you yeah. that, okay. that's perfectly okay okay so you've just taken it through mm. and now what i'm going to do i'm bringing the two ends of the thread together right okay yeah. so i've got them down here oops actually i'm surprised my, my fingers are not really indigo because as I was saying, I've been unpacking stuff that I brought back from Japan, and I bought some natural indigo um, oh, fabric. Oh, and, and get. Mm -hmm. And on Friday afternoon, that was all over my hands as well. So, so will you wash that before you use it then, because with the excess indigo? In I it? probably will actually. Yeah. It's just it's just for me. Yeah, oh. <laughs> that one. Um, very traditional fabric I bought. Okay. Anyway, I've got the two threads. Yeah. And I'm just smoothing it down a little bit now. Yeah. Just so that they they don't twist around each other too much. Yeah. And then I can just get hold of so it. So did you put a knot in it? I not? haven't done it no? yet. No, okay, sorry. I'm about to do that. Oh, I'm sorry. about to. So I'm just smoothing it down like that. And also you can get hold of it. I think I've shown this before on the show. You can get hold of it tightly like this. Snap it a couple of times like that. Oh, it's like yeah. sort of playing a harp or playing a guitar or something. Harp, yeah. um, it just seems to get all the extra twist out. And I, I don't know quite why it does it, but it just does and it looks yes. interesting. And that's the whole point. You don't want any twist in it, do you? You don't want the two threads twisting around each other now. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little single knot in the end. Right. Now, with these panels, a, a friend of mine has, has stitched one. She's used a single thread. And actually, if you want to work with a single thread, they do look very nice in single thread as well. But I do like mine a bit more chunky. Yes. So that's, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm just wondering which bit to start which one on. Which are you really. going to do? I think, I think actually what I might do is start... I've got this maple leaf here that's got a circle. Right. Because I... Uh, when I'm stitching, I, I tend to go around the outside of the motif and kind of work my way in. That's partly because usually when I'm stitching, I've drawn the design on with um, either a, I often use a clothing white marking pen, or I think you've got, have you got the sew line pencil here? Uh, I'm going to take here. Oh, I'm gonna, oh it's, 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 it's over there. It's the, over there in the beginner's kit. Would you like it? Um, I don't need to mark anything with okay. it, but I often use that as well. Oh, okay. So when you've got a complicated design, we've got quite a lot in the middle, I don't want to handle the middle bit too much. Oh, uh, no, of course. Early on, because of course, if it's chalk, ultimately you can rub yes. it off. Now, this is washable off, but what happens if you've got hot, sweaty hands like me? It shouldn't come off. It should be okay. It's a bit of fluff on there. <laughs> no, it should be absolutely fine. Okay, perfect. I, I was just saying I was going to stitch that. Yeah, but, okay. I just, but I just looked at this one and thought, actually, okay, I can do, do, I can do now, more interesting point with this. That is, it's ginkgo leaves. You know the ginkgo tree? Yeah, no, uh, don't we eat that? Isn't that in something we, the, we uh, Ginkgo nuts. You can eat ginkgo nuts. Oh, no, it won't be. I don't eat nuts. Gin, ginkgo nuts are a sort of Japanese bar snack. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's why I was week. Then. Yeah. So in the Japanese bar that I frequent. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm going to come up. Whoops. I'm going to come up there. You see, the thing is, we're doing this all in white. Yes. Oh so yes. Ra white rather than me stitching around each motif, sometimes you know, look at a design. It might make more sense to go right around the outside first. All right. Yeah, get that bit in, and then go down to there. Oh, okay. And up to here, and down to there. C because, so, there's, uh, so you don't cut, you don't do a little bit, cut off, do a little bit, cut no, off. No, you try and keep your threads continuous as you possibly okay. can. So I'm going to come up to there. and. So have you come up, so now on this, are the stitches, Oops. are we meant to put the stitches where the white lines yes, are? Yes, you are. And you'll, you'll find they're all very regularly nicely placed. This is a bit unusual for me, because usually I, I don't have it marked, you know, with individual little dashed lines. Usually, well, you designed it. I know, I've got a solid line usually. But what, what we did, we've, we've done it so that each of these little lines is the length of the stitch that oh, you're going to stitch. Because when you start, mm -hmm. you might, your stitches might vary, might they? Yeah. So this is a good yeah. way to practice getting you it used is, to it doing that. Very, it's very, very good for that. And we designed this really so you could do it as a complete beginner. Right, let me have a look. There you go. I don't, can we see that? Yeah, can yeah. you see that, Jesse? Ooh. Can there we see you it? Yep. Yeah, I'm sort of looking over there, but because I've got my specs and I can't quite see oh, what's no. over there. Can you get some bifocals? Um, I have got bifocals, but I, I don't tend to wear them for something like this because I, um, it makes me look down. Yes. It makes me look like I've got my eyes closed all and the time. And also, uh, mine made me dizzy. I bought some and I've kept falling over. They do at first, yeah. yeah. Right. So I've, when I've started stitching, actually, I'll pull that right back to the very beginning. When I started stitching, I've just got the point of the needle sticking up. Right. If you can do this trick, it, it's good. If yeah. you can't, if you've got to bring the thread all the way through, don't worry about it too much. But this just stops your first stitch twisting. Right. And funnily enough, it isn't something I actually knew about when I wrote the book, <gasps> the Ultimate Sashiko Source Book. I learned about it later because I saw um, Reiko Domon, who's the leader of User Sashiko Guild, doing it. And I said, why are you stitching like that? And well, it's because the first stitch doesn't actually twist. Oh. So I've just got the point and I'm pleating the fabric onto the tip of the needle. Yeah. Now having a good look at the length of that stitch. 
So I'll just do a little bit. Oops, I'm trying to go slowly because I'm a bit quicker yeah, than this. Yeah, because you'll go quite fast. It's like fast. slow motion and I'm hanging on to the needle. I've kind of so got you haven't pulled anything through yet? No, not no. yet. Not yet. Not yet at all. So you are doing what you're saying. You're just pleating the fabric. I'm pleating the fabric on the onto the, the needle. needle. Yes, yeah. I'm just going to pull it through now. Okay. Oops. That's the back. Okay. Yeah. Oops. I caught that there. There we go. I've still kept my, my needle on the back. And now I'm just going to hang on to where that knot is on the back. Yeah. And ease that little bit out, give it a wiggle. Right. Um, I don't know how Ooh. closely we can actually look at that. Oh, oh it's pretty close. That's, that's yeah. very close up. Um, you can actually see that the threads are lying parallel in the yes. stitch, which is really nice. And if you do get a little bit of a twist, gather it up again, ease it out again, that twist will yeah. go. So I've done that little bit there. And then I've got a slight change of direction here. If I've got a very sharp change of direction, like a real V, yes. I'll leave a tiny loop on the back. If it's something like this, I'm not too worried about it. Um, how, how do you mean, like a loop of the thread? Yeah, just a tiny, tiny loop, about a French knot's worth, not very much. Right. Um, the reason you need to do that, if, if you don't leave those tiny little loops when you have a big change of direction, you'll then find that your work really starts to pull in. Oh. And it'll all bunch up. So Okay, I need to tell you, when everyone's checked out on the red panel, they've sold out. Oh, have they? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I picked the red one to stitch on. That's all right. Oh, never mind. That was Hannah's fault. We'll blame uh, it was actually, yeah, probably going on about the red and how nice it was. So I'm just easing that out a little bit now. So you, you go along and e after each time you pull through, you give it ease, an ease yeah, to make ease sure. Ease it out that, a little yeah. bit, yeah. Um, with a, a motif like this, most of the time you see you're on a little bit of a bias edge as well. You're on a curve. And that makes it a lot easier yes. to do. When, you, when you're on the straight um, and you're going with the fabric grain, it's a little bit harder work. When you're going across, of course, it's quite easy. Yeah. Um, but just, it's just something to be aware of a little bit. So, so I'm when, just doing a few you know more the loop you said about the change of direction? Yes. Is that the only time you leave a loop? Or do you have it, to... is, it is really. If you've ever done um, Italian Trapunto, have you haven't? ever done that? No. no, you haven't done tra Italian Trapunto. Oh, we've done it. Apparently we've done it on, on air. Have you? You have yeah, done it on air. Right, but when, when, when you do that, if you do it with the wool and you sort of create like a channel and then you, you pull this thick wool through the channel, oh, okay. every time you change direction, you have to leave a loop on the back. Yeah. Otherwise, it, it just sort of gets smaller and smaller. Um, it, it's very similar, really, in a way with this. Now, I've come to this point here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, can we see it? We can see it. Yeah, yeah we can see that. That's great. I'm oh, yes, because you're going to go at 90 degrees now. Well, I'm not. Actually, oh. I'm going to show you a little trick. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just pull that through. Yeah. Sometimes it's a good idea to see what's going on in the back as well, because that nearly got caught. Yeah. Um, ease that through. Right, just ease yeah. it, ease it, ease it. Right, OK. So in the pattern, oh, sorry. Oops, OK. Just be careful because the needle's underneath yeah. at the moment. You see where we've got this little kind of loop thing going on here? Yeah. Yeah, treat it as a loop. Skip across to here, go around like that. And then um. you're not having to double back on yourself. <laughs> okay, so I would have gone 90 degrees mm -hmm. and round that way. Yeah. You're saying go from yeah. there to the, that corner. Yeah, you can do a jump across. Go round. And go round. And yeah. then, then you'll jump from there to that mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So now, you don't cut the threads off at the back no. then. You leave no. the threads at the back. Just leave the threads on the back. That actually makes it lie a little bit better. If you were using a shaded thread, you couldn't actually do that. You'd have to do the... Oh, no, you know, you, yeah, like a variegated continue, yeah, 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 if you yeah. had a variegated one, because then you'd really be able to see yeah. that you, you were actually skipping across part of the pattern. But, yeah, that's the way I would deal with that. And where I've, I've got a very tight little twist like this, a little tight turn, I can't get all those stitches on the needle to start off. But it's surprising how many you can get there. Wiggle that around a little Even bit. on a circle, like that. Even on a circle, needle. yeah, the big needle. Um, now, I've only got five minutes left. Oh, have you? Yeah. No, you have. No, I've only got five <laughs> minutes left. Um, I know right. there's other things you want to talk about in this hour, aren't there, before we, get, before we go on? Yeah. Because uh, you've, you've got all those piles of things. I have. Well, what, what I was going to explain yeah. um, is it's, it's to do really with the origins of the, the patterns that we're looking at oh, yes, yes, in yes, this yeah. hour. Because... Um, as I said before, they're all. I'll just. I'll just park that there yeah. actually for now. Um, yeah, don't you don't, don't stick it in yourself. I've got to have to unpick <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, when we oh, hang on, hang on, next. Oh, a quick sorry. question. A quick question. So you've yes. gone all the way round. Yes. Uh, yes. What happens when you get to the oh, end in the of the end, thread? The end. Sorry. It's really, really easy. You finish off with a knot. Oh, okay. Yep. And you can just wrap. Oh, you can do, like, do like a French knot only yeah. once. And then just pull it through. Oh, okay. So, you, so you do that every time your needle comes to, uh, your thread yeah, comes to yeah, a natural yeah, end. Yeah, you can do that. There is also actually a joining knot, which is in the Sashko book. But to be honest, if you're doing something like um, a family crest design, where you've got lots of different elements to design, it's very rare that 
you actually need to keep um, like a, con a completely continuous line going. If I was doing something like the straight lines on this, when my yeah. thread ran out, which would probably be about there, yeah. I would then actually use the joining not to join in again. Oh, okay, rather than not off and start again. Rather than not start again. Okay, and then if, if, you, if you can't do it, it's not. Do problem. you ever jump? So if you did this one, for instance, mm -hmm. would you do? Would you go round the outside and then do the scallop? Very, the yes, very good point about that. The way the way I would do this one, I would go right round the outside. Yeah. Then I would go scallop. around here. Yeah, it's a plum blossom, by the way. And then it's a plum. plum blossom. Oh, right, plum yeah. blossom. And then I would go to there. Yeah. And then I would finish off at that point. Yeah. Then I would go to these little sections here and I would stitch up there, down there. Oh, you jump. You don't, that's there. my question was yeah, going to be. Yeah, you jump across so the So you go up yeah. this one, yeah. jump across that yeah. one, down yeah. that one. You yeah. don't need to jump, obviously, mm -hmm. there. But so it doesn't matter that you have jump stitches on the back. It doesn't, because you don't okay. see them. You this one's sold out, I'm afraid. The red <laughs> oh, one's has sold it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Pop that in okay. there. So this, this one, the light grey, we'll work on the light grey one now. While mm -hmm. we do. I've only got a okay. couple of minutes anyway. Have but we? you wanted to say what, sorry, what did you want to say? It was, it was just to do with the origins of the patterns because the, the Camon Crest designs, there's something that actually started out originally with the samurai, but now everybody in Japan actually okay. has a crest design. Um, Sheila says, thank you for bringing such beautiful fabrics. Oh, so I just love it, this stuff. It is beautiful. <laughs> it's one of my favourites. Um, so when I did the book that these designs came from, I chose crests that you could also do in applique. So people who've already got the book will, will know about that. Okay. Is um, that in, that's not in this book. That's in the brown no, book that, that we're getting in the future, yes. Um, no, that's, that's, yeah, the black one, oh, which black we, we, we've had before and we will get again at some okay. point. Oh, yes. So we have these the massive there's the plum, quilts. There's the plum, plum blossom. There is the same plum blossom, you see. And on here, it's done as um, an applique. And then it's just got a little in. bit of um, embroidery on it. On here, actually, I've put little French knots at the end. And when we did the panel, we've just put like a tiny little dot at the end. Traditionally, you wouldn't really have French knots in so that's just that's But if you want to, why not? It would look a, quite pretty, yeah, Susan really. Susan Briscoe off piece. Uh, well, it was really for this, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, OK, so, so, those, they, so any of these patterns yes. you could create into, like appliques, like you could, what were those leaves called there? Those, those are momiji, they're, they're maple leaves. Maple leaves, you mm -hmm. can make the, oh, like the, the, like the, uh, the red one, the Japanese um, acacia tree, like that, they, they call the, that a maple there's tree. There's a maple, I'm thinking, what we've probably got, you see, on here, we're, I think we've got the... A plique version so of some these, of them. So some of these are Sashko designs, are they? Um, well, some of them. That, there, there we go. Is, that's is, that's the plique version of the um, the maple leaves. Yeah. So in, in the book, uh, I did them both as you know. So you could use the pattern as a plique and as Sashko. Yes. But what we've done for the panel, you know, we've just yes, done them course. as a Sashko. So basically, you get a panel and you can just you can just get going with it. Um, and there's another pattern on here. Yeah, we're doing These... more about the applique and blocks and everything in the next. Oh yeah, we'll look at that. We'll look at that next. We've just flip that over. Yeah. Oops. On here, there's a design down there in that corner called Noshi, um, which represents increase. It represents increase. Good okay. fortune. Yeah, um, we need all need a bit of Noshi, don't <laughs> we? We, in we our do. Lives? We do Noshi. It, it, it's because it sounds like the word for increase or yes. widen in Japanese. Okay. Um, and it's actually like a bundle of ribbons tied together. So there, you see, was the applique version. So it's a bit it. like tarot cards, or because you know how tarot cards have different meanings. I think that's. Oh, ne nearly every nearly every design thing in Japan either has a seasonal meaning or a good fortune meaning or something like that. Yes, yes, it does. It, it's, it's just fascinating. The whole thing is just fascinating. It's I just love a, it. a, a total wealth of designs. That's why I, I just love going back. I love taking my inspiration from there. Uh, very quickly, because I've got mm -hmm. to move on. But yeah. so, how, was it an accident that you ended up as a teacher in? Did you choose to become a teacher in Japan, or I, I chose to become an English teacher in Japan. I did visual arts and drama at Aberystwyth University. This oh, is where you? the theatre costume side of it came yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, Funnily yeah. enough, I nearly went to Wimbledon, but I didn't. Oh, okay, I, 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 was, I, I was thinking theatre clue in, so I used to talk to Aberystwyth. You anyway, didn't. I did. Anyway, let's move on. Oh my goodness, we're going to talk about that later yeah, exactly, on because right. I have I have links to there as well. Now you're back in an hour. I am back in an hour with some top things in an hour. What's top? What's top? Well, it's, Very it's, quickly, it's, it's, in one it's, sentence. It's the beigey browny kind of end of Japanese fabrics. And I did a second book of blocks on that. Which, which can, we've got. Which, which we've got. We got have got. Book. And you can mix and match them. And in fact, the, if you're going to do something with top, yeah, the grey, yes. or the, what do they call this one? Was it a bluey grey one? It's yours. Those, <laughs> those, those, because I always see that as a blue. That's called mid-grey. Mid, oh, mid-grey. The, the mid-grey and the grey would be really fantastic to mix with the top. Because oh, okay. we have a fabric pack to go with that as well. We have indeed. Yeah. Brilliant. I'll see Lovely. you in, I'll see I'll you, in see you later I'll on. See you what have I got to take with me? Oh, OK. Now, we've got the threads. I've only got this, <laughs> this one left. <laughs> should we put... Chris, this will be going in her bag. 
Um, you get three of these. They're not messy like that. They go from the picture. No. Right. There are fewer than 100 left now. Now, if you knew how many hundred we started with, you'd be shocked by that. And we're not even going into repeat or anything like that. Uh, so you get three of those beautifully packaged all the way from Japan. Colour 102. I mean, and, that, and that's the, the little very loose plait that Susan put the, fat, uh, the, the thread into. Uh, go to, yeah, go to the picture, because that's not telling you anything, is it? There you go. So you get all three of those. You get all three of those to do your seshko with. Right. Now, the... Yeah, panels, because the, the red one has gone, right, hasn't it? The red one's gone. Navy first, right? I've only said that because the red one's over on the other table, that's all. So this is the navy panel here. No, there's only 20 of these left. Yeah. Here we go. So this is, this is the navy. They've all got the same panels on them. You've got the eight bigger panels and the eight smaller panels, uh, all from Family Crests. I wonder which ones Hannah would be in. Well, you wouldn't be in good fortune, would you? The wavy one. That one there. What's that one called? What's the wavy one called, Susan? What's that wavy oh, one? That one. That is actually another, that is another ocean wave pattern. Ocean wave. That, oh, Hannah lives looking out onto the ocean in her house. Yes. She loves oceans. Yes. Anyway, aren't they beautiful? That, that one's about to sell out. That, more people have got that in their baskets than we've got in stock. The red one has already gone. So, let, which one do you want me to go to next? Yes, this one here. Green, dark green. See, over half the stock of this one's gone. There won't be any of these left by the end of the day, I'm telling you now. I wonder how many masks she has bought. <laughs> Look, it's not... I don't know why I laugh like that, Marcia. I do apologise. It's not lovely. Oh, you be careful, Chris. I don't know. There isn't a panda one, is there? Oh, you no, you mean the plum blossom. I'll either be the plum blossom or be this turkey up here. Is that a turkey, Susan? <laughs> it's a crane. Japanese oh, it's a crane, Japanese crane. Of course it is. Yeah. That looks very regal, that turkey one. Crane one. So crane one. Uh, oh, I've got to get a move on. Shut up, shut up, John. Right, OK. Next one. This one, the light grey one. There you go, there's the light grey one. Oh, sorry, they just called it grey, not light grey. It's just called grey, that one. It's not grey at all, is it? It's beautiful, that oatmeal-y colour, that one. Or taupe, or taup. £24.99 each of these. 100% cotton, beautiful, aren't they? Next one. OK, over the half stock of that one's gone. Now, the other grey, which is called mid-grey, which is this one, which is kind of Air force -y blue, There you go. Oh, excuse me. Gone all sniffly. I have not got your cold, Jesse. Yeah, not like Paul's cold that he's had for about eight months. All right, $24.99 for the panel. Beautiful, 100% cotton. Lovely. And then all I've got left is black. I imagine the black one's very popular. There we go. There's the black one. Oh, excuse me. Sniffing away. That's not good. Right, OK, that's your black uh, panel there. Now, I haven't got time to go through all the fabrics. They're all underneath me there on the web. But I'll just go quickly go through the colours with you. So I've, I'm not, we're not going to put the graphics in. I'll just show you. We've got it in navy. They match the panels exactly. So that's navy. The red. Remember, the red panel has sold out. You've got the dark green. You've got the black. You've got grey, which isn't grey. And you've got mid-grey. You need to go, if you want to buy those, they're all listed underneath me. Un if you're watching on the web, underneath the screen on there, because half of every single one of those has gone. Half of them have gone. And we haven't even gone into replay yet or anything like that. So, so that's that. And now I'm going to quickly do the... OK, the book first. 
The book on sale now. The book is in the starter bundle if you want to buy the starter bundle. So the book is fifteen ninety nine on its own. Now this one is there's no there's no templates in here. What you do is you mark up your own designs, but there are all different projects in there as well. But there's all about the history, how to do the stitches, what the stitches mean, what the look, it's beautiful. Well, you can tell Susan's done it, so it's going to be fully in depth, isn't it there? And then the starter bundle is this. Your book, the chalk copy paper, half a metre of cream, half a metre of blue, two packets of needles, the trio, uh, sew line trio, and the three threads. Free threads, not free, three threads. No, threads. 49.99. 49.99, what a fabulous hour. Uh, right, don't go anywhere because Lisa Lamb is back doing... This is, ooh, I've got everything here on my trolley. Doing this. Uh, isn't it lovely? Now, this cork fabric, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this cork fabric. We have got them in a PU version as well. I'll see you in three from now. On Monday, the 11th of February, we can't wait to show you our creative new twist on the popular Bargello quilt designed by our very own Jane Alcock. And we are thrilled to present the incredible new k Facet quilt designed exclusively for Sewing Quarter. We've also got two hours of simply beautiful hand stitching with our very own stitching queen, Jane Greenoff. This magical day concludes with none other than the latest mystical fabric Hogwarts collection for all you Harry Potter fans. Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. We publish 13 times a year featuring must-make projects, essential techniques, interviews, news and reviews from the world of modern quilting. Every issue comes with a free gift. Tune in this Wednesday, the 13th of February, as we have quilting expert Louisa Galt back in the studio for her third appearance as guest designer on Sewing Quarter. Louisa will be on set to ruffle our feathers with Arctic Feathers Quilt Pattern by Elizabeth Hartman at 9am and we've put together a gorgeous choice of kits which will allow you to create a warm tonal effect for a chilly spring morning. At 11am, Louisa is back to make an English paper piece cushion cover that celebrates curves. Choosing from kits with fabric featuring quirky llamas and bountiful blooms, perfect to brighten up any room in the house or garden. So make sure you tune in this Wednesday for plenty of fun and inspiration, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. Happy birthday to the Sewing Quarter from me, Jill Rupp, and the gang here at June Taylor. I baked you a cake. It's in the shape of a quilt block called the Perpetual Motion because that's what I see at the Sewing Quarter. You guys are continuously inspiring your viewers to create beautiful things. And speaking of beautiful, you've got the greatest customers around. So my birthday wish for you, let me light your candle here. My wish for you is to have an incredible birthday and a wonderful year ahead. Here at the Sewing Quarter, we love to share our favorite products with you. From bestsellers to brand new discoveries and those essential but unsung heroes. And of course, the forgotten gems. I love chatting about my own latest finds and long-term favourites. So every Wednesday, I'll be sharing my personal top picks and telling you a little bit about why they've won a place in my must-have list. You can also find out more about my top picks on the website, gathered together in one really convenient place for you to make it even easier to shop for yours and my favourite sewing accessories. All you have to do is click on the shop button and my top picks will be the first thing that you will see. So make yourself a cuppa, keep your eyes peeled and every single Wednesday you'll discover Wendy's latest top picks. I'll see you then.
You've been waiting for this cork fabric to come in for ages and ages and ages. Well, it's here now. Two colourways. Isn't this lovely, this little bag? It's a crossbody bag. Obviously, my body's a bit bigger than um, the one whoever tried this on earlier. But isn't it lovely? Oh, you can make it, oh, you can make it much longer. Hang on. Um, isn't it beautiful, though? Oh, look at the close-up Look at the close up there. Look at the close-up there. I'm just making the strap longer, so it's good for me. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Look. Boop. I'll stand up a bit like that so you can see. Oh, I don't know why I put my leg up like that. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Now, not only can you wear it like that, Jesse, how else can you wear it? There you go. I can wear it like a backpack. Now, I need to explain that to you when I go through the bundles. So, again, exclusive. Exclusive. Now, this, you get the pattern. This aqua cork is beautiful. So is it, I don't, I'll ask, I don't understand how you make cork into fabric, but look. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. It's got silver specks in it. Not real silver, obviously. Silver specks in that. Isn't it lovely? So you get half a metre of the aqua cork. You get um, half a metre of the black lining. It's not lining, it's, you know, normal uh, cotton fabric. You get uh, one inch D-rings, you get little rivets, you get a leather magnetic... Now, is this leather or is this one um, synthetic, this one? It's a magnetic clasp. Synthetic, synthetic, synthetic. You get a synthetic strap, you get your black thread and you got your elastic. What's the elastic for? We'll tell you in a minute. Sixty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence for that bundle. Sixty-four ninety-nine for the Aqua Cork bundle. That lovely, beautiful. So that's the uh, Lisa Lamb's Aqua Cork. Okay, there's the bundle. There's the bundle. Oh, I love the way they've lined up all the little studs. Look at the bottom. Ah. 64 pounds and 99 pence for that bundle. So that's the aqua cork. Now, I've also got it in a, like a dark blue cork. Now this doesn't have the silver. Oh, it's still got a flashy fleck in it, but it's not a silver fleck. Look, it's like a black fleck in this one. Can you see that? Look. Ooh, that's nice. I wonder if it's made especially for bag making then. I have to ask Lisa when I go over. Can you put it on your wall? It would cost a lot. Oh, it costs a lot of money to cover a wall, in it? A lot, huh? <laughs> you want to stroke the wall a lot, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? It's called uh, denim uh, cork, this one. Denim cork, that one. The colour, the colour. Plus your half a metre of your black fabric, plus your elastic, plus your D-rings, plus your thread, plus your studs, plus your strap, plus your magnetic fastener. It's a magnetic fastener, because look, that bit there... You don't have to undo the strap every time you open it. It's got a magnetic clasp on it there, you see. And there's the uh, denim coloured cork. Now, you might not want it made out of the denim cork or the aqua cork. You might want to make it out of PU. And we have three different varieties to do so. Starting with the dark blue, which is the one on this side here. So this one, you get half a metre of the black uh, cotton. Half a metre. Now, remember, the PU is extra wide, so you're going to have some of that left over. Uh, you get your elastic, your D-rings, your studs, your strap, and your magnetic fastener, and your instructions. £46.99. £46.99, that one. Now, the one that Lisa's going to demonstrate is this one, the mustard one. So again, you get the black cotton to line it with. You get half a metre of the mustard PU, your elastic, your D-rings, your magnetic clasp, your strap, your thread, and your studs, your rivets. Rivet. Plus your instructions. Graphics will come in. It's nice, that. I like that colour. That mustard is really, really nice. Imagine all the outfits you could wear that with. Navy blue would be nice. Black would be nice. 46 .99. So again, you get half a metre of each of the fabrics and all the accessories you need there. There it all is on the picture. Exclusive, two sewing quarter. The pattern will not be available for, is that right? Six months, six months, yeah. Can't get the pattern anywhere else for the next six months. 
And then last, but not least, is the snazzy red one. So again, you get half metre of the PU, half metre black cotton, your elastic, your rivets, your magnetic clasp, your strap, your thread, and your D-rings. 46.99. Now, There you go, there's the still. The, the aqua cork one. No, the aqua cork one, cork one, <laughs> aqua cork one, fewer than 20 already. Fewer than 20 already. And that will make you that. No, right, okay, oh no, so, so what, what it is, sorry, sorry, what it is, is with that, with that bundle, you can make this, the, the cross body, right? But if you want to make it into the rucksack one, you just need to get one more of these. Oh, you just need to get one more of these. Hang on, we'll just wait for the graphics, yep. So to make it into a, 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 um, a rucksack, you just need one of these. One more of these. It does come with D-rings on the end. That one hasn't got D-rings on the end, but it does come with D-rings on the end. I know. So that on its own, you might want to, you might have another bag that you want to just add this to. 9.99. Okay, we'll just get one of those make it into a rucksack. They're lovely little rucksack. 9.99 the strap. It's faux, it's faux leather. It's not real leather. No, nope. 9.99. 140 centimetres by two centimetres. Nice shot of my microphone there. Okay, so you need that. You need to buy that 9.99 one if you want to make it into the rucksack. If you're just making the cross body bag, then you just get one of those. Oh, do you think I might just showed you the wrong strap? No, no. For some reason, I've got two in the trolley, that's all. Anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I need to set the instructions. There's the finished bag. Now that's the one if you're just buying the, uh, ba not basic kit, but the ba you don't get the extra strap. Oh, the right now, please be super aware of stock on the Aqua Cork, <laughs> Aqua Cork One because it's flying out. Absolutely, we knew it would be because you you've been putting on giving teases on Instagram, yes. haven't you? Like little corners of the fabric and things like that. Yeah. And people are loving it. And please be careful. Please be careful. That it's that silver fleck, the, it, it doesn't look that great on camera, but when you see it in real life, it literally glints in the oh, sun. Oh, but I thought it was beautiful on telly, but it, it looks in even real better life, in real life. In real life, it's proper yeah. snazzy. Proper snazzy. Proper snazzy. Okay, <laughs> now again, we're not going to be able to show the whole, making of the whole bag. No. What are you going to show us in this hour, I'm, and I'm, will you be getting it right? I can't promise I'll get it right. <laughs> Okay, so what are we going to show on this bag? Well, I'm, I'm going to, I'm looking, I'm going to look at the bit more, the hard, the hardware elements of it, because I think what makes the, what makes the bag are, are the rivets. Yeah. And chances are you won't have used Chicago rivets before. Sounds more exciting. They come in the bundle. They all come, yes. everything, you, everything you need. Am I right in saying this? Apart from H640. Yes. Comes in the bundle. Now you should, the H640, is it still available as the early bird? Oh, okay, there's only a few left. So if you watch this, you think, I want to make that, and we're not going to get H640. It's super handy stuff. Buy, buy it from, well, I'll do it. I will do it for you. We'll do it for you. We'll do it for you. So, so we're going to cover, so basically we're going to cover this. I've got it here. Right. You're going to cover this, this bit. I'm going to look at the zip. I'm going to look at the shiny bits and bobs. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look at how to put this tab on. Right. But the actual sewing together of the body is not particularly complicated. It's, it's just basically a rectangle with darts at the bottom. Is it like a box bottom? Or just, oh, no, no, just darts. It's, darts, it's darts. darts. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and the pattern in the instructions are in, in the instructions. OK, now, well, before we go on, this fabric, is, do you need special needles? Do you need to do anything special with it? I, 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 use, I use 90 size needles. Right. Um, and, I, and I'd use a fresh one. Yeah. Uh, and I will say, if you've not sewn with cork before, it's amazing. It, it, yes, it is durable, but it, it, your, machine, your machine will be happy with it. Yes. And I've also written a cheat sheet 
on how to work with cork if you haven't used it before. So you can read the bullet points that I've written. And if you look closely, there's even um, there should be a link to a blog post that I've written. And plus, also, you know, I'm available to ask you know any other questions that you might have about using cork. But really, you'll be surprised at how lovely it is to use. Now, it's not just uh, Kate said. Morning, John and Lisa. I love using Lisa's cork. It's easy to sew, has structure, and it's so soft. I love it. It is fantastic. I must say, before before I used it, I, I was like, okay, right. Just test I'm just, I'm just going to get it because it's got a different backing. Now, remember, there are two colours. We've got the denim colour, which has got a black fleck in it. I'll bring them. I'll bring them both over. See what I'm talking about. So this is the denim one, and this is the aqua one. Just so you know, the two. Now the aqua is super, super limited. Please be careful on that one. It's um, the fleck. But it's it's kind of backs on a. Yeah, sort of like a canvassy kind of. Yes. Um, and I think I think it's I think it's because it's light. So it, I mean, on, on you're just about to show the different colour on that one. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's simply because if you put the canvas on that, then the blue wouldn't be as deep. No, no, no. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. But but that's going to make it easier to sew, make it more stable. Yeah, you don't need to put any stabiliser on cork at no, all. No, but it doesn't feel. It feels like a fat, if you shut your eyes, you wouldn't go, oh yeah, I've got cork here. No. It feels lovely it and does. satiny, it's doesn't it? It's very, very strokeable. Perfect. It's water repellent, it's oh, dirt repellent. Fantastic. It's perfect for bags because you can bash it about and yes. it remains looking lovely. Perfect. Right, so let's get on, let's get okay. on. Okay, righto, on. righto. Right. So, so first, oh, do you want um, to look at the back? First here? thing we're going to look at is uh, the zip here. And I will say this kind of zip is in the um, bag making Bible. Right. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is when we're working with um, fabrics such as cork and PU, yeah. um, we don't we don't do securing stitches. You know your forward and reverse, yes. or your lock stitches. What we do instead is you sew as normal, always leaving long tails right. at both sides. So I've already done this one. That's yes. why there's not long tails at both sides. Yeah. And what you do is you pull your back thread from the wrong side. Yeah. Sorry, your front thread from the right side to the back using an awl. Right. Like that. That's a different awl to what we had earlier, it is, isn't it? It's yeah. like a hooky awl. Yeah, awl, because it's very good at just pulling up that stitch. You could use a normal awl if you have yeah. one. And then you just, just knot them together. So why don't you reverse stitch on it? Because you perforate the fabric, oh. which means you'll weaken it. So you want to put in as few holes as possible. And you also want to sew with a construction stitch of, say, three and a half. I oh, like, big? I like three and a half. Yeah. Uh, and top stitch of four. Oh, so it's big stitching. Yes. And, um, is that both PU and cork you're yes. talking about there? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Any fabric which, you know, which isn't woven, I'd say. You okay. know, and leather and suede. Yes. And then you just... And then you just chop it off. Yeah. And I know it is a bit inconvenient, but that's what you have to do with no, no, all no, no, stitching no. on yeah. the um, on this kind of fabric. And sometimes, actually, what I tend to do is I, I tend to just cut all the threads off at the end. Yes. It's a bit of a spaghetti. And it's, yes. oh, it's annoying, but I just do it at the end. OK. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I've already done it on this side, is you need to make a casing for this kind of zip. Right. Which is basically like binding, really. Again, straight or bias? Straight. OK. And the instructions are, in, are, are there yeah. in the pattern. I've already put um, that sewing tape on. Yeah. And it's just a simple case of... Uh, got a zip on a roll. Yep, that, and, that's, and that's the zip that I used. Yes, which would say if you bought the zip roll from early, you've still got quite a few metres left on there. And then I've already put my half, halfway marks. You've only, you've only got this, the sticky tape on the front, have you? I haven't got it on the yeah, back. Yeah, no, I didn't bother. Okay. And then when I sew it on, I'm going to sew the um, short side edges and the open edge here. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave that alone because that edge is where you sew the zip to the lining. Right. Okay. But that's the fold, isn't it? There. That, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you leave the fold alone. You yeah. just do that and that. Okay. Brilliant. Again, using a walking stitch with a normal foot yes. and with a you know not a zipper foot or anything like yes, that. Yes, indeed. And about um, about an eighth away, or three M's. Yeah. Again, now on the real one, you've done it in black on black fabric. Yes, I have. No, I, I use turquoise at home. It looks quite nice. Mm hmm. Mm. 
A bit too far. Yeah, a bit too far. It's not my, not my machine, you see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mistake, a lot of mistake, no? Like, <laughs> not when I'm at home, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I tell you, each bag, out of each bag, I could probably get an expensive lipstick from the old swear jar. Oh, okay, so you mean, yes, <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you do, you get out all the swears out so that the folk at home don't have to. Of course, yes. yes. I aim to help. Yes. <laughs> so obviously the machine backstage has got blue on it, so the machine at home had blue on it, and this one's got white on it. Okay, right. and then that's that's the zipper made right. and ready to go to be put into your lining. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, mm -hmm. could you have used another of your um, zip headers and had another one at that end so it could be a zip that could be open from either yeah, end? Yeah, that's a nice idea. Because if yeah. you've got your bag on and suddenly you realise the zip's on the, done up, the, the, yes. you do them both ends and you can always get into it. Absolutely, yeah, and it looks snazzy mm. as well. Okay, so. Okay, now, now that's made i'm going to i know that you just hate zips you really hate zips so <laughs> i'm going to do another one do another one yes so this is um where's this on the back then? this is on the at back the there. at the back of the bag and this this is um i think i call it the flush zipper in the bag making okay. bible and that is in there but right. i thought i would show you today but, but these are also in your instructions aren't they, they are Pastor? yes yep. of course they are perfect yes. oops Okay. So I've got here um, my bag back. Yes. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't interfaced it or anything right. like that. And I've got um, I've got the uh, one of the pocket pieces here. They're both exactly the same measure measurement wise. Yeah. And what I've done is I've drawn I've drawn a rectangle onto the pocket piece. Yeah. And I've sewn around the outside of the rectangle. Mm -hmm. Measurements for the rectangle are in the pattern. Yeah. Uh, and then after sewing it, um, I've, I've cut a, a line in the center and the line at the center has diamonds at the end of it and I've cut into the diamonds as well. Into the corners. Yes, yeah. again, that's in the instructions. Righty ho. This is the, this is the pocket I was talking about in the eight o'clock show. Yes, that's you thought, right. I thought you could do it at the top of the yes. pocket, but you obviously can't, yeah. Yes. And then the next thing after you, to do after you've gotten to that stage is to pull this fabric to the wrong side of... Your so this is the actual outer. outside of the back of the bag, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. it is, yeah. This is definitely the back of the bag. Yeah. And this is where it's handy to have a seam roller. Right. Uh, do I have mine handy here? I've got nothing in my trolley. Have you got it? Um, oh. 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 You know the blue one? Yeah, no, no. We had it in the... In the, in the it was around. Let me have a look on the trolley. It might be on. It might. There be it there. is. Hey, let me have a look. See if it's over Thanks, here. Thanks, John. Found it. Smashing. Thank you. I'll John. bring that trolley over just That'd in be great. case. So on on the lining fabric, if you're careful, you can actually iron. You can actually iron onto the lining fabric. Oh yes, but be careful of your. But, um... Yeah, but you can't. Don't let the iron sit on there for any length of time because obviously you will melt the PU, yes. which is very annoying. Uh, now Hannah's quite shocked because she's never seen a roller being used apart from when the quilt blocks have been pressed open. All oh, right. But you can use it on like if you're using leather or PU bags, use it all the time. Absolutely. Don't you? Just to, to, yeah. To, to open the seams and things. And you might think, well, that's a gadgety that doesn't really need to be boughty. No, but, 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 uh, but. Now Charlotte Newland arrived here with her, like an antique wooden one, which I absolutely adored. Yes. And thought, oh, that would be brilliant. It can't be that. She used this one. She said, this one's much better I than I saw antique. it, yeah. Really. She nice. said, I'm going to take it home. Well, little which Paul. Which is why I want to take the other. Okay. <laughs> well, little Paul show. bought it for her. <laughs> yeah. As a gift. Oh, that's nice. Except she hasn't paid for it yet. Oh, well, I'm, I'm yeah. just going to steal the punch in mm? I'm you... just going to steal the punch Okay, anyway. that's fine. <laughs> so you're just pressing it open. It actually works brilliantly on the PU, does. doesn't it? It really, really does. With the cork, you'll need a little bit more gumption. Oh, right, okay. But it still works. So you works. can't iron the cork, then? Um, you can iron the wrong side of the cork. Yes. But actually, cork in of itself doesn't really crease. Obviously, if, if some an elephant has sat on it, what then it will... <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> but it, should, it should, shouldn't crease. It doesn't cork. crease. Right, okay. 
it doesn't, and, and, and which, makes, which makes bag making easier, but sometimes it can be a little bit trickier, which is why you really ought to have yeah, you a roll seam roller in your arson. Okay. Okay. okay, so that's looking pretty crisp. What we want to avoid is lining showing on the, on the right side of the rectangle hole. Yes. And then what you would do is, I'm not going to do it now because yes. it saves time. What you would do is then you get your other piece of um, lining fabric and then sew that. Before yeah, you put the zip in? Before you put the zip in. Oh, okay. Yeah, so actually, I skipped a step there. Where's my tape? What have you lost now? The tape. I did have some. Here oh. we go. Yep, yeah, look. Yeah. So what you would do next is you would put some of this tape onto your zip. And the measurements for how long you should cut the zip are in the pattern. Oops. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'll just tidy up after you. <laughs> Can you come to my house? And no. Please. You wouldn't better afford me to come as your cleaner. <laughs> I'm a very good cook. What's that got to do there? Well, are you going to cook for your cleaner rather than pay me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, surely you don't just want mere money. No. Okay, so once you have the zip all taped up, then you take your rectangular hole and zhuzh and arrange. This takes a few goes. It'll never, it'll never sit evenly first, first time around. Time. Never, ever, ever in a month for Sundays. But it just has. No, it hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's only so here to catch that, no, me sorry. out, by the way. It's what, what? He's only here to catch me out. No, I'm not. Uh, the cork isn't available by the half metre today, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's not today, now. Right, that's looking pretty good. And then what, then what you do is you're sewing on the right side of the fabric. You sew one-eighth away um, with your three-and-a-half stitch length, remember, because you're sewing through the PU. Right. And again, not, not doing the securing stitches thing. Long tails at both sides yeah, and then pull through. pull through on the right side. And then you sew the back of the pocket on. Perfect. Heather, my love, the zip is just from the zip. Oh, it's here, look. The hemline nylon zip. You get 10 metres of zip and 20 uh, heads. Um, what do you call them? Zipper pulls. Zipper yeah. pulls on it, yeah. Dead useful. I'd, I'd hardly recommend. Right, so... Oh, yeah, and the black one's used on the axe. Look here, the black one's used on the axe. So the black one's used there. You might not see that because that's black on black on the telly. But it's also, the black one's also used in there as well. Okay, because the thing is, that it looks good with the black zip because normally yeah. you go, oh, get a matching zip. But because you've got your black strap and your black yes, magnetic it all looks in there, it looks all nice, doesn't and it? And in fact, it becomes a design feature yes, in of itself. Yes, exactly. Right. So okay. let's pretend that I've sewn the back of the zip on. Yes. Now I'm going to turn attentions to sewing up a dart. Just right. So. Yeah, no, no, so we can so, see. So um, dart, the, the dart markings are always drawn onto the wrong side of your fabric right and, that, yes. and, the, and the, the dark markings are in the pattern right and then what i like to do is so i've, I've drawn my dart in if you can see here i've not only drawn the dart but i've, I've drawn a little horizontal line at the head of the dart yes. as well and you'll see what i have in a okay. minute can i ask a quick question sure are there no templates or are all the shapes pieces that are measured by measured. There are templates. It, does, okay. it looks like you haven't got I them haven't on got you there. I haven't got the templates, but you'll get templates in yes. yours. What we'll do is we'll double check with Wendy that you get templates. Yeah, yours. templates for the Full bag itself templates. and templates for the, the, the pocket pieces Perfect. and so on. That's what I was just thought of, I have a look at them and thought, oh, they're not yeah, here. No, 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 that wouldn't be fun without the old pattern yeah. there. Right. So um, I've drawn my dart like that. Yeah. And then before, just before I sew my dart together, what I like to do is I like to make tiny scissor nicks at the um, wide edge of the dart there yeah. and then I can fold everything in half matching the scissor nicks together right uh, and so you can't pin this can you that's pin what I was about to oh, say sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. You, you you know get yourself some sewing clips yeah wonder clips wonder clips and then to hold that dart in place ours are green not blue the ones you get from us are green and then um, you'll see now why I've done that little horizontal, well, hopefully you'll see, yeah. why I've done that little horizontal line. 
There you go, perfect. Because it, it tells me exactly where I should stop sewing. Okay. And, and again, when you sew the dot on, on PU, you're just going to sew and then sew off into the horizon because you don't backstitch on the PU. But you come off the end then? Yeah, just, yeah, you, the just, end, yeah. you just come off at the end and you know that when you've sewn beyond that line, you're good to go. Okay, perfect. Uh, uh, and again, with your wider stitch, I don't know how to widen the stitch on this, but let's pretend that I have. It doesn't really matter. You sure? Widen or lengthen, uh, you Lengthen, please, sorry, yeah. Oh, is it this one? Yes. Okie dokie. There's only one of those left, remember the 680s, special bundle I've got for you. Oh. There you go. And that's that. Okay. Okay, we don't need to, don't really need to tie off this guy. Well, you could if you wanted to, but... But that's going to go into a seam anyway, yes, though, Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's why you could just leave it. Yeah. This guy definitely needs to needs be tied, tied off. off. Yeah. And just, you know, a simple, a simple do double knot. So you don't need to pull enough. that one through. That one can just no, literally be actually, tied off. No, actually, yeah, because, yeah. because it's just at the, it's just at the head of a, a dart, so mm -hmm. it doesn't matter too much. Let's trim you off. And I will say that um, for the outer fabric on this dot, because when you sew the two outer pieces together, yes. you want to peel the seams open because that way we're going to minimise bulk. Mm -hmm. that, that makes the bag look nice. We're See, just going to trim off oh. about mm, one and a half centimetres no, from no, the enough. fold. One and a half centimetres? Yeah, just from here to here. Oh, down, yes. Yeah. I was going to say one and a half centimetres to take you into your bag. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. So no, just sorry. literally yeah. trim it. Yeah, you're just snipping at the fold. Yes. You're just snipping at the fold. It doesn't yeah. need to be exact. You sometimes do that when you're doing Edwardian dresses and everything, and all the seams going down here, you sometimes just snip into a dart like that just to make it so that you fold them oh, open. Oh, so that yeah. you can open. Yeah, yeah and, then, and then see. So then you can, then you can do that when you... And would you then roll it open or would you just leave it where it is? No. Um, you could roll it open. I just make sure that at the point of sewing the two outer pieces together, that they're, the, flat, that they're yeah. definitely flat and yeah. open. Okay. So, and then that's how the dart looks. Brilliant. And that's in the bottom corner of your bag there. Yes. So that's a, a different equivalent of a box bottom, isn't it? It's just giving the, the shape to the bottom yeah, of the bag. Yeah, because on this, on this bag, a box bottom wouldn't look nice. No. Because it oh, would no, no, stick no, out it's of nice. your bag. Yeah, no, it's nice and designed. It's that quite feminine looking, I think. Which is why it looks lovely when you're... <laughs> uh, there any I don't know what she just said, but it was funny. Um, four of these left, that's it. Wow. There's just four of the aqua uh, cork bundle left now. Well done if you've got that. And I'm not right. even allowed to take that home with me afterwards. Uh, pardon? I'm not even allowed to take the sample home no. with me afterwards. They stay here, you know. Yeah. Too right. Right, what's right, next? So what are you looking at next? So... This is uh, what I thought was funny earlier. In the prep, she got out her laptop for the first one. All lovely printed up, list and everything. Second one comes out, it's a bit of scrappy paper. By then I'd lost the will to live, I'll be honest. Oh, shush. Sure, sure. <laughs> right, go on, next. Okay, right. So now we're going to stitch... Now we're looking at the front of the bag. Yes. Uh, and on, on the front of the bag, I have already made the bottom portion of the pocket, which right. is quite straightforward. You just, what you do is you sew the roundy buckle bit. Oh, yes, off the, off the magnetic yes, thing Yes, because there. usually they're together. <laughs> yeah. And you just sew that onto your outer fabric, and then you sew the lining fabric, right pieces, right sides together, yeah. with a hole at the bottom, yeah. and then you stitch that onto OK, so the... this is only going through the top layer of either the PU yes. or the cork. Yes, yes. Because... And did you just hand stitch that on? Yes. Yeah, perfect. And it, see, it looks, that's what it looks like underneath. Brilliant. OK. OK, I am going to show you, once I find it... I'll recap bundles once uh, we've done uh, this little bit. What have you lost now? Your pocket flap. Yeah, my pocket flap. Uh, Doreen, who's it? Doreen, say. Doreen wants to know how soft the blue PU is. I'll show you when I go over Doreen how much it it's, drapes. Um, if it's like this, it's buttery soft. Yeah, it's it's exactly really, the same, yeah. really pleasant to use. Glides through the machine really nicely. You don't need to be, don't need to worry about it sticking on the. But use a walking, like use a walking foot on Always it. Always a walking foot. Okay. Yeah, I literally do not sew with a normal foot ever, right. unless I happen to be dressmaking, which doesn't happen that often. No. 
It should, but, you know, there's only so many hours in the day. Exactly. So, what are you doing now? Uh, right now, I am going to sew the top buckle part. Oh, yes. I'm not going to finish doing it, but I'm going to show, show. you how I did okay, it. Okay, brilliant. So, so here's, here's my um, top flap there. Yeah. And can you see those holes yeah. marked out Oh, they there? look like felt pen marks. Yes. Me? I've done that deliberately so they're easier to see on the camera. Perfect. And I did that by getting the top part of the buckle. Yeah. And then laying it onto my pattern marking. Yeah. And then I've got a I've got a piece of um, I've got a piece of cork uh, that I've folded up lots and lots of times. Yeah. Because then I can put it on my work mat, put it underneath my work, and then get my awl, not this one, but not one that like one, the straight it, one, yeah. And then literally punch the, the holes. holes through. Yes. So that when I go to, and this is what I mentioned in my first show. If you if you watched it, it's so handy to have know where the holes are because then you can just do that. And then everything is in position where it's supposed to be. So if I put needle through the first hole there, and then I just match that to the first hole here, you know that when you're sewing on your sewn on handle tabs or your buckles or whatever, everything is going to finish up being where it should be. Who, who said that? Oh, Crazy Rain thinks you're a fabulous bag maker. Oh. But she's crazy. <laughs> no, she loves your designs. No, no, she's crazy, but she, a day doesn't go by when she doesn't make I'm a bag. I'm crazy too. Um, right, okay, so you've done that. Yes. And what would the, so that's on the, your um, Outer, flat, yeah. but there's no lining or anything no, in there? No, not yet. So let's pretend that I, so what you do is you sew in a running stitch in and out. Yes. In one direction. Yeah. And then when you get then. to the other direction, you just go back the other way. Because yeah. in that way, that all of the holes are filled in. Perfect. So there's no gaps. Yeah, lovely. I'm not going to do that now. No, 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 no. But you've done that with just the PU or just, just the cork. Just, yeah. just the PU yeah. or just the cork. No interfacing. And in the pattern, is the placement on the pattern so you know it's yes. going to hit, they're going to hit match. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So that, that is going to be the right length. But should your pocket get quite full, which yeah. kind of happens in bags, this is not just decoration. It is. Oh, you can actually use it. Is it is literally. Yeah. It is literally adjustable. Perfect. Okay, so when you sew the lining right sides together onto the outer, yeah. you'll find that this guy does get in the way. Yeah. Uh, to make your life a little oh, bit easier. Oh, just take it off. Just yeah. take it off. Yeah, and then you can just bend it inwards. And then you're better. Yeah, and yeah. I made it'll the, still. It'll still be. Just watch as you're going round. Yeah, it, it won't yeah. be bulky like I, that. I placed it so that it won't get in the way of your foot, but you may want to move your needle closer to the left. Yes. Left. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to go and recap bundles yeah, while it. you get the next stage ready. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, now, where are we with this one? Oh, you're going to mustard first. Oh, oh sorry, the graph's coming out. They're playing up for Hannah so badly today. There's what? There's two, but two of these left. That's all now, two of these left. What you get for your 64.99 is you get your half a metre of aqua cork, cork, you get your half a metre of black fabric, you get your elastic, you get your magnetic tab, you get your rivets, you get your D-rings, you get your thread, and you get one strap, and you get the instructions with full templates, 64 pounds and 99 pence. That's using the one strap to make it that, right? Okay, that's going to go. That's going to go. There's only t uh, there were only two of those left, but there's people on the phone line, so they'll have gone. Right, I've got it in the denim cork, which doesn't have a silver fleck through it. It has the dark, like a jet fleck through it, that one, look. So you get half a metre of that, you get half a metre of the black, you get, again, elastic D-rings, magnetic clasp, thread, rivets, and one strap, and your instructions. Oh, £65, that one. Sixty-five pounds. There you go. Okay. And are we all right with stock on the de on the denim ones at the moment? Oh, fewer than twenty. Fewer than twenty. So they'll be. They'll be. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
mustard first, which is the one that Lisa's making there. So you get half a metre of the PU. Oh, I'm going to do the navy blue. I'll get the navy blue PU out in a minute. So you get half a metre of the PU, half a metre of the black uh, cotton, elastic D-rings, magnetic uh, fastener, strap, uh, thread, and your um, rivets, and your instructions, and your templates. Second most popular bundle, £46.99 for the mustard. I do like a good mustard, but you have to be careful because a lot of them have got gluten in them, haven't they? Anyway. Doreen, I'm going to do the blue one now, Doreen. I want to know how soft the blue PU was. Well, if I just if I drape it like this, look, you'll see. It's beautiful and soft, look. It's not, it's not like, a, you know, Dor look, look, Doreen. It's just squidgy. It's just a lot. No, no. The only reason I'm saying that is when I first started, if you got a pleather, it would, have been so, it would have been solid like this. You'd gone, oh, I'll just bend it for you. No, not this. Look, it's beautiful and scrunchy and soft, isn't it? So it's uh, got the, the, the uh, visco uh, viscose background there, a backing there. So you, what you get, you get half a metre of that, half a metre of the black. Uh, you get the, uh, oh, there you go. Have a look at the picture because it's better that way. Uh, you get the uh, handle, the magnetic glass, the rivets, the thread, the elastic, the D-rings and the instructions and templates. It's 46 99 Sewn on your little clasp. Oh, oh, did somebody ask? Uh, 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 if to sew on the clasp, Lisa just used black embroidery thread. Black embroidery thread she used to sew that on with. And then the red one. Very snazzy, the red one. So you get half metre of the red PU, half metre of the black cotton. Same again, elastic rivets, uh, magnetic clasp, uh, single strap, thread and D-rings. Go graphics, go. 46.99. No, they're in, they're in. Very quickly. Now, if you want to turn it into a rucksack, you need to buy another strap. This is your other strap, 9 99 It comes with the D-rings, comes with the clasp, swivel clips on the end and everything. They go. Now, it's not leather, obviously, it's faux. Faux leather, $9.99. Can that can help you achieve this? There you go. Right, so what are you doing now, Lisa Lam? All righty. We're now looking at the back of the bag. Right. And um, presently, the back of the bag, there's your finished zip pocket there. Yeah. And now we're going to turn our attention to these rather snazzy looking handle So you do lids. all of these before you put it together or anything Absolutely, like that? Absolutely, okay, yeah, okay. otherwise it'd be a, quite a fiddle. Now you get D-rings in the, D, 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 uh, these D-rings come in your bundle. Yes, Because your do. straps come with D-rings on the end of the straps for whenever you need them. Yes, and I'm going to show you the final one, which is what the, the one that uses the wider D-ring. Right, yes. And the wider D-ring is um, the uh, central D-ring for when you're using it as a backpack. So if it's a which backpack... Which is the D-ring that comes on your strap. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, no, no, these are the D-rings that come on the strap. Oh, OK, Sorry. you're getting confused, yeah. There the D-rings come on the strap. And yeah. we've got, yeah, we've got the inch one. Yes, in the, yes for yeah, when yeah. you're wearing it as a backpack. Back, yeah, brilliant. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make one of these handle loops here. Perfect. Um, and, but is this one going to be wider because the D-ring's yes, wider or it's the same? Yes. Okay. So the last, the last one that I'm doing is the wider one right. and there is only one wide D-ring. Right. Okay. So it's this, exactly the same, same technique, process, but yes. this one's just slightly bigger than those. Absolutely. Right? And those have got one rivet on and these have got two rivets on. Yes. Right. Ready. Okay, so you've, you've um, measurements for the wider one and the narrow ones are in the instructions. Yeah. And you just put, you, so you get, take your two pieces, yeah. put them wrong sides together yeah. and stitch together. Now I will say that yeah. um, on the PU, you get a tiny bit of frayage. Yes. So it might be an idea to put a little bit of fray stop Fray so check, or fray check like yeah, just to prevent these little bits coming off. You don't get that happening on the cork at all. Okay. It's just something that oh, I brilliant. thought I'd mention there. Yeah. So I'm just going to sew these two pieces together with your three and a half stitch length and sewing all around with um, eighth of an inch seam, leaving long tails, pulling the of course. construction to the back. Put 
forgive any wonkiness. Why? <laughs> because it's nice, that's why. <laughs> That's going through that, um, the needle's just going yeah. so easily through. Absolutely, it? like it's not there. As long yeah. as you've got a fresh needle, you know, yeah. use, use an 80 or a 90, it's, it really is just like sewing through normal fabric. And, yeah. and, and, and the walking foot is just, you know, preventing any sticking issues. It's just like you're sort of sewing through a quilt, really. Yeah. Oh. Don't know if there's a needle up on that one. Now, to save time, I'm not going to pull the top threads no, to the No, 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 but you would but do, you I, would but do, But I yeah. absolutely would do. In real life. Yes. And the next thing to do is I've got to punch the holes for the rivets on this handle loop. Right. And the measurements for where the holes should go are in the pattern. Right. I've already marked them. So actually, it is, the first one is half an inch up from the bottom edge. Yeah and then an inch up from the bottom okay. edge. And I've only done that on one side, and then I'm going to fold the whole thing in half. How have like you marked that. them then? Well, um, I, I just used an awl actually. Okay, then. So I know you can't see at home. I, mean, I can't see it from here, but... Um, there, I've just, yeah. I've just used oh, Okay, awl. perfect. Or well, you, you could just use a pen or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, you could use a biro. Yeah. And I've got my um, prim, yeah. punchy tool yeah. thing. Oh, have you managed to open this one then? Like the packet? <laughs> I didn't. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It's Chris. But I'll give him a cuddle later. Okay. It's mine. Get off. It's mine. <laughs> now, this, now, what it is, what it is, is when yours arrive, it comes with different um, fittings for here. This one's yeah. obviously for doing uh, um, something else. snappers or something, but yeah. you change it to the pointy one with the hole on like yes. that. So can I just show yeah, that? Yeah, of course you can. This, is a, this, isn't, this isn't the one for sale, but you will get one of these and one of these, and that then becomes a hole puncher, Punch. doesn't yes, it, for yeah. the for the, for and the it's pliers. included. Yeah, and it all comes as part of the thing. In, you know, and it just, it saves your fingers, there's no banging coming from your sewing room. Yeah. So if you're hiding in your sewing room, you don't want anyone to know it's there, you know, hammering's a bit of a giveaway. Yes. And it, it, they're made in such a way that it's not like you need to be Arnold Schwarzenegger or anything. Go on then. Oh, see, I've done oh. it. See, see, I am on. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, I'll, I'll do the other one and I'll show you. Yeah. Do you want to have a go? No. All right. I don't want to ruin it for you. Not saying anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Knowing for what I will. Just do it. Come on. There you go. Yeah. And that's two. And okay, let me just show you. Sorry. Clean, Jesse says. Clean. Clean, yeah. clean. And if there there are if there are little bits at the end, you can just cut them off. Yeah. This is fine. Okay, right. So now we've got our two holes. I've punched two yeah. corresponding holes onto the outer fabric as well. Okay. In fact, there's little discs there. But you know what? I'm happy to leave them in because actually the bulk adds um, stability. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the word I was looking for. So then the next thing to do is to grab my d-ring which, which comes in your kit this is the this is the large one the 25 yes, the millimeter one. one and then pop that through into the middle yeah uh fold again yeah. and then match to the two holes here yeah and then also i have you make what i call handle loop reinforcement pieces because it's it's the a name that really trips off the tongue there yes yeah. <laughs> and i've folded folded the fabric in half. Now I will say on the cork, because the cork fabric is a touch thicker, a single layer, a single layer reinforcement piece right. is fine. But because the PU is a little bit finer, I've doubled it over. And the reason being is you, you see, I'm just gonna show a finished thing. So that's what you put that's on the back. You don't yes. see that, do you? No, you it's don't. on the back. But so instead of just going through your PU, yeah. you're also going through two layers yes. of extra PU going there. So it's just give it strength so they're not gonna rip out at any And point. they actually behave like a washer as well, because the last thing you want when you're running for the bus is the screws to start coming undone. Yeah. So it prevents anything and coming undone. And it adds strength. And even if you find that a double layer is not enough, then make a make a bigger one and then fold it into three. Yeah. Okay. And then try and match that. 
and then grab your, this is where you wished you had another hand, another arm. Oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, spoil the shot, Jesse. <laughs> Look, I've got, there's the third I hand. I do huh? need to shave my hand. <laughs> or lose a bit of weight. What are you doing? So you're unscrewing. Yes, I'm unscrewing. So the Chicago screw yeah. looks like that. So oh, so you don't even need an implement for this then? No. Oh, they're fantastic. So they're not, they come in your bundle. I didn't look at them properly. Not only do they look proper snaz, yeah. but there's no, you know, there's no hammering. There's no, because you know sometimes when you bang a rivet in and, you, and you're a bit enthusiastic and then you might crack the top. Or you might snap the yes, stem, yeah. and then that's really irritating. Or hurt your finger. Or hurt your finger, exactly. And with Chicago screws, that eliminates that from happening. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you only yes. use eight, you've got two left yes. over. Uh, Linda, my love, it's about 12 inches across by 10 inches down. And do you know why it's a touch wider? It's because I asked the a lovely SQ folks what sort of measurement they're okay. they wanted they wanted wider and shallower oh, which is go. why it is that shape yeah. that's why linda just asked the size that was all now for the chicago rivets you have option of either plain dome side or screw now some people actually like to see the screw oh yes it's it, it, it's up to you i personally prefer the plane yeah. because it's clean yeah and because i'm you know i'm a bit uh, i think that looks more kind of industrial so yeah. depending on the fabric you were using if you made like it used a tim holtz kind of butch fabric then i'd yes. use the screw yeah, side some canvas. You know. yes. if you're making yeah. oh, it yes. for the man yeah. in your life yeah yeah definitely look it, it would look quite butch yeah. actually boucher as Bo they say. <laughs> in brighton <laughs> Anyway, come on, how many minutes have we got? <laughs> Never three. enough. Three minutes Oh, jeez, Louise. Yeah, well, Louise. I haven't done badly, actually. No. I've shown you the highlights. Because the lining is very easy to make. Okay, so you just push that through the, all the holes. Yes, yes. Plus the... Plus the plus the reinforcer thing. Yeah, it's lost its name now. It's just called the reinforcer <laughs> thing now. <laughs> just look for the word reinforcer. And then, then just screw at the back. Simple. Yes. Yeah. How brilliant. I love those. I've never seen those before. They do look nice. And they look, look nice, but also... Painless. The, yeah. A little screwdriver just to tighten yeah, them up. Yeah, absolutely. Now, yeah, and the reason, the, you know, part of the reason that I've added all of these layers is it's very, very hard to find Chicago screws, which are shorter. Yes. So these oh, are of a certain... Oh, and you want them yes. swinging around. Yes, yes. yeah. But um, once they're on, that's yeah. not coming off for anybody. Fantastic. And, and it just looks proper. So, so then you. So then, what you do is you um, for for the for the outer. So once once this guy is on yeah. and that pocket is made, yeah. And then this Sorry. this pocket has got and its the flap flapper. will be yeah. on there as well. Yeah. Yes, because we don't need to worry about attaching handles because they're all clip on. Yeah. Then you um, then you you know you make sure the darts are sewn obviously. Yeah. Then you just match, uh, remembering to open up the seams. So you'd open them up rather than push one to the back and one to the front. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. Okay. Yeah. O o open up both. Yeah. And then that's the outer bag. So you just literally finished. sew all the way round. Yes. Yeah. Just just all the way round. Yeah. Finished. Obviously round it, not leaving the top open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'll just quickly show you the line. Oh, this is where you need the H six forty. Yes. So that, that goes on the back of the uh, lining fabric there. Okay. That's right. And I've taken off, I've taken off um, a centimetre and a half okay. all around the fleece. Look at that first, that's more important. There you go. The H640 was our uh, early bird special today, so it's at... Uh, oh, now it's about to sell out now, so if you want it, you better be quick. I go through it like water. Yeah. Yeah, I use it all the time. Six, no, thank you, saving three pounds. Uh, 30% 30, 30 off, yeah, because it's normally 9 99 isn't it? Blimey. Normally 9 99 so you're getting 30% off. Uh, please be careful, though. Uh, also, if you buy, if you buy, I was going to sell out in a minute, so be careful. They come like this. If you buy four, you get four of these. You don't get it all on one roll. Not that it matters. Right, sorry, go, go, sorry. go, go. Um, I've made one of my signature elasticated pockets. Again, yep. look at August the 22nd. Show you That's August the 22nd, the other show. Or was it the same show? Uh, same day, anyway. Uh, but it's in there somewhere. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> But it's an elasticated top pocket, yeah? Yes, 
uh, and for sewing the darts, um, when you sew the darts together on the lining bag, I did what you just mentioned. Rather than opening up the seam, one one dart faces one way. Oh, okay. I don't know if just you can, and the other them, dart, yeah. dart faces this way. But before we get to there, yeah. before we sew them together, you need to get your Zip. zippity zip. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember off how, how far how far down this goes, but it's in the pattern. Yeah. And then you just sew the folded edge of the zip onto the top edge of okay. the lining like that. Yeah. And then you sew the All lining. All the way around. The lining and then together. do you do sew them back, put the bag the right way out the, the, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. into each other and bag them through. But, yeah, bag them through. Is that yes. you've run out of time, but have you any is there any uh, nothing else on your list that you need to just say very quickly? Paul no, Dove? there's nothing more fancy pantsy than that. But if you've got any questions, just go to Lisa via the Facebook yeah, page and she'll actually just tag her in. Just tag me and I'll answer you. Yeah, go now. Bye. <laughs> No. <laughs> Boy, punching me in the face, Christmas, sort her out. I've got to go, I've got to go. Um, when are you in next, do you know? Uh, March. Oh, are you going to Festival of Quilts? If you'll have me. I don't know, I've, are you go? <laughs> Just turn the microphone off. <laughs> right, I've only got four bundles left to show you. The cork bundle you could just see then, sold out, the aqua, sold out. Got it in the denim blue here. That's what, Hannah? Single figures of the denim blue now. So you get half metre of the denim blue cork, half metre of the black cotton, the magnetic strap, the strap, the elastic, the thread, the D-rings, the Chicago studs. Is that what they're called? Screws. Oh, screws. No, it doesn't sound as good, does it? <laughs> Pl I'm too apologetic. I do, but that's her without a microphone, everyone. So imagine how loud she is in real life. Plus the instructions, £65. Uh, now, you get one handle with that. If you want to make it through the rucksack, I've got the other handle available here for you to buy in a second. Mustard, which is the one that Lisa was using just now. Second most popular. So you get half a metre of mustard PU, half a metre of the black cotton, elastic D-rings, a magnetic clasp, Chicago screws, uh, your uh, thread and your one strap. Forty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. Navy. Don't know why I said it like that. Navy. Yeah, spending too much time with Chris. That's what it is. No, because we like that. Don't if it's okay. We don't put Navy. I'm getting better at it, aren't I? Now, <laughs> now I do apologise if you're from the black country. Chris is black country. Oh, it's more Chris than black country, apparently, that. But anyway, I don't know what that means. Half a metre of the navy blue, half a metre of the black, all the bits and bobs you need, £46.99. pence. You will get the templates in the pattern. And last but not least, the red one, the snazzy red one. Don't forget the competition when is at 11 o'clock. I'll tell you, read that out in a minute. So you get half a metre of the red, half a metre of the black, all the bits and bobs, all the instructions and templates, £46.99. And I'm doing this. This is the extra strap. If you want to make it into a rucksack, you need to buy another strap. It comes with D-rings and everything like that. Strap is coming in. 9 99 9 Right, don't go anywhere. Oh, I hate it when you can just see my mouth. Um, don't go anywhere. Susan Briscoe is up straight after the break with Japanese quilting. But we've also got to announce the winner of yesterday's competition and I'll show you what today's uh, competition prize is when we come back. They're amazing prizes, I can't tell you. Uh, but so in, in just straight after this break, I will be announcing who won yesterday's prize. It was fantastic. It was Liberty, there was Alice Caroline, there was Alistair, there were threads in a beautiful rosewood box or it was teak or whatever. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Birthdays are better when they're full of surprises and gifts. So we decided to make our second birthday extra special with a free gift for new and existing customers who purchase any web or auction product during our second birthday event. Shop between 8 a.m. on Thursday the 7th of February and midnight on Tuesday the 12th of February and you will automatically receive a free brand new sewing quarter pin badge. This new exclusive pin badge worth 4 dollars is the second sewing quarter badge in circulation and is the perfect gift for any sewing quarter fan. You even get a £5 off code on the back of the badge for your next purchase. 
Plus, if you spend over £30 in one transaction during our six-day event, you can also get your hands on a brand new Sewing Quarter Shopper tote bag worth £6.99, which includes not only one, but two beautiful patterns worth £7.99. So join in with the birthday celebration and get your hands on these fabulous free gifts. Each offer is available while stocks last. See the website for full details. So a big happy birthday to the Sewing Quarter channel. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. We've turned two, and to celebrate, we're giving you the chance to win an array of fabulous prizes every single day during our huge second birthday event, taking place from the 7th to the 12th of February. We've got fantastic bundles for sewers and quilters of all abilities, with hampers from June Taylor and thread boxes from the like of Madeira and Mettler, as well as all the storage and books you need for 2019. To enter our daily competitions, all you have to do is make a purchase at Sewing Quarter via our TV auction or online. You can also enter for free. Simply head over to our website and click on the web banner to find out more info. We've also got daily sew specials that include the brand new Sewing Quarter Aurafil thread box. So make sure you tune in every day from Thursday the 7th to Tuesday the 12th of February, only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687 or watch online at www.sewingquarter.com Sewing Quarter is the UK's first TV channel dedicated to sewing and quilting. On air and behind the scenes, our team of top industry experts work hard to bring you tons of exciting projects. Whether you're into dressmaking, bag making, piecing, patchworking or quilting, you'll learn something new every day from our talented guest designers and fabulous presenters. Our online shop is packed with tools, haberdashery essentials and fabulous fabrics, from simple solids to designer gems. And with our 30-day money-back guarantee and single daily postage charge, you can shop with confidence. So tune in daily on Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687 and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Never doubt, Chris. He's always got it sorted. Right, that's my fault. Um, right, now, 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 now. Before I do anything, do anything, do anything, it's 11 o'clock. I need to tell you who's won yesterday's prize. What happens is, is if you come in any time during the day and buy anything, each time you check out, your name goes into the raffle. I like to call it a raffle. It's not a raffle. Um, and so somebody yesterday bought something, and that person, let me show you the prize they're going to win. That's what they're going to win. They get the little box with the Liberty Fat Quartz in. They get the Alistair book. They get the Alice Caroline um, charm pack. And they get that beautiful, beautiful box with all those uh, rayon threads in it. Three, two, one. Today, Anne Brig Brigden. Anne Brigden, you have won all of those goodies. I don't know where you're from, Anne Brigden. We normally say where you're from, don't we? Anne Brigden, you've got all of those goodies. Congratulations. We should have one of those, like, cheer. Hooray. One of those. Three. Come on, Chris. Hooray. Come on, Susan. Hooray. Uh, if you buy something today, this is what you could win at 11 o'clock tomorrow. There you go. Uh, all those beautiful goodies. Every day is brilliant. There's a lamp there. That little, that, that little thing at the corner. It's not all in proportion. It's not really in proportion, is it? Because the, lamp, the lamp's a bit bigger than that. Compared to, you don't get the little pink two in the corner. You can't, well, here, here, Hannah. You can have this. Yeah, when, at the end of the week, you can have that. I'm in on Tuesday, so I'll drop it off at yours on my way home. She doesn't want it. You can have that one. 
Oh, Chris is saying you can't have it. Anyway, can I, can I, re, can I think I can reshape it into a heart and use it for Valentine's Day? Right, now, very quickly, in the next hour, I've got this, the So Special. You know, we do the uh, early bird first thing there, and then at some point during the day, we do the So Special. Oh, I'm not, not showing you. You can't look. You can't look, but there's three premieres in there, and there's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces in there for you to buy. Really lovely gift, that one. And that's it, that's it, that's it. I've got to tell you about it for now. Uh, now, this is all about this. We had Susan uh, uh, an hour ago. This is a brand new book to us, Japanese. Now, I say taupe, she says taup. Uh, quilt blocks, she'll be right, not me. 1799. Now, all these books are signed in uh, side there. Now, these aren't so much uh, sashko. These are Japanese quilting. This is Japanese quilting, a plique and all sorts of things that you do, bias taping and everything like that. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. Now, you know full well, any book that's done by Susan will be full of uh, history, full of intrigue, full of all sorts of goodies to do with the... Um, look, now, look. They're all the blocks. Don't worry, that's not, that's not how small they are, because, look, they're all... Oh, we love this. Look. It's a bit like the Tula book, exactly, where she breaks down every single block. Imagine making your own sampler quilt. Isn't that beautiful? We love this. Oh, I love all these different blocks. Oh, um, as um, was you what what? Oh, she's trying to read it as we go along. Sorry. Has Marcia come in yet? No, Marcia. I bet Marcia gets one of these. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Look at the colours as well. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop because look, it goes. Oh, look. So they're different to those, aren't they? They look like pieced blocks. And then those are the, um, oh, thank you, Hannah. These are the applique ones. I think Hannah should just come down and be the presenter. I'll go upstairs and just press the buttons. Anyway, look. So Susan's got samples of all of these to show you. Oh. Now I think I've got that one on the wall. I've got that one on the wall. Isn't that love? Oh, and I've got that one. Have I got that one? Yeah. Oh, and I've got that one. I've just seen that one on the table. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I love this book. Now, who'd have thought? I didn't even know. Look, oh, all the templates. It's not, br oh, blimey, loads of templates. Uh, 17, 19, you see, I always think books, you see. If you think of the hundreds of years of experience that Susan's had doing this, you know what I mean? And it's all crammed into a book for 17, 99. If you put it down put to, to you know, how many years and how much experience and how much travelling around the world. 1799 is nothing really, is it? To have just a taster of the Susan Briscoe Japanese top top quilt blocks. Right, okay, I'll get on, I'll get on because we want to get on. So now I've got two, I've got two bundles. I've got two bundles. That's the book, signed 1799. Carry on going through for the book, carry on going through for the book. Now, I've got two bundles of fabrics, uh, but none of them are what you're going to call uh, Japanese-y kind of fabrics, but they can create these amazing blocks using these fabrics and a bit of applique and a bit of thread and a bit of whatever. This, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, six metres of fabric. I'll just go through it quickly for you. Uh, so, uh, depending on the designs that you use from the book, you can make about 30 blocks, give or take, you know, one or two. So you get brown. I haven't seen, like, Wendy went, oh, I've just created a little bundle of these. I've never seen these before. Then you've got that one. That's lovely, isn't it? Then you've got uh, the plain colours. You've got some bijou in there. A bit more bijou. That's lovely, isn't it? That one. And then you've got your bijou. Uh, is that bijou? That square dot, yep. And then that, it's your die for tall, isn't it? Isn't that your die for tall? I think it is, isn't it? Oh, that's three sisters. Sorry, that's three sisters. Oh, that was die for tall. That's three sisters. So that's 62 99 for six metres of fabric. I get that in the book. Create something magical. What's, what, did you, did you say something different? Okay, I said exactly the same words as Hannah, but she started laughing because it said sounded strange. Uh, that's the, that, so that's the, that's the brown version, the taupe, taupe version. Then I've got the blue version. Half a metre, half a metre, 
half a meter. Ooh, half a meter. Now that's got that's that um that's from that koi carp range, isn't it? It's that lovely um, textured fabric, that one. Then you've got your planes, and you've got your little dandelions, and you've got your old, oh, that's the vase one, isn't it? That's called something Grace Vase, that one. Or as Paul calls it, vase. Uh, then you've got your, your, what's that one called? Can't remember, like stitched, it's called stitched, don't worry. Then you've got, now is that Riviera in your, in your linear there? Then look, beautiful, aren't they? Bit more arrowheads from Bijou there. And I've never seen that one before. So is it. I haven't seen that, that range. I've had a couple of fabrics from it. Anyway, 64.49, you get all of that fabric. 64.49, six metres of fabric. Now, say you don't want to make a big quilt. Now you want to just make something a little smaller, like this. So now we've got the actual fabrics. Oh, I, I, well, I, right, okay, this is, she's, it's her first day, right? <laughs> there we go, has to go that way. We have the actual bundle to make this. Shall we have a look at it? It's lovely, isn't it? So you could make this table runner from the bundle that we've got and have some fabric left over. I shall show you now, because that's the end. So that's this one here, the one at the end here. So what you get is you get three metres in this bundle. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, is it three metres? So you must get a metre. You get a metre of one of them, Hannah. You must get a metre. Yeah, that must be the background fabric there, metre. And then half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, and half a metre. £47.99. pence. So you get that. You get the uh, wadding that you need. You get your thread and you get your gold bias binding iron on. Fusible, it's called not iron on, fusible. Right, and there's all sorts of things in the book that you can use to create different uh, blocks and everything. So that's the, that's the gold one and red and brown. I've also got it in a lovely blue. That's nice, you get a metre of that one, that's your background fabric. Not quite sure what colour that one is, I've not done if I've never seen that one before. It's uh, from the linear range. Then you've got your ivory, then you've got your moda. Beautiful, very similar but in the blue tones with your thread. This time you get silver fusible bias. Then you also get your um, wadding, £47.99. Now, later on, I will be able to offer you the bias binding on its own in silver, gold and black. Right, the book's over there already, so I can just go across this. There we go. Right. New book. Well, actually, it has been out for a little while. But it's new to us, though, isn't <laughs> it's it? It's new to you. It's the first, yeah. I think it's probably the first time I brought this one on the show. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they are all signed, aren't they? They are all signed. I've just finished signing the last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least you got them done in the break. When I finished I yesterday, did. I was still outside signing his. Well, I had I did start before the first show for me. Oh, okay. That's so, yes, right, it, it so now, this, just tell me about this book. Why, why did you do it? Where's the inspiration? Why did I do it? And where did the inspiration come from? Well, Torp or Tope. I'm never, I'm never sure quite how you say it because... Um, how you know, do they it, say it in Japan? Well, that's the problem. They, they say Tope. <laughs> Torpu. <laughs> oh, I like that better. Torpu. I'm going to make that Torpu. <laughs> if, if you're giving it a Japanese pronunciation. But of course, um, you know, when you meet people over there who speak English as a second language, a lot of them have learned from Americans, a lot of them learned oh, from Brits. Right. So, um, to be honest, living in Japan for a while as an English speaker totally messes up all your pronunciation. Anyway, oh, does it? yes, it does. You come back to sound like an Australian or oh, something, wow. something that you're not. Well, because you're, you're with people all the time who are from different countries yes, who speak yeah, English as a second language. Yeah. Well, this, this came about. Because I'd, I'd already done the, the first block book, the one that we took the designs for the Sashko panels from. Yeah. And the same publisher who'd done that said, we'd like you to do another one. And I thought, well, I, I want to make it a bit different. And I was really getting into all these lovely brown fabrics that were coming through at the time from Japan. Um, and these kind of colours have been fashionable in Japanese quilts for at least 30 years. Yes. Um, when you see quilts in the late 
nine, 80s and early 90s, it tends to be kimono fabrics, old kimono fabrics in these colours. In browns? That are used. In browns. You, don't, you don't think of kimono. You don't, browns, do, you? do you? No, but the kind of browns and greys and the very subdued colours and everything with a little touch of, of grey in it. They're the kind of colours that would have been worn by your grandmother, you oh, know, and the older ladies. Yes. Not so much now, by the way. Everyone's wearing wild colours just like we do. But yeah. um, maybe, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago, it was very much done, the done thing. As you got older, you wore softer, oh, okay, more subdued yes. kind of colours. You gracefully yeah. rather than disgracefully. Yeah. So it's, it's partly like a nostalgia thing, I suppose, with that. And then over the years, of course, Japanese designers and fabric manufacturers have started producing quilting fabrics of those. And of course, the, the real sort of queen of, of Japanese top look is uh, Yoko Saito. Of and course. And she, she's done loads of books on it. Um, but it's, it's, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And the funny thing is, it totally won me over to that kind of colour scheme. Yes. Because back in my student days, I wouldn't have done anything with brown. I hated anything brown or grey or soft colours. You know, it was all, I was a bit of a goth, so it was all black. Um, and I wouldn't have been seen dead working in colours like this. Yes. But then I saw the fabrics and I was like, wow. So when I was asked to do another book, I said, right, let's do it with Japanese top fabrics. Um, and we didn't put Sashko in this one simply because there were so many family crest designs. In fact, in this, nearly every single block is a family crest design, even the geometric oh, okay. ones. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, there's, there's thousands of them and they're just a wonderful design resource, really fabulous. Could you include, because the quilt we had earlier yes. had a, a Sashko block yes. with a non-block. You, so yes. you can mix yes. the two if yes. you wanted to. You can mix you? and match between the two. So what skills What skills do you need? What, what do you need to do this with these? In this book, obviously it's got patchwork in it, mm -hmm. it's got applique in it. Now I did the applique for the book as needle turn applique, but you can do it whatever style, you, it gives me instructions actually for doing bonded applique if you want to do it with bonder web, which let's face it is pretty easy. Yeah. Um, or you can do freezer paper applique, where you oh, put okay. the freezer paper on the back yeah. and you stitch it down, and then afterwards you have to cut away the back to pull the paper out. Yeah. Or you can do needle turn style, which is the way I did it. Oh for mine. My, just you. Yeah, just trust me. Well I thought, you know, if you're going to have techniques in a book, yeah. Pick the hardest one. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> and, then, exactly. and then if you can prove you can make those blocks using the hardest technique, yes. you can make it with all the others. The thing is, different pe people, like some people find other skills to be more, you know what I mean? Like I you know. find needle turn applique to be make, maybe easy, but I'd find it difficult or whatever. You know, like Lucy, yeah. one of my experts, she loves needle turn applique, I, so she'd I, find it. Well, I love it for the same reason the sash code, because you can, you can do something and you don't have to be with your sewing machine. You can do it watching the TV, yeah. you can do it when you're traveling, you know, sitting on a train, take it to your craft group, any of those sort of things. You're not actually dependent on having your sewing machine. Yes, of course. So that, that's the, the really nice thing about it. So I looked at a lot of Japanese um, top quilts and actually, a lot of the Japanese quilts use American-style blocks. Okay. But again, the publisher really liked the, the fact that we used Japanese designs in the first book. Mm. So I thought, great, what we'll do, we'll interpret those using the top fabrics. But not every fabric I used in the book is out of a Japanese top range. In fact, probably only 50% were. Oh, OK. Um, so I, you don't need to have it. It's not a, it's not no, a thing No, it's, it's more about it. getting the right kind of colour look. Yeah. And if you want to jazz up the blocks and do them in, in different colours, that's absolutely fine. And in fact, a lot of the fabrics in the Japanese top ranges, well, I'll show you, they're, the fabric's like... Like this, they look Western style. Like yes, that. exactly. So I mean, we've mm. got we've got our kind of natural neutrals, but we've also gone for blues as well. Because yeah, because oh, like, just because nice. I love blues. Uh, now, <laughs> so, are these what size blocks are these? These are the same size as in the the first book. So the finished size of the block is nine inches. Right. At so the they're nine and a half. At the moment, they're nine and a half. half unfinished, and again, so. it's simply because the maths works better yes. for them. But it meant you could mix and match between the two books. I'll just show you a few of these. Yeah, 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 please. These, um, so these oops, are all from, push that down from a little the book, bit. yeah? These are all from the book. Um, and you're probably thinking, why, why are all these still separate blocks? Well, yeah, why haven't you put these together in a quilt? <laughs> these, it's, it's simply because I didn't get around to doing it. Yeah. Uh, now, these are, these are just half, these are half square triangles with a border yeah. on them. Yeah, yeah. So some of them are really quite simple. So, so it's not, it's not, you see... I think people go, all oh, Japanese quilts, they must do a completely different, but it's not, because no, we, it's we not. know this. It's not. A lot, a lot of the piecing is the same we know kind of piecing we use, yeah. yeah. What I would say, when, when you see Japanese quilts at a, a show like Tokyo Dome, which I went to um, just a fortnight ago, actually, um, 
When you see the quilts there, you realise that Japanese quilters are not afraid of very small pieces in their patchwork. Right. Oh no, now somebody put it on Facebook. Really tiny pieces. Uh, 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 Marcia put it on saying this is oh, the, the best quilt the, the I've ever seen. Quilt. And it, but it was like a town of all, was it all little tiny houses oh, and things that, like that? Oh, that was top. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw yeah, that one yeah, actually yeah. at the show, yeah, that had a huge crown around it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so a lot of their quilts have got many, many, many tiny pieces in them. But again, what I've done with the, the block book, it starts out with easy blocks and works your way up to the harder ones. But, that's, but the thing is, there's nothing to say that you have to do them, because if, like, if people haven't got to the stage of loving mm. the taupe colours, the top oh, no, colours, you, it's very you easy could do, to do these them in, in different contemporary colours yeah. as well. They're just oh, yeah, beautiful yeah. blocks. Yeah. But that's, surely that's not piecing. Yeah, that's pieced. <laughs> it's curved piecing on that one. Oh, that's like the wedding ring. Yes, it is. It's like a double wedding, yes, uh, double wedding, like round, double wedding ring, yeah. Yeah. Double wedding, yeah. yeah, so that, that is actually curved piecing. But there's quite a lot that I did that have got applique on them. Is that applique um, or is that piece? That one is actually pieced. Oh, that's the same. That's the same. Sorry to sort of horrify you. It kind of relates. I think one of them comes after the other in the book. Oh, okay. Those. <coughs> okay. Um, and then, of course, you've got all, all the applique as well. So, with the applique, um, I had, Okay, so I these had loads are all pieced, them. aren't they, these? They are. They're all pieced, yeah. Though every single one of those is pieced. Now, I just. <laughs> and the one behind oh, us. Do you want me to talk about that? A few of the book left. Few of yeah? the 20 of the book left. All right. Um, wow. So, just take me through. Because this is in the you, book. You spotted this in the book. Yes. What, what I did when we, we created that book, we made a lot of sort of virtual quilts where we took a photograph of the blocks. Oh, yes. Yeah. And as well as the things I actually made, we also did like a sort of little, um, you know, virtual, you could do this, you could do that yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Um, but for this one, the, the one you see in the book is actually the virtual version of it. Oh, this right. is This is this the is real one. This is the real McCoy. This oh, is the real gosh, we've got, we got our second Oh, yeah, birthday. I'm just going to move those oh, out of the way to see the quilt. Oh, I'll think. step back a little bit too. Um, yeah, this, uh, so this is the real version, but the one you see in the book but is, is, the, the, is yes. the virtual version of it. Um, and for ages, I, I couldn't figure out what to do for the border with this. Um, I'd already decided I was going to use all these lovely warm top colours because, yes. you know, I have warm tops, I have cooler ones, I have pale ones, I have more colourful ones in the book. Um, so I was just so stuck for that border. And then I went back to two of the block designs that I'd had in the book. And oh, okay. I used that one oh, in the border. Wow. Yeah. Whoops. And this one here, which is a this is curved log cabin, which is right. very very popular in Japan. Now, what's the difference to a straight curved straight log cabin and a curved one? Then can you not is see? They're not curved. No. Can you I can see, see they're small and they're big. Is that the difference? That's it. That's oh, the okay. difference. It, it gives the optical illusion of a curve. So I use this. Oh, yes, when you put those together as yeah, well. Yeah, when creates, you put them together. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes, yes, so yes. I use those up in the corners <coughs> with this one. Nice. And I, for the sashing, I, I used a, a, a favourite little trick that I do quite often with sashing, where I use a stripey fabric and I fussy cut the stripes and then I arrange them so that the light part is always going up, up on the, the horizontals. And oh, yes, 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 yes. On these, I make sure that the light part's always facing the same way and it gives you the sense that the whole thing's been lit from the top right hand oh, yeah. corner you, you don't so notice now, have it you got art training because that's yeah, I, kind of, oh, I was gonna say that, <laughs> that's like an artist's yeah, kind of perceptive yeah is yeah i, I did fine art at university oh so. see now hannah producer upstairs <laughs> uh, she did fine art oh, at university in Brighton. so it all, all goes back to that um, Th those really are half inch finished squares yes <laughs> um, so not only does it tell you the, the blocks in the book yes. does it tell you how to is that in, is that one in the book yes they're all in the book okay. every single one okay yes. so it tells you how to piece it. Did you do lots of little strips sewn together and then cut them out, subcut them? Or Actually, did no, I didn't for that. I cut them all out individually <gasps> and I arranged them all on my cutting mat. And what I would say with, with these very detailed blocks, don't try and make the blocks two at a time because you'll confuse yourself. Just make the one block. OK. Yeah? The thing is with that, I think I do one mm. block at a time because it's something mm. you can go, I'll make yeah. this block, push it away yeah. until it comes back. Because you're not going to sit down one weekend to try and no. make all those, with, are you? With the simpler ones, usually I'm, I'm working up maybe two blocks at a time. Oh, OK. Um, so, that you know, you, you know, we do chain piecing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so basically I'm, I'm sewing a piece off one block and I'm sewing a piece off the other block. And it means I don't have to have a leader. Yeah. Oh, yes. When, yeah. when I'm chain piecing, so I do that quite a lot. And then, of course, there's, there's a lot of applique on this one as well. I was well. going to say, so, where, so we've got this, this, this one and this one. Yes. Uh, they, and this one, they're pieced, they're pieced blocks, aren't they? They're pieced, they? yeah. But then, yeah. And that one up in the top corner mm -hmm. is a pieced block, isn't yeah. it? So where, what else have you the, got in the here? The way I arranged it, I'm alternating between a pieced block and an applique one. So you've got, um, you know, pieced, 
pieced, pieced. Oh, and I, put, I see. I put four that were pieced with very small pieces running down the middle. Yeah. Um, I know it's a bit difficult to, to see, people who, who get in the book will be able to just look at the picture, yes. but it's a bit difficult to see because the bottom bit of this is kind of cut off a bit by the, yeah. um, by the table. Yes. But I arranged it so that the, the one at the bottom left and the one at the top right look a little bit similar. Ish. And that, yeah, ish, yeah, <laughs> very loosely, yes. you know, similar kind of colours yes, and things. Yeah, yeah. And the one at the bottom um, right and the top left look a little bit similar. Right. Um, and I sort of laid them out in this kind of, with mirroring and rotational symmetry is the best way to describe yeah, yeah, yeah. it. And I find if you're doing um, a sampler quilt, that's actually quite a good way to do it. It's a sort of have something here, reflect something here, something here, oh, reflect something okay. here. Oh, that's good because yeah. if you're new to it, you are making a sampler quilt. So yeah. I would have just had however many there are, one, two, three, mm. four, five, six, however many. Seven, you really have to look at it. So, um, you know, you think, does it look balanced before you yes. saw the pieces together? Oh, no, together? totally. Well, Charlotte Newland, in mm. her garage, she's got one wall covered yeah. in like Velcro or mm -hmm. whatever, some sort of wadding. And yeah. she literally makes all her blocks. Yeah. And then she stands right at that's the other end of the garage and goes, oh, no, it's too dark yeah. up there. Yeah. Or too because not everyone has that, that, that luxury, do they? You've got if no, some people, if they're working in their dining room. <laughs> well, I'll give you a good trick, actually, if, if you do that, is to hang a piece of fabric over your dining room curtains and to pin onto it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes, we've got up the K-Facet design wall, mind you. Oh, you have? You have that. those? Yeah, they're, they're we have amazing. those. So we can, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That kind of thing you can put up temporarily. Yes. And I, I am terrible for clamping something like that to the top of curtains. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, that's a really good idea <laughs> because Roberta, she's got a, one of our viewers, she's got a, yeah. a dresser in her kitchen. All right. And she gets her, yeah. her K-Facet and then pins them all to, over the yeah. side of her dresser. Yeah. And the other thing that I used to do as well when I was you know, planning a big quilt like this, um, I get all my pieces of fabric onto basically my design sheet and I take it up to the bedroom and hang it over the front of the wardrobe overnight. Right. So that when I went to bed at night, it was like the last thing I saw. And then I woke up in the morning and I saw it again. Well, apart and from then, Glyn, you give him a kiss good night. That would have been the last thing you saw. <laughs> It's actually before we got together. I oh, did this okay. Book, so <laughs> it's, it's quite, it's, as I said, it's a little while ago. <laughs> um, and I had two cats at the time, but they, they were very good. They didn't touch it. Right. Um, and it was great because you'd wake up in the morning and you see it completely fresh and you think, actually, that one that there one, yes. should be down there. And, and sometimes it takes a fresh around. eye, doesn't it? You sometimes it you does. just need to glance yeah. and go, oh, actually. Yeah, and there's no harm asking your friends, you know, does this look good here? Or yeah, but then you ignore this, them. Well, yeah, maybe, but. But yeah, no, no, it's good, so it's good, good sometimes come in and go, oh, no, I yeah. like this here and this it, there. Because that is. means you're just actually able to um, diss it if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh, Chris has put our block in here, so you mm. can create all of these. So how many did we say blocks we think we can make at this? 30. About 30 yeah. blocks, depending on, on how much fabric mm. and how you use your fabric. Mm. So you could make about 30 uh, blocks out yeah. of these different fabrics here. I love that, that fabric selection, actually, because it's, it's very much the kind of warm top colours that I was yes. going for in this Yeah, oh, this yes, quilt. you can see that, I think that yes. was the one I, I, I sent to the picture. I said, can you, you know, help me choose some fabrics that yeah. look very much like this? And we've also got some fabrics there with uh, textured. Yes. Yeah, that, that one's got a texture. Well, yes, because when uh, I knew you were coming texture. in yeah. and I saw this bundle yesterday, mm -hmm. I was going, oh, I don't think you'd sashko on these, because I just presumed... <laughs> you thought it was going to be sashko. It was all going to no. be sashko, no. not that we were going to be doing yeah. all of this sort of thing. So yeah. they've got a texture mm. on them. And there's another lovely one down the front with yeah, the darker grey. <laughs> so we probably can't reach that one. There you go, there you go. There yeah, there so you've go. got three textures. You and see, they'd look lovely. They'd fabulous, yeah, they would. And when I, I made the blocks, I used those fabrics very much for things like the backgrounds, the applique blocks. Yes. You see the one on here? This is the one that you've, you've made up right. again. Right, I'm going to oh. move away Oops. from that one. Oh, now yeah. this is the inspiration for our one. It is, is it? the inspiration for yours. Yours has got four blocks, this has got five. Right. Um, and you see, I've used one of those sort of textured fabrics for the background, which is really lovely. And then I picked up slightly brighter colours. Oh, yes, because you've done each one with the same fabric in the, in the in background. In the background, yeah. And I've, I've actually lined up all the stripe as well, so, so oh, way down. Yeah. oh blimey! <laughs> so all of these, yeah, are blocks within this book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All and of all those. of them, the whole are, project is in the book. Uh, oh wow! <laughs> but then, but then now, does you see yes. on here? Well, mm -hmm. this one here is obviously yes. like a Dresden, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. I've got a few that are sort of Dresden plate type of designs. But again, then, they're all Japanese. Crafts. This one here, you yes. wouldn't think th this one. I think as oh, that's a block. Yeah. Because that's a yeah. Dresden sort of thing. But then mm -hmm. this one here, yeah. it's just like an art, a piece of art, really. Yeah, that it's, one, it's a little it? Japanese fan on top of a little hexagonal box. Um, the, that style of box in Japan, it was actually used for um, clamshells. They have this clamshell matching game that's been played since about the ninth century. It's like a, a courtly game. Oh, okay. Because, you know, if, if you have two halves of a clamshell, only the same two halves will go back together and they paint little scenes inside. Oh, and my It's a kind word. of snap. They're all put face yeah. down. 
and you have to guess, you know, oh, do they go? No, they don't. Um, so that is actually the container for that game. And this is the end of a Japanese drum. Now, oh, I said yeah, it probably makes it now. total I sense. It now, yes. And then we have a ship's anchor. And then at the bottom, I've got, um, they're actually That's supposed to be, anchor. yeah, they're supposed to be cherry blossoms at the bottom, but they're kind of growing up, which um, kind of looked pretty cute, really. But I put those together, yes, as a, so as now, a wall hanging. Um, the, the, I, said, I said earlier, oh, mm -hmm. look at the different fabrics you've yes. used for the... We've got, a, we've got a, a solution for that, I mean, like the bias fabrics. I mean, this is, oh, yes, this we is, have. This yes. is our version of yeah. it here. That's lovely. Now, this is, we've used different blocks, obviously, because yeah. we've used the, we used the bundle, not this bundle mm. here, the sh shorter bundle over there. You've got that one. <laughs> now, is that a tamari ball? No, it's a, it's a summer fan. It's a fan. Oh, OK. But because mm. we've got, we have Japanese printed fabric. That a lot yeah, of them have with tamari balls, balls on, on them, them. And they look a little bit similar. That's the summer fan. And that's like the ribs of the, the fan. That would have um, bamboo going all the way through oh, behind right. the paper. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a, a fan. So we've made this one mm -hmm. from our three metre yeah. bundle over there. Mm -hmm. And very similar reds that you picked up on in that one as well. It's nice, really nice. Nice, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. So anyway, so ours has got the, the gold... Um, We've got that gold bias mm, in there to, to help you do really that. That is really nice. Everything. Really nice, the gold. You do get a packet of gold bias. In fact, you'd have plenty of gold bias left over because you get five metres in a packet. There's not five metres in there. It goes a long so. way as well, the bias tape. Mm -hmm. the, the bias that I used in the original book, unfortunately, it's been discontinued now, the shaded one. So oh, yes, because that's all we were talking that. about there. No, yeah, but I've got to... I've got to but I've you, got you to, have the gadget. I've got a gadget. I'm not quite this, sure where it is. It. Oh, it's here um, behind me. Yeah, there's, can there's, I show that now? Yeah, there's a fab little gadget you can get. You can make your own bias tape. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's here. That's it. That, that, that is the item. Um, I have one of these at home, actually. And what, what you do is you cut the strip to the width that it tells you, because you can get them for different widths. Right. Um, but you cut the, the strip of fabric to the width that you need. And then you, you kind of run it through the, the tape maker. So it's like, so it's like and a, press it. Yeah, but it's, it's like a normal bias binding maker, but it just yeah. looks a bit different to me. Yeah, it, it produces the very narrow bias tape. And you, you can actually do it so that the, the fusible tape, the, this is basically like narrow strips of bonder web kind of yes. stuff, you know, or steamer seam. Um, and as you make the tape, that runs in and you, you're creating it all in one go. So, but you have to be careful though. Because this is mm. this is fusible, isn't it? Yes. You don't when you're making when you're ironing the end of this, you don't want to be ironing that at the same time, do you? Because when you you when you, you do bond... actually you you, you, you iron the two together, but there's like a paper backing on the tape. Oh, there's paper on both yeah. sides. Paper so, on both sides. Yeah. So it's it's got all the instructions yeah. on here. I, I have one of these, and they, they really are great because it then means that you can you can choose one of your fabrics, and you can make the bias tape to coordinate. With okay, the just fabric. go to this one, Jesse, yeah. here as well, because mm -hmm. this is the one when we saw this one this morning. <laughs> And I said, um, batik, you could use a, one of the batiks You to do could that. use a batik. And at the moment, there's a lot of these kinds of um, shaded ombre fabrics around again. Yes. It's, it's one of those things in patchwork. It always seems to go in a bit of a cycle. Um, about 15 years ago, there were a whole range of, of really beautiful fabrics where they shaded across the fabric. Yes. Well, and I, then you couldn't get for a while. In the 70s, oh, when yeah, I used to go to Brown to Chester to have my hair done, Paul, the boy who cut my hair, used to have a, a jumper yeah. that had an aeroplane on it. It started off light blue and yeah. got dark blue all the yeah. other way around, I think, because yeah. the ombre was yeah. so trendy. Well, right? it's kind of back in at the moment for patchwork fabrics, and there's a few oh. different ranges around that actually do this ombre shading, either going from pale to dark on the other side, or they're actually changing from one colour to another. So if you had that kind of fabric in your stash, you could, you could get a very similar right. effect to that, really. But even if you did want that effect, you could use your favourite fabric, one yeah. from the one. From, yeah. I wouldn't use a textured one. I'd use one of the, the no, flat cottons. No, I would use one of the, fa the flatter ones. And like you were saying, you know, batiks are yeah. very, very nice for making bias tape from. They're they're just fantastic. So yeah, I mean, there's, okay. Well. So they get. Oh, look at that, 1849. So you get what you get. You get the fusible yeah, bias tape and the bias that maker. Excellent, actually. Slightly different to our normal bias mm. binding makers, aren't they? Uh, 18 pounds and 49 pence. 20 meters, oh, 20 meters in there, you can make 20 meters. Oh, there's mm. a 20 meters of tape on there then. Yeah, 20 meters of tape. Wow, so you, that, that's going to keep you going for a long time. Well, when you say that, we did, we did, <laughs> we did, uh, Angie did uh, um, like a, a small wall hanging like that, mm -hmm. and that used five meters of, oh, really? you used one of these up in one, in wow. one go. So it's surprising how much wow. you do. These, these designs don't actually use quite as much of that. No. They're just using little pieces of it. Exactly. Um, and it's, it's really, really easy to do. The, the tip I would give you, if you're going to use bias tape, yeah. if you've either got a little travel iron, 
Yes. Or one of those, um, it's like a little mini iron that Clover makes. Clover the adapter. Yeah, P yeah. Part two. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I've, I've got the original one, and I must admit, the, the original one, they, they withdrew it from sale because there was a bit, didn't have a guard on it. Well, I was going to say, this one's got mm. a big guard on it. And it's got a big guard on it, so you. you can't burn yourself. So if you were used to using something like a soldering iron, you were fine, but if you didn't, and you touched that front bit, yes. Ooh, nasty, no. yes. But it's, it's great for buyer's tape. I, I don't actually find the, um, the little clover mini iron very good for other things. No, no, that's but for buyers I, I, tape, doll it's making. fantastic. It's, it's oh, doll making, doll making. Oh, really? Like that. So oh, for miniatures work, yes. Anything yeah. that's small Anything, and detailed. And little flowers. Yeah. Because you can buy a ball yeah. thing to go on it. Mm. But we've got then the next one up, which is our, uh, they call it uh, our mini iron, which would, yeah. be, per which would be perfect. Yeah, um, it's great. If you don't want to make your own, sorry to jump, oh, if you don't want to make <laughs> your own, we've got these tapes, yeah. uh, these bias uh, tapes available yeah. on by packets on their own. Remember in the table run of this, you get the gold one in 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 this in, in this colourway. It looks lovely. You with automatically that gold. get the gold one, and in the blue colourway, you get the silver one. But if you want to buy them separately, I've got them separately here. Mm -hmm. So, gold first of all, nine forty nine. You get five meters on there. Wow. That, but yeah, you say, well, because you've just used little mm. bits there, but yeah. if you do a whole picture of it, right? Because stained mm -hmm. glass window, that the five meters goes quite quickly. Mm. I've also got it in silver. That's nice. Just like the graphics. There you go. Nice, isn't it? Now, would you use silver good. on yours, do you think? I didn't, your... I didn't actually use any metallics on mine, right. but I must admit, with, the, if with a lot of Japanese fabrics do have metallics on them. Yes. If that's your thing, yeah. then it would look lovely picking up with the metallics. Oh, yes, because we have a lot of like koi carp fabric and yeah. Japanese, um, like the yeah. boards that's got a, a, a metallic thread mm -hmm. running through it, just decorating yeah. it and everything, so that'd be nice. And then I've also got it in black. Oh, I'm getting loads of lovely comments and the lovely oh, show. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm so pleased by that. Oh, Fiona likes your pendant. Oh. What is it? Oh, this. Actually, it was a, it was a present from user Sashko Guild. I don't know if you can zoom in on that at all. No, oh, maybe yes, not. Look. Just... There you are. Yeah. And if I turn it over. Hang on, let's see. Just go. Oh, sorry, oh. sorry. Oh, there we go. I'll turn it over at the back. And it's got their little, they have a little label that they put on things. It's my, it's my friend Sashko Group. They gave it oh, when I was in Japan. Oh, lovely. Mm, so I said, I'll wear it when I go on the TV. Oh, <laughs> and is it, is so, it stitched? It's stitched. It's stitched. Oh. Yeah, it's just done over. Um, you can get these little plastic Well, no, discs. you see, Mandy Shaw, do you know Mandy ah, Shaw? She's just yes. come back from Japan. She was at the quilt yes. festival as All well. Right. But she came back from Japan and she makes this quilt with lots of little girls in their beds and their yeah. faces yeah. are that shape like discs. Ah, the little discs, yeah, yeah, you can get and them And she over. could only get them in Japan. Yeah, I know, I haven't anywhere here. Sorry, I'll I'll do I'll... Sorry about that. <laughs> but you could, you could use something like um, a flat button. You know, oh, yes, yes, like a cover dumb, button Yeah, top, something yeah. like that. And then just cover a piece of card for the yeah. back and gather it around. Just a tiny little bit of, of Sashka, yeah. that's all it is. And it doesn't it's knock really on your microphone like proper jewellery does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, so and now tell me the blue hair. Now well, we know each other. <laughs> the blue hair. Um, well, when I was a student, I had blue hair for a bit. Not for very long. And okay. I, and I did it. It was a DIY job and it used to come off on everything it came from the pillows it came from is the it scarves. crazy color is it crazy color it was in those days yeah. yeah and it just didn't stick and i always used to say oh you know when when my hair starts going gray i'm going to go blue again oh okay <laughs> and so I, at one stage i had these two sort of really freaky um sort of bride of frankenstein streaks. oh streak of Ma Ma no malin streak do you remember that on the telly the well, it's a bit streak. like that but yeah. it, it grew like that naturally and um a couple of years ago i just i just got so fed up with this i'm going to go and get it done blue but i get it done by a fantastic guy in cooper angus um, in, Scot oh, is that Scotland? Yes, yeah, it's, it's where we live in Scotland. Okay. We, we live near Cooper Angus, and um, yeah, every time I go in to see him, he's got he's done something different with his hair. It's just Isn't amazing. Like um, but the the colour that he puts in, it's an Italian colour, and of course the dyes all stripped, the natural colour stripped out. We will but get back to the Japanese we will get back to in a, a minute, moment. But, no, no. but seriously, it doesn't come off on anything, and it's very permanent. Oh no, only because I used to have hair that colour as well really? when, I, when I was yeah. at, when I I went for my first teaching practice, yeah. and they were like, "That's got to yeah. go." I, I love blue, but you'd never guess that, would you? Anyway, 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 where should we go? Back to these. Back to this, back, back to, this. to this. The book is nearly sold out, just so you know. The book oh, is nearly right. sold out. Uh, let's look at more of your blocks that you've made yeah, from the sure. book. Yeah, oh, sure. Could, could I show you? Because quite a lot you of them. You can do what you like. Do what you like. Sure, Lovely. Sure. Um, quite a few of them have got little embroidery details on them. Well, let's have a look at those. Yeah. Let me move um, these. So it's, it's not really, it's not really Sashko because I'm, sometimes I'm using, like here, I'm using stem stitch. Right. For this detail here on the, the little fan one. I don't know if you can see that But you could, you, you could well. use Sashko on them, couldn't you? You could. You could just do it with little running stitches. I mean, this. This block here, which is um, 
Oops, I'm trying to put them go. in place where, where the yeah, camera can see them. The, the cherry blossom one, you see that's got tiny little stitches down the middle of the leaves, which are oh, more like yeah. sashko stitches. Oh, yeah, now they stitches. do look like sashko stitches, yeah. don't they? But I just used uh, number 12 perle. Oh, okay. Shaded ones for that, so it looked really quite pretty. Um, so we have quite a few of those. And I also went a bit crazy with making yo-yos. Say that again. Yo-yos. Yeah. Oh, Suffolk yeah. puffs. Suffolk puffs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, There's I, different I, names for everything, are There is. There? I yeah. think the Americans call them yo-yos, and traditionally we call them Suffolk puffs. Yes. But of course, internationally they're known as, as yo-yos now. Oh, okay. Well, um, I have to become yo-yo then. Because they're, they're, a yo-yo is a very convenient thing to pop in the middle in a mistake of, you mean. A, well no but it, it hides all the messy bits <laughs> um in the middle of something but, but it's like tradition a, isn't it to put something in this in the middle yeah, of it's a, just pretty. a um dresden plate yeah, anyway, isn't it? Yeah, when you buy the is. dresden yeah. plate creative grids there's a circular mm. thing yeah. well. over there so I, did, so I did a few oh these. look i've mm. not seen one like that what this like the scallopy edge oh really the, the, again, these are all Japanese traditional family crest designs. So is that so is these that are all variations turned? on chrysanthemums. Yeah, that was needle turned. End. Because yeah. what you normally do on, on one of this one is you sew, you stitch that, down. Yeah, and, that, and that one is done that way. It's yeah. it's it's folded at the end. You, you stitch down it and then you press it out. Yeah. Right. So that's how this this one's done. Okay. Um, but this one was done with needle turn. But all of these pieces, of course, they're, they're all sewn together first. Have you done them now? Do you do them by machine? I do them by machine. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I like my machine. Uh, uh, Marcy's going to kill me again. So I've got the lady. There's a famous lady who puts her quilting. She's mm -hmm. Japanese, and she yes. puts them on. Um, Facebook of her yes. doing the log cabin mm -hmm. and it's all done by hand yeah. and, and Marcia loves it because she just did a quilt yeah. for her husband's birthday and hand quilted the whole thing. A, a lot of Japanese quilters do piece by hand. They, all the pieces they do, done they by do. hand. But, but she's fast. She, goes, uh, and, yeah. she does it like Seshko. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she no, puts it together like Seshko. Well, like that, that. that is like your traditional Japanese way of stitching running stitch. Oh, okay. Actually. And it's the way that kimono is sewn. So yeah, it does go incredibly quickly. Um, yeah. But I, I do like my machine. I yes. Have to admit. Oh no, no, no. But there's nothing wrong. There's nothing because uh, we all do it mm. for our own pleasure. So yeah. if you like machining and then finishing off by yeah. hand, then do it that way. Well, before true. before I went to work in Japan, I was like 100% a machine person. Right. You know, show me an overlocker or an industrial sewing machine. That was me. Yes. Um, and I didn't really get started with the hand sewing until I learned to sew kimono at my neighbor's kimono shop. And it, it was that, that 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 got me actually doing hand sewing and things. And it, if I'd realised that that sewing kimono didn't involve a sewing machine, I would never have asked them to teach me. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, back to these. Uh, no, no, have we, have I, was say, I was going to say, because my very first, one of my first, uh, it was while I was still at Wimbledon, one yeah. of my first jobs is I had to make a, 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 a dress for Takiri Takanawa for a TV mm -hmm. series called Understanding Opera. And it was made with pleated fortuny silk from the 1920s. Wow. And it was a kimono style, but all hand stitched. And I had to hand stitch oh, every single thing. It wouldn't have lasted a run. It was just for a one-off filming. Yeah. And then she went for a photo shoot for Vogue with it. But that Gosh. would have been it because the fabric was so... But that I had to literally beautiful. sit there, stitchy. And it was that was all on braid as mm. well. It was just beautiful. Fabulous. Uh, now, I need to just go through we just, these. We'll just push through these again. Yeah. Right, OK. Now, is this all I've got left? Must be. Ooh. Right, anything that's less than 10 metres, I'm not showing you. So these are the only ones with 10 metres, or well, yeah. fabrics-wise. Mm -hmm. Solid colours. Well, these would be, oh. These They're perfect are, for it, actually. These would be beautiful, yeah. wouldn't they? They would be. So I've got three colours with less. Mm. The other colours may be on the website still, but there's less than 10 metres of all yeah. of them. So it's not really worth showing you because more of you will come in and just yeah. whisk them off. So I've got this one here, mm -hmm. which is dark grey. Mid grey, no, mm. not dark grey, mid grey. Mid grey, yeah. Mid -grey. It has a slightly bluish touch so to that one. It's how did you isn't it? choose? Because you've chosen these mm. colours, haven't you? How did you choose the six colours? I just picked my favourite ones. <laughs> okay, but they come in all sorts of shades. They do do some other shades in these as well. I'm trying to remember what they are at the moment, um, but they they do do a couple of others. There's a rusty coloured one and a few others that are in that right. range as well. Yeah. Yeah, the range every now and again it sort of changes very slightly, but these the ones I've picked are sort of the classic colours that exactly. I really really love and oh, I use quite beautiful, a lot. Aren't they? They uh, are. None none of these are in the bundles that we've done. The bundles no, are all made of our quilting weight yeah. cottons. These were just from the first mm -hmm. hour that matched the sashko panels. Yes. Uh, but but you think they'd work in there? They'd, they'd be perfect. They'd be beautiful, wouldn't they? Beautiful. So that's nine ninety nine. That's mid grey. Now mm -hmm. this is obviously sold by the half meter. Let me show you. This yeah. is sold by the half meter. So this piece here is your half meter. You do get a good big piece because it's was it one hundred and ten centimeters wide. Yeah. This one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You so go. that's your nine ninety nine. Mm. There. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now it's kind of how would you describe it? It's because because it's not. 
It's an open weave, really, isn't it, that one? It's, it's not... It's got a... I have to put my specs on for this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a slightly lower thread count than most patchwork fabrics. Actually, the, the, the thread count on this is more similar to the background fabrics that I've used for a lot of the applique pieces yeah. in, the, um, in the Torps book. And it's got a tiny little slob in it. Now, as I was saying before, the Japanese word for this is samugi, yeah. um, which really, it really means spun. Yes. Um, oh, I thought it was woven. No, sorry, I said I that wrong. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's okay. Um, it really means it's, it's spun. And when you have a silk samugi, it's spun from like the waist part of the silk cocoon. It's not, um, it's not the real silk. It's the bit that, um, I suppose, it's... it was, it, it, Yeah, it's leftovers. But that's why but, it would have a lovely slub in it. And that's why it's a lovely slub in it. And the, and the weird thing with silk samugi is, although it's, it's using the outer part of the cocoon that isn't as valuable as the inner part of the cocoon, yeah. Because there's a lot more handwork involved in producing samugi, because yeah. a, a silk samugi has to be hand spun. I mean, obviously, this, this cotton one's done by yeah. machine. Um, because it takes so much handwork, the price of the fabric is whew, oh, absolutely, I can yeah, I really can sky imagine. high. Um, yeah, you can, you can. I'm going to change the colour now mm. from the mid grey to mm. the black now. The black's gorgeous. It, it's the little slobs in it is what I really like. And in Japanese, it, it's called hige. Um, so this would be, you class it as hige samugi, yeah. and hige means hairy. <laughs> It's got Hairy? Little, yeah, it's oh, got little okay. hairs on it. And how do they dye? Is it yarn dyed? Yeah, it's, it's yarn dyed, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's oh, just yeah, beautiful. Oh, yeah, Marcy said yarn dyed fabric's very difficult to get hold of in the UK, Marcy. It is, so. it is. Um, oh, sh it's oh. one of the things that Olympus is just fantastic for. They produce such beautiful quality mm. fabrics. Really, really lovely. Feels lovely, mm. doesn't it? It is. Oh, uh, uh, there was um, a message got, there, Hannah, the for me to read, sorry. Oh, sorry. From Sean. Mm hmm Oh, okay. Uh, Sean, I don't understand that question. We'll do it in a minute, Sean, for you, my love. I've uh, moved to blue now. In, uh, oh, sorry, that was ink black there. That was inky black. And then yeah. this is indigo, this mm. one. And it's a really black black. It's, it is. It's well, if you, if, if you see the blue and the black yeah. together, because sometimes you can't tell the difference between the two, but no, they're you, definitely. You really do so see this difference. is your black, and then that's your indigo blue. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Oops. Take the specs off. <laughs> so your blue graphics coming in. Now you can really see the slub in that oh, you one, can. can't you? Yeah, yeah. I think that, that blue, oh, I've, I've used yards and yards and yards of that over the years for different things. It must be, di must be difficult mm. to know when to stop, really, when you're over there. Do you go, <laughs> do you go over with, like, two empty suitcases and well, come back? Well, yeah, this, this time we did bring back quite a bit of stuff um, with us. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. It's, it's just a way of making sure you actually so get it. this is your whole career now then it's, it I mean, is because yeah. you obviously were a teacher you were an artist and you were yeah. a teacher but yeah. this is it now this is this this is what i do this is, this is my full-time my full-time job how lovely though to do to be yeah. able to do a job yeah so i teach i teach patchwork i teach quilting i teach sashko and i've, I've got sashko courses running actually I mean, yesterday i was teaching at stockton on tees because i have a, a monthly class there oh great and actually the students from that we're, we're doing an exhibition can I, can I plug our exhibition? You do. I can. Plug away. Oh, lovely. Um, we're, we're doing um, an exhibition in Stockton on Tees on the 20th of July, and it's going to be in All Saints Church in Hartburn. Um, a little bit close to the time, you know, check on my website and you'll, you'll get all the info. Well, you've got a website? What's your I have website? got a website, just susanbriscoe.com or susanbriscoe.co.uk. So they Google I've got, I've got you, both they'll find you. Just Google me, I'm so easy to find. Um, it's <laughs> just, just go untrue. blue hair, you'll get there. Yeah, Chance says, morning, so easy. John. Fantastic show, beautiful quilt, and Susan is fascinating to oh, listen to. Oh, thank you. Uh, How please the layers are quilted together. What, what? How the layers are quilted together, yeah, say? Right, jump oh, ahead, all right. <laughs> I could read it over your shoulder. Please get <laughs> Susan explain how the layers are quilted together. Well, actually, for, for, for this quilt, and for the quilt I had on before, and for this one here, yeah. um, they were all just hand quilted, and they're just layered up. They're, they're not done with anything like um, quilt as you go or anything like no, that. No, 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 no. So let's this, get this, this, is, this is a little quilt that I had in the book. Oops, there we go. Um, the book's sold out completely. Oh, has sold it? Out completely. We're, has we're it? already on the phone to we try and get more. But right. So, so you literally do I, I the just, block. Oh, these are sashko. I, I, I just layered it up the normal way that you would do. That Technically, they're not really sashko because I'm, I've stitched through the wadding. You know, with sashko, you don't normally oh, stitch oh, through okay. the wadding. Oh, OK, so those are done so after. That is, that is actually hand quilting, just normal hand quilting. Right. So you've done Westerly Ruler. <laughs> By hand, really? Um, no, well, I, actually, it was done with a paper template. It's the same as one of the blocks that we've got somewhere underneath it. Is it that one there? I'll show you. Yeah, I used, ooh, I used that block design 
That's my quilting motif. Okay, so let's just so, mm -hmm. so you've made these. This is a block. This yeah. is a block. Yeah. This is a block. I'll try and then get you just that. put plain nine-inch squares. Yeah, they're, in between. They're, they've actually got a slight plaid. They're a little bit similar to one of the fabrics that we've got in the bundle. But they um, would at the, at the start. They were just plain. Then you made yeah. your quilt sandwich. Then I made my quilt sandwich. And, and then, then I went and quilted these big stitch. I used a shaded pearl thread so yeah. it really stand out. Um, and I have to, I've got to go back and add a lot more quilting to this, you know, because apart from that... But there's no had, quilting in these. I know, I had to finish it in a hurry for the book. So what I did, so it would look okay in the photos, yeah. I just quilted in the ditch around all the blocks. O on machine or by hand? By hand. Oh, by hand. Oh, the by whole thing? Yeah, it's all by hand. This I time. mean, you could do it on machine if you wanted to. Yeah, because the, the table runner and the, um, well, there's two table runners actually. There's that one. Well, I think this more than wall hanging. And there's this table runner here. These, these two are machine quilted. Oh, okay. Yeah, the whole so, thing's done yeah, on the machine. The whole thing was machine quilted for this. And that's a. That, no oh, there's, oh, I see, because there's your nine inch block there. Yeah. And then yeah. you put a border. Yeah, I just put border with little strips. Mm. So that's all machine quilted. This one I machine quilted. This little piece here, because I wanted to do the big, the big stitch yeah. for these chrysanthemum blocks, um, I decided no, I'll do it all by hand, but I do have to go back and add a little bit more quilting to it. And it's all right to add a button to it. Yeah, then, I just there? thought I'd put some little buttons on because they, they look kind of cute. So I just tied the middle of the blocks. It was kind of a temporary measure, really. Okay, so is your <laughs> house completely filled yeah. with all of these? Yeah. Um, Marcy's, Marcy's <laughs> How could you guess? How could you guess? <laughs> I could just guess. Uh, oh, have a look. This, this is, uh, oh, I forgot to read this. It's small writing. Thank you so much, Sean Quarter, for showing a little bit about the Japanese world of a PK needle oh, turn. Oh, yeah. I fell in yeah. love with it when I first saw Yoko. Oh, there you go. Yoko That's Saito. the lady you message, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what's a B-O-M? Block of the month. Oh, block of the month, thank you. In, in the a magazine. magazine. Since then, I'm yeah. completely obsessed with Japanese quilts and bags, especially mm. yarn dyed fabrics. The first photo is what I'm working on at the moment another Yoko Saito. Yeah, you're uh, pattern. Thanks, yeah. Susan Sand Quarter, for bringing this wonderful world to us. Yesterday, I posted three Aww. videos about Tokyo International Great Fit. Oh, and yes, John, I already have the Susan book. It's amazing. Oh, Love that's Marcia. Nice. Yeah. Um, Yoko Saito's work is absolutely amazing. And when I started work on the Torps book, I, I did look a lot at her work for inspiration. I mean, my, my block designs are more traditional than her. She does lots of little cute houses and plique and things yes, like, like that. Yes, like Marcia's options, yeah, yeah. they? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, I haven't finished going through mm, these yet. Sorry. Oh, no, yes. no, 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 it was Sean, it was Sean <laughs> You've got to switch up. Us. Ooh, um, that, we've, done, we've done that, haven't we? You know, now you put that on top of here, it kind of goes. Doesn't it? Say that again, Hannah. Oh, yeah, these are three Sashko panels that we started with at the nine o'clock show mm -hmm. today. Uh, now, these are very... The red one sold out completely. Yeah. The navy blue is sold out completely. So I've now got here mid-grey. Now, these... If you weren't watching the early show, these are panels... Yes. ...with Sashko designs already printed on already them. Already printed on them. The, the, the printing will wash out when you finish right. doing your sashiko. So don't get them wet. Yeah, so don't get them wet to start off with. And you can cut them up and make them into different things, or you can stitch it as a whole panel. You know, if you stitch it as a whole panel and you don't want the outlines in, just don't stitch them. And then um, wash it afterwards and they'll come out. Will it only come out with the wash? It won't come out with hot, sweaty hands? No, it only comes out in the wash. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that means, so the, no, this isn't going to run colour. No, so, no But they if don't. you They're use great. a coloured thread, you're going to have to check that it's a colour fast thread, aren't you? Sashko threads are okay, they, they don't run. Well, don't the one we've got is cream anyway, 102. Yeah, exactly, the one we've got is cream. I'll show you that in a second. Um, even the coloured ones don't. Oh, okay. By Olympus, they're very, they're very colour fast. Brilliant. So that's mm. 24.99, so it's 60 centimetres by 110 centimetres. 24.99, there's eight main, main uh, icons, no, what are these called? Patterns. Come on, and then the come on, they're Japanese family crests. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. And then eight of the little ones there yeah. as well. Okay. Then I've only got two other colours here. Yeah, I've got black got and the, I've got grey. You've got the grey. And, you know, it's funny, now that you're putting them on top of this quilt, you can probably see why I chose... Yes. Oh, yes, totally. This oh, colour and this colour. Yeah. yeah, they are just perfect. And this one here, then. Yeah. This is the grey yeah. one. Yeah. In fact, I've, I've got a sample of, of this at home, and I, I want to stitch it, and I want to combine it with some top blocks. I've only got 26 mm -hmm. of these left now. 26, this is called grey, but it's, it's not grey, is it? It's, it's not, I, I always think of this one as top, but the, yes. in the catalogue they call it grey. Yeah. So. Well, no, we have to go with what they call it. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, you see, it, it just makes more grey on the telly, but in real it life... It does look more grey on the telly. It coordinates beautifully with this yeah. little quilt, though, which has got touches of the blue in it as well. Yes. Of the, of the well, the one they call dark grey, I think, yeah? Yeah. And then last but not least is the black one. Now, you see, mm. I'd be tempted to do this with a different colour. Oh, well, I'm going to do mine in red. Oh, I was about to say that. <laughs> oh, this is a bit frightening. You and I are a bit too much alike. <laughs> That, that is my plan, actually, for next week, as I've, I've, I've got this panel and I'm actually going to stitch mine in red. Okay. And then yeah. what are you going to make with it? 
I'm not sure yet. <laughs> okay. I haven't decided. So now, would you, will you do all of them while it's still in one piece, or will you cut them down and... Um, I will probably cut them down because I think it's most likely that I'm going to use them and incorporate some patchwork blocks with them. Like, so like, like, yeah. oh, not like so, when, so when, I, when I cut them, I usually, um, I zigzag the edge on the sewing machine. Yeah. Or I use one of those sort of overlocking stitches, like two steps forward, two to the side, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. um, I, do, I do have a proper overlocker, but at the moment it's in for servicing, so I can't use that. I have okay. to use one of the, of the so sewing machine. So how big is your workroom at home then? Tiny. No. It's, it's really, the house is absolutely, it's full of stuff. It's, um, my, my workroom is only about 11 feet square, and we live in a very old cottage in Scotland. Um, so we've got one of those dormer roof arrangements on it yeah so about half the room you, you can't really walk around in it the ceiling is incredibly low as well it's only just above the door frames it's only just about six foot oh, three high okay. ceiling um so it's it's a really tiny it's got a tiny room but it's got a great view yeah um but sometimes a, that's yeah husband, but a couple of years ago my husband said you know he said you, you, you haven't got enough room in that room he said why don't we swap the rooms around so we're actually going to move me into what is the living room and move our downstairs guest bedroom up into my workroom. Oh my goodness. And then um, the downstairs guest bedroom, we're going to knock it through in the hall and we're going to turn that into the new living room. Oh. But I, so I, why Scott? Because neither of you are Scottish, are you? No, no. It's again. Well, that was the no, no, no. No, 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 we're not. But we just love it up there. Oh, well, that's um, fantastic. Do you live out in the wilds? Not really. We're actually only two miles out of, of the nearest town, Santa. Oh, okay. So it's, oh, no, but it's um, nice then, isn't but it? But it, it does, it feels rural. It's, it's just gorgeous. Um, my husband would already got a job up there, actually, when we got together. So, although I'd known him for, for many, many years, yeah. actually, in North Wales. So it just seemed logical for me to move up there. And I had a lot of friends in Scotland. I do a lot of teaching in Scotland. I, I just, I love it up there. It's fantastic. Oh, that's perfect, yeah. And we're, we're in an area where there's a lot of arty people as well. We have the Perthshire Open Studios. There's a lot of arts and crafts things in the area. Yeah. So it, if you're interested in anything you make with your hands, it's a good place to be. Fantastic. Right. How am I doing time? Oh, it fainted. <laughs> Something just fell off the wall. Uh, how am I doing time-wise, Jesse? Oh, I've got to go. Got to go. What? Um, thank you ever so much. It's been an well, absolute thank you. It's been fab. delight. Mm. And the fact that we're so similar is terrifying me, but that's by the way. <laughs> um, I'll leave you to tidy up because I need to take this that's and okay. this and this. Yeah. Bye then. Well, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, when am I going to see? When, we, when am I going to see this? Ooh, when, when are we going to see? see next? When am I going to come to show next? Well, we were just talking about it actually. It looks like it might be the end of June because I have a new book out at the end of June. But Clang. it's it's not patchwork. It's it's a kind of sashka called Coggin. and the book is going to be called the Ultimate Coggin Collection. We're just we're finishing the editing Coggin? at the Coggin. Coggin. Is that Japanese? Yep. Yep. It's Coggin. Japanese. It comes from the far far north of, of Japan, um, and it's the counted version of sashka. Oh, that's really good because you mm. can claim that against your tax because it's research, isn't it? Another <laughs> holiday in Japan. I know these things. All right, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Right, where am I going? Book sold out. Book sold out. Sampler quilt in the taupe here in the gorgeous browns and creams. Six metres of fabric, 62.99. Get half a metre of each of the fabrics. So you could make about 30 blocks as this, depending on, well, it depends on what you do and how you use the fabric. But you get half a metre of all these gorgeous fabrics. It's a mixture of um, um, bijou, solid colours and your textured fabrics in here. And then you've got your lovely uh, moda there as well. All of that, six metres of fabric, £62.99. pence. Blue bundle. This one's very different because it's blue, I suppose. Half a meter of each. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> this is very different. Blue. Uh, gorgeous colours. You get your plains, your plaids, your Japanese um, waves, your dandelions, your vases, your Riviera uh, linear, your florals, and then your. Uh, oh, this is Australian, this one. £64.49. Now, if you like this, I'll get told off for holding it that way, but I'm not moving out to the middle again. If you love this, you can make this. That sideways, remember everyone, sideways. It's bit, I think it's better as a wall hanging than a, um, a table runner myself, but there you go, that goes there. Uh, if you want that, we've actually made the bundle to make that three metres of fabric. You get a metre of the linen look uh, Macau fabric there. Then you get half a metre of the red, half a metre of the moda, and then you have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful prints here. £47.99. Now you're also getting that, oh, I've put it here. Yeah, there you go. The wadding and the gold uh, bias tape and everything, £47.99. Uh, and then uh, the blue one, 
the blue one. Obviously, these are all taken from the book. So if you've got the book, these are what you need these for, really. Uh, you've got a metre of the... Uh, it's kind of a um, tealy blue. Not tealy. What, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. What colour am I trying to say there? That blue. And then half a metre of all the others. So you get to... Th petrol, thank you. Petrol blue. Uh, plus your silver uh, bias on that one. Plus your thread. £47.99. and pence. Right, oh, it's covered. Uh, don't forget, we're coming back with the So Special. Then we've got, oh, I've got some lovely, you know those um, unicorn scissors we had? They're back in stock. I know! And those really, really good value pink and blue ones, they're back in stock. I'll see you in five minutes from now. We've turned two, and to celebrate, we're giving you the chance to win an array of fabulous prizes every single day during our huge second birthday event, taking place from the 7th to the 12th of February. We've got fantastic bundles for sewers and quilters of all abilities, with hampers from June Taylor and thread boxes from the like of Madeira and Mettler, as well as all the storage and books you need for 2019. To enter our daily competitions, all you have to do is make a purchase at Sewing Quarter via our TV auction or online. You can also enter for free. Simply head over to our website and click on the web banner to find out more info. We've also got daily sew specials that include the brand new Sewing Quarter Aurafil thread box. So make sure you tune in every day from Thursday the 7th to Tuesday the 12th of February, only on Sewing Quarter. Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687 or watch online at www.sewingquarter.com We've got some exciting news. Sewing Quarter are delighted to announce that we now have our very own app. Available for download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, You'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter live 24 hours a day and purchase all the products on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sewing Quarter on the move. So a big happy birthday to the Sewing Quarter channel. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Hi, it's Lynette Anderson here from Australia and I'm just here to wish you a really happy birthday to Sewing Quarter. Hi, I'm Victoria Pete, and here are my top tips. My first tip is when dressmaking is to wash your fabrics. As soon as you get home or as soon as it arrives in the post, stick it in the wash. Wash it as you would do with the finished garment. Get it ready so that when you're ready to sew, you're ready to go. My next tip is posture. When you're sitting at your sewing machine, particularly when you're doing something like quilting, pay attention to how you're sitting in the chair, because quite often when you're really concentrating on quilting, you have a tendency to hunch, and before you know it, you'll end up with a bad back. So my last tip is to not sew when you're tired. So many times I've sewn when I'm tired and I make mistakes, and you find yourself unpicking or wasting fabric. Sew when you're nice, ready and fresh. 
On Monday, the 11th of February, we can't wait to show you our creative new twist on the popular Bargello quilt designed by our very own Jane Alcock. And we are thrilled to present the incredible new k Classic quilt designed exclusively for Sewing Quarter. We've also got two hours of simply beautiful hand stitching with our very own stitching queen, Jane Greenoff. This magical day concludes with none other than the latest mystical fabric Hogwarts collection for all you Harry Potter fans. It's so special time. It's so special. Ian's even come in. Ian's even come in to see how much you love his hamper. There are premieres in here. Three premieres. Oh, no, four. Four premieres in here. Um, should we just go on with it? Should we just go on with it? So first of all, you get this gorgeous little picnic basket, little hamper. Now, Alistair's got one of these and he uses his. He lined his with fabric and he uses it as his sewing box in his workroom at home. So he's very fancy. So, now which way shall I do this? I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. So, ooh. Right, I'm not going to start with the premieres. There you go. Tissue paper. Right. Fat quarter bundle. Fat quarter bundle. Now, uh, in here, I've got the llama one. One that everybody loves. It could be one of a choice of, la of uh, Fabby's... Um, Fat quarter bundles. This is llama. Isn't it lovely? Beautiful cotton. It's made by Fabio, so you know it's good quality. So that is a fat quarter bundle of five, is it? One, two, three, four, five. Five fat quarters. I'll put that there. You get half a metre of beautiful Moda fabric. Again, now that could be, that could be this one or it could be a choice of fabrics, but they'll be the exquisite Moda fabric. It's just stunning, isn't it? Lovely vintage feel to it, that one. It'll all be from the same sort of range, right? So that goes there. Now, you've seen this before. You may not have seen it before if you're a new buyer. Wishy-washy tape. Wishy-washy tape. Now, it is Christmas. It's Christmas! Christmas wishy-washy tape. Now, you get five metres on each roll. Five metres on each roll there. Wishy-washy tape. Oh, now look at the box. Beautifully designed by Tom. Tom, who's in today, our graphic designer. He'll be charging double time for that when he's in on a Sunday. So you get that. Then you also get, it's like, a, it's like one of those magician's hats, isn't it? You keep going in. Then, this is Notions, our very own range. The seven-inch rotating cutting mat. Self-healing with all the um, angles on, with your inch squares on and half-inch squares on there. In the sewing quarter colours. Okay, I've got one more, one more to show you before I get on to the premieres. We have the Notions Bias Binding Maker. Is it 25 millimetre that one? Yep, 20, that's an inch, inch. That's the most um, popular size we do do. So you get that. So you've got, so, so far, You've got the basket. Let's have a look here. So you've got the basket. You've got the basket. You've got the um, bias binding maker, half a metre of designer fabric, one five, uh, five, fat, five pack fat quarters bundle, Notions wishy-washy tape, and your Notions seven, seven inch rotating cutting mat, right? I haven't even started on my premiere yet. Not even started on my premiere yet. Oh, it gives away the free gift. Oh, I'll show you that next then. You get a free gift. Look. Same quarter chocolates. Well, not only chocolates, same quarter truffles. I don't know if Hannah's been at this one. Um, seven, now they're free. They're a free gift from us within the bundle. They're a free gift from us. But they're a premiere. But they're a free gift. There's four gorgeous chocolates in there. And that's not empty because I put this one in myself this morning, didn't I? Mm. 
Oh, one's tipped over a little bit there. Oh dear. I don't try it in case it's the one with nuts in. If it's the one with nuts in, we're in trouble, you see, if I eat it. The full breakdown of ingredients is on, let me show you the back of the packet. It's on the back of the packet there, but that's a free gift. It's not, but what, isn't that a lovely little box to keep after you? You see, um, you know Anna sewing nuts, she just wants the box. She said, well, can I just have an empty box? I know. She's like that though, isn't she? Right. Oh, now. Premier, premier, premier. Which one? Which one should I go to first? Oh, hang on. No, I've missed out a non-premier. Oh, no. Oh, these scissors. Oh, they're a premier. I thought I'd seen these before. Oh, no, not just in prep. I've had foldable scissors before. Maybe I haven't had the gold, rose gold colour version. Uh, they're a premiere. Look, 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 look. So that folds like that, and then that goes in there like, oh, hang on, I've got my glasses on. Just be careful when you do that. They fold in like that. There you go. So there's no blade showing anywhere. But they're lovely and safe to keep in your drawer, whatever. That is a premiere. I'll take that back. It is a premiere. We've seen the, these before, but in a different colour. They're rose gold coloured, obviously not real rose gold. <gasps> oh, you see, I love a fridge magnet, me. I love a fridge magnet. Look at this one. First time we've ever had this. Now, it's got a description, hasn't it? You will either get black or purple. Black or purple, that's obviously the black one there. Look, it's gorgeous because it's got that dome to it. Oh, I know, it's a bit like Susan's uh, pendant. That's nice, right? Okay, I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going, John. <gasps> Thread cutter. Thread cutter, but look, 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 I need to open the packet, don't I? Look! You're doing your chain piece, you're going to have it by your sewing machine. That's your thread cutter. Sewing quarter, sewing quarter colours. Sewing quarter written all over it. Uh, the blade is inside there, it's away from your fingers. Any prying fingers won't be harmed by that. I know, brand new today. Brand spanking new today. Oh, half the stock's gone. And I haven't finished yet. I've got one more premiere, which is my favourite, I have to say. One more. So which one's your favourite? The chocolates are Hannah's favourite. Followed by the thread. <laughs> Followed by the thread cutter. Now, I love this. I love this. It's because, you know what, when I first moved to London, we hadn't got Paper Chase in uh, Chester. I used to go to Tottenham Court Road on every Saturday when I was at college, just to walk around Paper Chase to look at stationery and things like that. To what? What? They're laughing at me. Notepad. It's a notepad, look. It's a Notions notepad, love to sew. It's got sewing quarter on the back. But then look at the pages, look at the pages, right? Because you've got lines, but on the other side, it's plain. So you could do your notes here and your little doodles on this side here. Now, who was it in the other day do, drawing hearts and squirrels and things? Oh, I know, the long arm quilter. Liz at the long arm quilter. Oh, yes, I'm just nodding. I was just cut up to shop then. I'm nodding to Chris like that. So, uh, so you get that as well. I love this. I, oh, I think I might have um, got my fingerprints on this. This might have to be mine, this one. So look, 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 let me take away the hamper. I mean, you get the hamper as well. So look at this for 79.99. Let's just go around the table from this way, right? Free chocolates. Free chocolates. Bias binding maker, one inch, half a metre of designer fabric, a fat quarter. Now, you'll most probably get the llama one, but you could get one, from the, uh, one of the others from the same range. But you get five fat quarters in there. Wishy-washy tape. Rotating cutting mat, seven inches, notions. Premier fridge magnet. Now, you'll get that either in black or in purple. Premier, Premier foldable and wearable scissors in the rose gold colour. Premier sewing quarter. I'll put it like that. Sewing. Oh, oh! It's got little stickers on the bottom, so it's not going to move. Look, look. 
And I'm doing, I'm like, that's me being really um, aggressive with it. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you, Chris. And then the thing I'm going to keep, the love to sew notions notepad. I am allowed to, they said. They said I could keep this one. After the show today, they said I could keep this one. I love it, right, have a look at the, and, and the basket, and the basket. Oh, now that's beautifully displayed, isn't it? So it's second quarter, second birthday hamper with free truffles. Right, half the stock has now been checked out. Have you tried any of these, Hannah? Which one had nuts in? Can you remember? Did any have nuts in? Oh. Oh, <laughs> don't try it. No, it's not. It's coffee. Oh, coffee bean on the top as well. I'll be with you in a minute. Check out on this one, please. Where's the scissors? Where's not the scissors? Where's my glasses? Oh, oh, that is delicious. I'm looking at the back. There's no nuts. There's no nuts. Doesn't say that. Oh no, it may also contain traces of nuts. No, that's not got nuts in. If it had nuts in, we'd know. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> It's got raspberry fondant inside. Look. Oh. It's got like a raspberry fondant inside. Oh. Wait, which one? I've got two of those. I've got to get on. I've got to go on. Mate, oh. That one was delicious. That one won't. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna try these because apparently they've, one of those two has got caramel inside and when Hannah ate it, it went everywhere like that. Yes. Don't look, don't look in case it. Oh, it's the one, it's this one. It's this one, look. Oh. Oh. I've got to go. I'll save that one for later. Oh! 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 Now remember, I'm sorry, I've got to go back and get my glasses. Right, okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. I can tell you all about this while I'm here. If you buy something this week, you get one of these. You get one of these for free. Oh, I think I've had a sugar rush. I think I've had a bit of a sugar rush now. You get one of these. Uh, now, you only get one, so if you already got one of those during the week, that you, look, you only get one per person, so you can't have another one. But that's if you, that new buyers and bold buyers are like, everybody gets one of those. Uh, this is this year's. Did you see Susan wearing hers already? Lisa Lamb had hers on as well. Oh, I should have put mine on with my pink shirt, with your pink badge. Yes and no. Yeah, no, I didn't put it on. No, I haven't. It's just I didn't want to spoil my spark. I'm not going to put it on now. But pink on pink, you see. You won't be able to see it. Then, if you spend £30 or more in one transaction, you get the, the badge, the bag, and inside the bag's lovely. Look, little calico bag there with sewing quarter written on it. And your two templates. You get that uh, for free if you spend £30 or more. It's at, added to your order. Now, yesterday we had a bit of a hoo-ha going on because people thought they'd sold out. What it was, was when they got their confirmation, the picture's not available, not the actual thing. So if you read inside, it's a photograph not available. They're still available. They're still available. Do you know what? I've got to finish this last one. Mm. No, not. 
And a sewing note, I'll send you the empty box. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. You know what? Oh, this. Now. I haven't had chocolate for months and months and months. Oh. Mm. And they're free. You haven't even paid for those. They're the free gift in them. They're not free sins on Slimming World. My blooming, when's my way in? What day is it? Oh, it's Sunday, I've got ages. Right. I had this with, I was going to say Uncle Paul then. <laughs> the sugar's going to my brain now. I had this with little Paul the other day, right? And it sold out. It sold out, sold out. Harriet has rushed me through a load more. Right. What you get to this, don't put the price in yet. Don't put the price in yet, right? How much do you think this would cost you, right? So you get a rotary cutter. It's a, a, a lovely rotary cutter with a handy grip on the side and the guard there to, to pull the blade out and in, right? You also get a 24 by six and a half inch ruler. I know, add this up, add this up. How much do you think this is gonna cost you, right? So you get the rotary cutter, you get the ruler, and then you also get the sewing mat, right? Now I love this sewing mat, I'm sorry, it's a cutting mat, cutting mat. Because on this side, it's all in inches, self-healing, with your angles and everything like that. Look at the other side. Nice, brick red, that's your centimetres for people who work in metric. Now, did you find that thing I asked you to find, Hannah? Hmm? Okay, should we wait? On a website, don't worry, a very, very, very famous website, this bundle has been, has been selling for £34.99, which I think is a brilliant price, right? A brilliant price. Look how much we're selling it for. Three, two, one. You see, do you know what I think Harriet did? But Harriet, I think, because Harriet's in charge of merchandising and pricing and everything like that. She's gone, right, well, let's have a look. Cutting map, 19.99. Ruler, what would you say that one was? 13, 14 pounds. Rotary cutter, 12.95. To add them all up together, to make them. She's forgotten to add the other two to it, hasn't she? Because I think the cutting mat, 19.99. But no, you get this, this, and this, all three of those for £19.99. Now, I could tell you where to go to look for the one that's £34.99, but it's a very big sewing emporium, right? Very big sewing emporium. £34.99 is what they've been, exactly the same, not like this actual bundle they've been selling for £34.99. So, what are you going to do? Ghostbusters. So 19 99 you get the mat cutting mat, self-healing, inches on one side, centimetres on the other, a rotary cutter, and a 24 by 6 ruler for £19.99. Now this sold out the other day, and I apologise for... Hey, I know Hazel in Spain wants one of these. Hazel, don't you? You want this, don't you? 19 99 uh, They got more in. They did get more in for, for us for today, especially for today. So £19.99. Uh, don't delay. Do not delay. Please don't delay. Just buy these and stop talking about... They what? Oh, OK. Apparently you like me too much. Well, if I found another box, I'll do it again for you. And uh, what? Saying it's not gone to pot? What about my diet? Listen, you've got, you only get one life. There's, I'm at work on a Sunday morning, for goodness sake. I haven't got a day off now till Friday. Da, 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 da. Yeah. £19.99. No, no, because after that, I'm off then. You don't see me then for a week after that. Yeah. £19.99. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Uh, the quilt behind me, by the way, is one of Jane Alcock's quilts tomorrow. She's doing that. Oh, in fact, the two quilts on the wall. You'll see the other one when I cross over. Jane Alcock's doing this one and the one on the wall as I pass it later, which is a Bargello with the difference. Quarter of the stock of these have gone already. Please keep going through. £19.99. £19.99 for this, this and that. 
I know. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, why is it green in the picture? Because look, it's green on that side. You've got green on inches. We're well, not listening. It's green on that side because it's inches. It's red on that side because the sugar's gone to my head, doesn't it? You got your rotary cutter, 45 millimeter rotary cutter with the safety guard look. Click, 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 click. And you've got that. And you've got the ruler, 24 and a half by six and a half, that is, isn't it? The ruler doesn't make a noise, Jesse. It's only the, this one that makes a noise. Click, 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 click. 19.99 for all of that, for all three of those. I know. What can I say? What can I say? Just take advantage, I would. Oh, look, my shirt's got all creased now. It's the what? Oh, the balloon's just wafted round. There's Hayley messaged in. Uh, Trisha, you wish. Look, it match, it match, we match. 21. 24. <laughs> I'm like the advert. <laughs> you know the... Four seven advert where there's a four and a seven and you have to find it where it is and everything. On the four seven, isn't it called four seven? The at channel. There's a channel called four seven. And in between, it's when you watch um The Sun, House in the Sun, right? When you buy a house in the sun, what's that called? And it's not home or away, because they only go away, Jesse. Anyway, place in the sun, right? Place in the sun. They they go before it, they do a, like a bumper, a sting, or what's it called? An ident, it's called in the real telly. And the four and the seven are always hidden and the, the four moves round like that and it calls across the sh Anyway, thank you. Oh dear, I think I've had an allergic reaction. <laughs> I think I might have to go home. I'm supposed to go to the gym today as well. Didn't make it, oh, I won't have. I'll have, a, I'll have a sugar crash in a minute. Well, I haven't had chocolate for months, have I? Oh, they were delicious. The coffee one was my favorite. Save that one till... Oh, you can get that one in yours? Oh, 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 you get the same ones, but she gave that one to Karen, her flatmate, because Karen, her flatmate, this skinny old thing, isn't she? Hannah had three, Karen had one. Oh, no, they had two each, because Hannah had had two of Alice's pan au chocolat and another two this morning. Oh, you know there's no pan au chocolat left in the dressing room? Tom had the last one, don't you? Oh, oh, you've already been down to have things, have you? Is there anything left for me? I, I don't know if I have anything else. I'll just have my egg and tomato when we come off air. And a big <laughs> glass of water. Right. Now, we've had these in once, and they sold out within 10 minutes, right? You're going to love these. They're Millwood scissors, but look. Look! They're unicorn, but look, they're electroplated, look. And they're seven pounds and 99 pence. They're done in the same style as the stork scissors. They've done them as the stork scissors. We've got the back specially for the birthday week. 7.99. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Iridescent, they've called them. Iridescent. Look at the colours in there, aren't they beautiful? All of them will be slightly different, won't they? Because they're, they're where the different electroplating goes. Looks he's green on that side. The unicorn scissors, 7.99. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Do what, what? Yeah, I sold hundreds of these last time I had them. Oh, oh, okay, I haven't got as many this time as I had that I sold that day. Please be aware of that, because they're flying out, aren't they? We get as many as we can, but obviously, you know what I mean? The first time we did this, they absolutely flew out by the hundred. Hundreds. 7 99 they're cute, aren't they? They're just like the little stalk scissors, look, because they've still got that curve there. But these are unicorns, and they're iridescent. And they're 7 99 uh, You won't see these on uh, Call the Midwife. Call the Midwife. Did you see, it's the, it's the BAFTAs tonight, isn't it? But it's the film BAFTAs tonight, so Minty won't be here there tonight. I'm not going. See, that's how my life has changed. Normally, men, well, 10 years ago now, and backwards, I'd been getting ready to go to the BAFTAs now. I'd be out for lunch. Maybe having lunch at the Ivy. I've had four, four so and quarter chocolates. Four so and quarter chocolates and a bag of crisps. Yeah. 
I met Susan Biscoe. She was lovely, wasn't she? It's fairly funny, isn't it? Because you think when you're first out here, they're like, oh, we'll do this. We'll be doing Japanese stitching. I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever. Isn't it brilliant? I love it. I love it. All, everything that she was showing to absolutely love. Love that. Don't you love that quilt? That's tomorrow. Seven ninety-nine. I don't love it all. No. Well, I don't I like. I love you, Hannah. Hannah's got this thing of being a bonnet at the moment that I'm picking on her. And it's only, I said, the more I pick on you, the more I love you, see. And then she goes, oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Blah, blah. Just pick me up. At, then she goes, and then she said to somebody, she was saying to somebody else the other day, things you don't say, isn't it? I heard her say to someone, yeah, and I get, I've got this job and I get a lift in every day, picked up at the door. To, even if my sat nav's telling me to go completely the opposite way because of the traffic, right? She always goes, oh, you could just drop me off here, John, in the pouring rain, miles away from my house. I, I'll be all right if you just drop me off at this busy roundabout. I'll be all right. Seven ninety nine. Well, no, she'd pop in and see Paul if you dropped her off there, because that's where Paul, little Paul lives, isn't it? Because she's always been invited around for coffee at little Paul's. At seven pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh, yes. Now, the next is a sack pack. Keep going through. Keep, I'll have a recap. I'll have a recap. I'll have a recap. I'll have a recap. Now, I had these one morning, didn't I? Do you remember these? I'll show you them in the two colours to start with. Now, we've also got a slide of these as well, of how much these sell for elsewhere. Oh, we haven't got it today. Right, look. Now, I've got more of one than I have the other, haven't I? I've got more blues. I think that, oh, no, no, because these are new stock. I was going to say, no, because we sold out last time on these, didn't we? I've got more of the blue than I have of the pink. Which one should we do first? Let's do blue. Oh, no, that's blue. <laughs> I'm a bit tired now. I've only got half an hour. I'll be all right. Now I just have to drive through the traffic to drop Hannah off, you know. Yeah, she says, thanks. Four pieces. Oh, look at the price. Look at the price of these, £3.99, no build-up, straight in, straight in there. Yeah, look, 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 so you get your big scissors, you get your little scissors, you get a quick unpick, and a tape measure, retractable no less, watch. Oh. God, that's quick, wasn't it? My Norman loves retractable tape measures, Norman's a cat, by the way. He can't press, he can't press that bit. He likes it. He loves the noise when it comes out. He comes running into the room when you pour one out like that and you do that and he chases after it. And he's nearly 19. <coughs> Excuse me, three pounds and 99 pence. These are four pieces, scissors and tools. Uh, so that's on a key ring. That's on a little key ring. The whole lot for 3 99 Brilliant. Uh, now, if you're going to buy them for children, obviously make sure you supervise the children because the scissors are proper scissors. They're proper sharp scissors. But if, if you're just starting your dressmaking, if you've got a, a, a teenager or something in your family who's just about to start, not even a teenager, if you've got someone in your family starting sewing. Or if you just want some scissors and a quicker pick and a tape measure. Three pounds and 99 pence will get you all of those. Love them, love them, love you love them as well. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of love in the room today. Got pink now. Got pink. Now I've got as many of the pink. Not got as many of the pink as I've got of the blue. Look. Oh, oh it's the same colour as my shirt. Four piece scissor and tool set. Pink. So you get the quick and pick, the little scissors, the big scissors, and whoop. retractable tape measure. Three ninety nine. Three pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh, now, you know the starter kit, the ruler, the rotary cutter and the mat that I've seen for sale elsewhere, 34 99 or oh, Little Paul, sorry, not me, 34 99 half the stock have gone, checked out, gone, doom, doom, doom. sold out the other day when I did it the other day, so please be careful, the blue one, blue version of this, very popular, I'm imagining the pink is going to be even more popular, I might get some of these from a kitchen. Three ninety nine. Oh, Jesse's already got them. Apparently, he got them the last time. Three 
three pounds and 99 pence. Keep looking at that while I rearrange. Oh, oh no, I was going to say, keep looking at that while I rearrange my table. Yeah, exactly, Jesse. Directors normally listen, you know. No, directors in real telly, I mean. Oh, I'm getting into shot, look. 3 99 these scissors. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Aren't they lovely? Cute as a button now. Bright pink like my shirt. Four piece scissor and tool set in the pink colour. 3 99 Of what? Oh, she's not talking to me. Thought she talked to me. Right now, we had this yesterday. Excuse me, and we didn't get to, oh, excuse me, didn't get time to play it yesterday. And it's quite important we play because it it's gorgeous, isn't it? Look, it is called Quilts in America Pastel Nine Patch. Um, now, I'm presuming you get, do you get the book in there then? Oh, I was going to say because there's no instructions here. So you get the book, you get all of this uh, fabric. And you get the wadding, and this is what it makes. So the instruction, oh look, isn't that beautiful? It's called the Pastel 9 patch. The finished size, oh, 72 inches by 80. Here it is in the book. Let me show you in the book. So it tells you all of your fabrics here, what to cut out how to make the blocks. It's actually quite simple, look. It's actually quite simple. So you get the backing, which is this, and the wadding, which is this, and all of this fabric. Does it say, how, I have got how much fabric there is? It's what, sorry? And, and the book is in the bundle as well. Does it say what, how much fabric we've got? There's shark's teeth, look. Shark's teeth there. Oh, look, there's that plaid in a different colourway. Then you've got your jumble in rows there. Aren't they? This is a, oh, aren't they beautiful? And then you've got your spots here. £267.49 pence will make you... Well, it's everything you need. It's everything you need. It's the backing, the front, the extra wide backing, the front. Is this extra wide fabric here? Oh. Okay. I'm not sure if the backing is extra wide or not. The backing might need to be pieced. I don't know what... £267.49. Um, the book, all the fabric, the instructions, and the wadding, and the backing. Now, we don't normally offer wadding and backing, do we? £267.49. pence. Beautiful. There's the still. I've got to show you the still so Chris can pack it away. He's got to get to watch the... F is it rugby or football today? I don't know. There we go. All oh, that beautiful, isn't it? Lovely, lovely bundle there. Let's have a look at the finished quilt again. Look, isn't it lovely? And it's so simple. They're all just nine packs. And some of them just straightforward squares. I think they are, aren't they? Yeah. How beautiful is that going to look? Uh, in single figures of that. In single figures of that one. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, t oh, Tainis. Afternoon, lovelies. Those unicorn scissors are so much fun. I bought them for the cheeriness of having them. Oh, how lovely. Oh. Now, do we say Tainis or Tainis? I think it's Tainis, isn't it? Every time I get it wrong. Every time. How she snood. She, she makes snoods. She also makes gin poodles, and I bought two for Hannah. And they're, they're bot you, put, you put your bottle of gin in it, and it's a cover, and it's in the shape of a poodle. Like that. One's this colour. Anyway, where am I going? Right, I've got that one. It's a new one. These three are new ones. Is that right? Just four. Right. These three. Okay. Ooh, now we've got woods, floralism, 
And you go, how can you say that word? An Americana. Which one would you like first? Hundred, hundred, hundred percent cotton. Designer. Ten fat quarters you get in here. A curated group, it says here, a curated fabric group to enhance all your projects. 100% premium cotton. It's all Pima cotton, machine wash warm, normal cycle. Share your project. Oh, that's nice. Right, okay. Oh, 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 Art gallery fabrics. Oh, these are nice. Oh, now we've had some of these as fabric fabric, haven't we? I recognise that one there. Hang on. There we go. Look, one, two, three. Four. Oh, I love that one. Five, six. Oh, I love that one. Seven, eight. Oh, that's nice. Hannah will like that one. Nine, ten. Oh, aren't they lovely. So this is called floralism. I'll just move it across. There you go. They're only three ninety nine each. Art gallery, top quality fabric. Beautiful designer fabric, isn't it? Thirty nine ninety nine. Oh, sorry, oh, that's a bit messy in the picture there, isn't it? There you go. Chris hasn't come to collect this yet. $39.99. Aren't they lovely? Look at the colours. Everything's very summery today, isn't it? Which I like to see. Was chucking it down this morning, wasn't it? Oh, the roads were flooded. And coming into, um, there's a suburb in Birmingham called King's Heath. And as you, you have to come down, to, yeah, the crossroads. That's where I always see our friend Andrew Wilkins. He's always on his bike there. Yeah. Because he goes to the gym just a bit further up. I know, he goes to a gym. You get it right every time. Like Tainis, I've made some more snoods for Follies recently. Oh, have you indeed? Are they going on tour then? Are they doing it again? Anyway. $39.99. Those, they're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, the, they feel, when you, the, you, as soon as you open those, they feel fantastic. The softness of the fabric is beautiful. So where am I going next then? Americana. It's like a coffee, isn't it? Does that just mean black coffee, Americana? Is that say America? Oh, Americano. Oh, I do apologise. It's what? American folk music is Americana, is it? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, let's have a look. Oh, yes, I can see it now. Oh, oh look, we've had that one. Pointel. Nice. Now, these are art gallery again. I'll do them in the big arc again. Oh, that one's making my eyes hurt, that one. Oh. Oh. Mm. There you go. Oh, that, that, how different. Very, very different, that one, isn't it? Americana. 39.99 for 10 fat quarters. Very different colour palette, isn't it? You see now, um, the first one I said was very summery. This one I think is very moody, I'd say. Very Jesse, I'd call these. I'm only saying what everyone else is thinking. <laughs> Jesse wants to have a look at one that looks like him. Oh, I like this one. Oh, is it? Oh, I'll have to go and sit. I have to book some more tickets. That's Follies, the musical. I, I, I went to see it last Christmas with Dulcie. Oh, she's seen, yeah. Uh, apparently, the lady did the gold work this week. Very, very popular show, that one. $39.99, that bundle up Americana edition. 10 fat quarters. That's, I like that one. I'd like a shirt made out of that. I can't obviously add that little bit there. Yeah, oh yeah, look, the four chocolates are really taking their toll, aren't they? Oh no, I'll regret that later now when I have my way in on Friday. I know, I'm only messing. Jesse had a whole bag of chocolates last night and he's not worried. Yes, yes. Yeah. 
39 pounds and 99 pence. Lovely. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, dear. Jesse's found a place where they sell Terry's chocolate eggs for 99. You mean the whole thing? Tap it, unwrap it. One of those. Oh, I used to love those. Have they got the dark chocolate one? Oh, they used to. I don't know if they're doing. Come back to the National. I've seen one of lovely work from them. Yeah. Aww. Right, now this one's called Woods. Oh, look, we've had this fabric. Oh, this is nice. Look at this one. This is very woody. Look. Oh, that's nice. This is very Tim Holtz, this one, isn't it? I oh, look, then that's very um, Dashwoody, isn't it, that one? Hairs. Nice, aren't they? Cut lovely colours. Thirty nine ninety nine. I'm just being a bit wary because Chris is coming onto the set and he's looking a little bit aggressive. Yeah, I'll just wake over here. I'm just waiting over here. No, that's not. That's not me. Mind you, it could be. That could be my tummy, couldn't it? Today, after all those chocolates. Oh no, that's you. Thank you. Don't you look at me like that. What? Wow. 39. Oh, oh, you made me hiccup then. 39. <laughs> That's what you do when you frighten me. See, it makes me hiccup. I'd be rubbish, wouldn't I, if I was being chased by anyone. <laughs> anyway, look, aren't they lovely? Those colours are beautiful, aren't they? Very, now, they'd be nice colours for your um, top Japanese, wouldn't they? 39.99. £39.99. £39 that you can just feel the quality of those as you pick them up and... Oof. Okay, now, I've just been told we're doing this on its own. It was, it, it was in the kit, it was in the bundle. Um, oh, get your words right, John Scott. It was in the special birthday hamper. It's a thread cutter. Good for chain piecing, well, good for all sorts of cutting threads if you're doing your hand embroidery. 10.99. £10.99. Oh, it's called the original. It's a premiere today. It was in the, um, Christ the birthday bundle, not the Christmas bundle, the birthday hamper. If you manage to get the hamper, it's in there. But look, £10.99. It's got little rubber feet on it, look, so it doesn't slip all over your table. Look at how solid that is. The table's moving, not it. And it's got the sewing quarter logo on it. The original thread cutter. Oh, I could get a real thread from here. I thought you meant something that was sewn together. Because you won't see this happen, I don't think. Oh, flippin' heck. That's sharp, look. Very sharp, perfect, look. First time we've offed it on air, look. I'll do a double one then, shall I? Look, they, ooh, that's good. 10.99 thread cutter. First time on air. Was in your birthday at Hamper. Oh, look, I've got threads everywhere now that I've cut off. Comes packed in this. I've taken it out, obviously. Let's see if it's got any, any information on it. Uh, here we go. Thread cutter can be used to cut all types of thread, yarn, string, and fishing line. And Jesse, uh, Jesse, Jesse, especially for you. Le coupé fil peut être utilisé pour couper tous les types de fil, filet sel et ligne de pêche. Yes. Our French presenter was in. No, there was no aqua on there. Pêche is, is um, fishing. The quickest, easiest way to cut threads between fabric units when chain piecing. That's what all the hands said all morning. Hold fabric with both hands and slide across the blade. Not you. Thread it across the blade. Proudly made in America. It's nice, isn't it? I love the fact it's got sewing quarter written on it. 10.99. Right, I'm moving on, moving on. I thought that was um, 
Ian's standing there, it was a mannequin. I thought I was in trouble for some reason then. Right, this is new. I don't know if that label, did that label come off it? Carnival Blue, is that what this one's called? I used to work for Carnival Films, used to make Poirot. Right, these are beautiful, these. Look at these, they're brand new, brand new. Oh, love, 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 love. £12.99. £12.99, you get five fat quarters in there. I am in tomorrow and the next day. I know. When the alarm went off tomorrow, I thought, oh, at least this is my last day for a while. No, I've got two more days after today. The alarm seemed to go off much quicker last night than it normally does. Uh, yeah, Han can I just tell you, yesterday afternoon, I dropped Hannah off outside her house, right? And she said, oh, I'm just going to go and have a quick, you know, rest, a ch chill sort of thing. She went in, she lay on her bed at four o'clock in the afternoon. She woke up at four o'clock this morning. Well, five o'clock this morning, five o'clock this morning. I know. So no one, then she walked in and, and she, she was in the car and I said, have you brought any breakfast? She was like, no. And then I said, Alistair's choc pan of chocolate on the table. She said, I know, I've been dreaming about them. And then we came into the building and she lit this a little corridor to the kitchen. She was like, Ugh, to get there. And one went in the microwave and she had that one in her mouth and the next one was going straight into the microwave. She was hungry. There was no cold pizza left today, I do so. Oh, is that why they had pizza? Oh, no, it was the day before. 12 99 these are. 12 pounds and 99 pence. For five lovely fat quarters. Beautiful. Right. Now, these uh, next sort of fat quarters, I've seen these once before, and um, they've all got different names. This one's called Doggy, but we've called it Woof Woof. I like it though, look. So you get the bones and the ball. You get the collars, paw prints, dreaming dogs, and different dogs. Look! Ooh. Yeah, and you can't, they can't, don't ever give uh, dogs chocolate. My, um, who's, who was it put on Facebook this week? They'd had to rush into Animal A&E because their dog had eaten a box of chocolate. Can't remember who it was now. Was it Arthur? Was it, uh, was it Cherry? Can't remember now. Somebody had to rush the dog into a doggy A and E though. Twelve ninety nine. You hear? Twelve ninety nine for five fat quarters. Fabulous. Which one do you want to go to next? Okay, I'll just go to the next one. I've I've got Pippet Birds. Countryside, I think you've called it. Oh, Purple Woodland, there you go, Purple Woodland. Oh, look, this is very kind of folksy, isn't it, this one? So you get the folksy flowers, then get the chirrupy birds, then you get an owl, then you get that lovely swirly one. Now, this one to you at home will just look like a piece of white fabric. It's actually damask. I'll put, I'll put a colour on the top because the camera doesn't like white. That's nice, isn't it? 12 99 for five fat quarters. Lovely lilac. Now, isn't it funny? There's a lot of lilac y themed bundles going around at the moment, aren't there? £12.99 pence will get you those five fat quarters. £12.99. Okay. Then I've got lemonade, which is called lemon citrus here. Right, look, this is fre fresh, this, isn't it? So you've got your blue stripes with your, your citrus on. Then you've got your spots. Then you've got your, like, lemon peel. Then you've got your lemon. And then you've got your lemon. Well, they're all lemons, aren't they? But actually, they're not all lemons, because one's called lime and one's called orange. I remember that when we did this the first time. Yeah, which is which, Jesse? They're nice, aren't they? Very fresh. Oh, do you know, they'd look lovely with those, wouldn't they? If you put those with the blues from earlier, they'd be lovely.
There we go. Okay, and then I've got one more which is called Little Forest. Same name. So this has got foxes. This has got corporal stripes. Are they, have they got a shape on them, those? Dots. Owls. It's not an owl because there's more than one. And then on this one, I've got bears and foxes. Oh, that's a nice colour palette, isn't it? Soft, soft and gentle colour palette, that one. Twelve ninety nine For each of those, or not each of those, you get five of them. <laughs> you can pay twelve ninety nine for each if you want. I wouldn't charge. It's at yeah, that'll go to more to my wages. Twelve ninety nine for five fat quarters. All 100% cotton. Machine washable. Lovely quality. Soft pastel range there. £12.99. Now I've got one here that's got an awful lot more fat... Oh, is it? Is it the same amount? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you get in this one. This is called Folk in Green. Because there was a folk in blue, if you remember. Green folk. So you've got like a cameo, like wallpaper, ditzy curtains. So it's curtains, no, curtains, wallpaper, picture on wall, garden, garden, shirt that you're wearing, more cameo, more forget-me-nots. An acorn. Soft, that one, isn't it? So they've called that green folk. Oh, that's... Now, green folk are Martians, aren't they? Weird. Anyway, look at those. They're very traditional colours, those. Joy would like those, wouldn't she? Now I know where Joy lives. I, I peer in through the windows every time I drive past because her workroom's on the front. The front bedroom is her workroom. So I peer in every time I drive past. £34.99. She's got the cleanest built bins in the neighbourhood. Yeah, they're really spotless, her bins. The big wheelie bins. They've got a big, you know, the numbers. She's got the sticky numbers, the great big numbers like that on them. I can indeed. The unicorn scissors, which Tainis has got. Last time we had this, we sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. They're iridescent. They're little snippy scissors. They're unicorns. And they're seven ninety-nine. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. They're cute, aren't they? Look at the look at the iridescence on there. Beautiful. They are cute, those. Very cute. Buy those as a, a gift. Right, now, this sold out the other day. This completely, I know. Do what, what? Yeah, yeah, well done, Harriet, for getting more in for me. The other one, that, for me personally, the one I had the other day, we had, we had um, it wasn't quite so squashed as this one. But you'll get rid of that by, just get your hair dry on it, don't get too close. Get your hair dry on it. Right, they, they call this a fat quarter bag, right? Oh, now, baby, careful, don't get these confused. Mm -hmm. So you can take it, but what we were thinking, we was, what we were thinking, what we, I'm putting the label thing, because I don't want to get them muddled up, that's all. Um, what we were thinking the other day is, because you get these dividers as well. If you're doing an EPP project, put this in here, right? You could put your, your, your papers in there. You could put your scissors and things in that one there. Oops, come on, John with your one-touch fastening. There you go. Put your fabrics in there, put your fat quarters in there. Oh, actually, there's room down the side for you to put your scissors in.
but you could put you, you so you could have your so you could just make a whole little project bag couldn't you it could be one project bag and then once you've um, warmed it up a little bit and it's expanded you are ready to go oh there we go thought the zip was um Oh, yes. Now, somebody messaged in there the other day saying, once you've opened a design roll, there's no closing it. I haven't got one here to show you this. Oh, actually, I have. There's no closing it, is there? Look, so if you've got a design roll like this, and you think, oh, what am I going to do with that? This is perfect for keeping them safe and secure, isn't it? Look. Look, you see, how perfect is that? Not just your fat quarters. Oh, in fact, they fit in the smaller one at the side there, look. Look! Okay, love it. I'll put that away. Filed. Right, tomorrow's menu. Coming up tomorrow with me, John Scott. Uh, the Bargello Twister Quilt. I'll show you that in a second. Jane Greenoff Cross Stitch with Jane Greenoff. Well, who else would it be? Kay Facets Rail Fence Quilt. Jane Greenoff's Kits and Accessories. Harry Potter and the Magical fabric so we've got we've got jane jane and john on tomorrow that's gonna be fun isn't it so this is rail fence this is k facet rail fence love it but come with me come with me come with me come with me this is the bargello twister in lots of different colors we've got that in lots of different colors tomorrow so don't forget to join me then uh, but also make sure everybody everybody you've all in the competition everybody's bought something and if you carry on buying till eight o'clock tomorrow you'll all be in the competition to win something i'll announce at 11 o'clock tomorrow all you have to do is buy something. Every time you check out, your name goes into the virtual hat. That's what somebody will win at 11 o'clock tomorrow. 11 o'clock tomorrow, somebody will win that. Uh, make sure you check out your baskets. The, so all that H640, all, uh, everything, that, that starter kit, everything. I'll see you at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Don't be late. Our final day of birthday celebrations starts at 8 a.m. on Tuesday the 12th of February. We've got a great bunch of guests and presenters that will fill your day with fun and inspiration. We've also got the brand new to air sewing machine brand Juki gracing our screens. Make sure you clear your diary for our sew off with CL and Jules Fallon at 11 with presenters on set to cheer them on. Birthdays are better when they're full of surprises and gifts. So we decided to make our second birthday extra special with a free gift for new and existing customers who purchase any web or auction product during our second birthday event. Shop between 8 a.m. on Thursday the 7th of February and midnight on Tuesday the 12th of February and you will automatically receive a free brand new sewing quarter pin badge. This new exclusive pin badge worth $4.99 is the second sewing quarter badge in circulation and is the perfect gift for any sewing quarter fan. You even get a £5 off code on the back of the badge for your next purchase. Plus, if you spend over £30 in one transaction during our six day event, you can also get your hands on a brand new sewing quarter shopper tote bag worth £6.99 which includes not only one, but two beautiful patterns worth £7.99. So join in with the birthday celebration and get your hands on these fabulous free gifts. Each offer is available while stocks last. See the website for full details.